It's the weekend. It's time to party. And guess who's with me? Yes, it's Debs, everybody. She's having a little dance. Having a little... Having a little boogie. Boogie. Little boogie boogie. Hello, everyone. How are you doing, lovely? I'm good, thank you. Do you know, I feel like I owe you an apology. Why? Firstly. Why? <laughs> I feel like, as you know, during that um, attempted record. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I was <laughs> poking fun at you a bit. I, I... Debs is in the pub. Debs is in the pub. It, but I, I didn't stop going on about no, it. No, but like, I thought that was funny. And actually. then at the end, I was like, oh, perhaps Debs is going to get offended by I, this. I wasn't at <laughs> all offended. There Did was you go to the bar? No, they opened it, but they were getting something from behind it. Oh, uh, that's disappointing. But we did go for lunch after. Ah, oh, very nice. So that was nice, because I very didn't have to drive anywhere. I was already at home. Yeah. And I met lovely viewers, and oh, it was so nice. It was really lovely. It was good, wasn't, wasn't it? it? Really enjoyed it. And I love seeing your faces, because I know names, but I yeah, don't always same. know faces. But seeing our viewers' faces and their makes, it was lovely. And all the animals as well. Oh, and everyone's dogs and all cats. All the animals were getting it. Oh, Ross, you missed out here. It was so lovely. We had about 300 with 350 wasn't it there or there about people skyping in it was so cool and it was so good and then we had like various different cats and dogs yeah. popping up it was like it was, it was the best day ever and grandchildren <laughs> and grandchildren clemmy was there briefly was she yeah because her mum was making a bracelet Oh, I didn't see Chloe. So, uh, she came to say hello, and yeah, it was. Um, it was all. Re we should do it more often. I think we should because it's just kind of that community thing. You get to see all everybody. Yeah, even if you, even if like through a normal show, you had say I don't know twenty people. Yeah. Or skyping in. Yeah. Through the show. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, great. Oh so yeah. I, th I think the seed has already been sown. Yeah. Um, anyway, he's back, jewelry makers. He's come in to do a day's work. Well, two days, actually. <laughs> two days' work. Roscoe's back. Hiya, Yay. Roscoe. You look like you had a lovely holiday. They were on the beach. Having oh, a really? Good, like a traditional British seaside holiday. Oh, I love that. Me too. Yeah, I love that. They're the best, aren't they? Yeah. They're the best. We went to Filey for the day the other day. Mm. Oh, so nice. Did you have candy floss? No. Did you have a cone of chips? I ha we had chips and we had ice cream. Oh yeah. And Clemmy had a bucket in spade. I've yeah. never seen and then she had two ice creams. <laughs> two ice creams at once. Because she had one then she took mine. Yeah. So of why course. have one when you can have two? Absolutely. And and of course Nana will absolutely oh. give her, her ice cream. Of course. Because the other conversation we've had this morning is that um, <laughs> children know who to approach when they want something. And Debs is that person. Yeah, that's me. Um what's the call like when when Nana, the, that one. <laughs> Nana, that one. They, thank, thank you, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Ross, are you that person? <laughs> so is Chloe? Yeah, is 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 Chloe that person? She's that person. Yeah, the softer. Yeah, I'm I'm that person definitely. Mummy, mm. I I really need this. <laughs> Really need, need it. it. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Right then, what have we got coming up on your Saturday show? It is going to be the most amazing Saturday. Now, start from the very beginning, because that's always a good place to start, isn't it? Um, your early bird this morning, mm -hmm. and we were discussing this, I think only last week. <clears throat> Was it last week? Maybe the week before. Um, is probably the most popular finding of the moment. Okay. And that's your trusted calot. Oh, yeah. They're great, aren't they? Oh, they're amazing. Yeah, so, I mean, they're li like little clamshells, effectively, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, That you basically secure over the knot or beading wire, whatever it is, and then attach it directly onto your clasp. It's a, it's, it's a lovely Genius. way of doing it because it just adds that professional touch, but it's not difficult or fiddly, I don't think. No, I agree. So, like, if you do, you just, put, you know, put some glue on your knot. And sometimes your glue does make a stain on your, your cord, doesn't it? And yeah. then pop this over the top. Yeah, and they're super neat, aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. So these are uh, the smaller ones. So if you've uh, thought before that the calots are a little bit too big, mm. then we're actually launching the smaller size ones today. Um, they're perfect, aren't they? They're really And nice. you have them in both colorways too. So we've got them in the yellow gold and in the silver oh. as well. So how perfect are they? Um, so they're coming up and you can shop ahead on those. In fact, how many have we got, Roscoe? 100 of the silver. Only 50 of the yellow gold. Ooh. 
but they're what they're already going i'm not surprised so do check out on those because that's not a, 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 as big a quantity as we would want um now at nine o'clock let's talk about your nine o'clock kit shall we oh we've got ruby Ooh. emerald Ooh. and sapphire rondelles all in one kit yes so i mean you know if you have a look at the pearl bracelet yeah would you have thought that you could put ruby emerald sapphire any of those in between your pearls yeah in your jewelry and look how it makes them pop when you separate yeah, it them it does it really does the color comes into the I that mean, emerald's amazing the emerald is yeah. really beautiful and actually all of all of them and the color sapphire, and all yeah. of them yeah wow oh that's beautiful deb so rondelles really just so much you can do with them isn't there yeah. i mean you know you only have to put a couple in and it makes your jewelry kind of elevates it absolutely so just saying those three gemstones exactly. elevates it exactly um so amazing kits with silver components as well aren't yes they? yeah um, amazing kits oh sorry projects at night i'm still getting used to it <laughs> projects at nine o'clock then at 10 o'clock we're going to be joined by the wonderful dave yay who is launching one of, and I, I don't say this lightly, one of the finest Cotan Jade strands I've ever seen. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, we all know the situation, right, with Cotan Jade. Mm -hmm. Almost 10,000 years of mining, estimated to have less than two years left. So now, and it's still the most expensive variety of jade in the world. Okay. Um, the most regarded, valuable, all of the above. So what do you think is going to happen when it does close completely after 10,000 years, best part of? Um, <clears throat> it, you know, now is the time to be getting hold of your Kotan without shadow of a doubt. Oh, yeah, because, again, it's going to be something that probably not going to be able to afford going no. forward. Well, we shouldn't be able to. Well, I say we shouldn't. We I shouldn't. couldn't afford it. No. Uh, and if it wasn't for Jewelry Maker, there is absolutely no way I'd own Cotan. No, me, me too. You know, this is one of the world's most valuable gemstones. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but thank goodness Jewelry Maker does make opportunities achievable for mm. us all. Mm. So that's happening at 10 o'clock, Jewelry Makers. It's the finest that I've seen. I'm very excited to welcome Dave into the studio. Um, we've also got a wonderful selection of absolutely amazing pearls. Um, coming your way. We've got a nice little mixture coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. And then at 12 o'clock, OMG, Debs, that piece of jewellery is stunning. Ooh, it's I very you. It's very me, isn't it? Yeah, very you. <laughs> so it's a long line necklace. I've had to wrap it round at the bust. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, look at all those. That tassel is amazing. You get the peacock and it's attached to the tassel cap. Yeah. I mean, I love a tassel cap anyway. Yeah. You get the large pearls and the smaller pearls. So basically everything yeah. that you need to have the matching tassel. And I've, I've done a rosary ring, but of course you could not. You can put any color you want with it. Look, it's gorgeous. The, those pearls are insane. The and, the, and the smaller size pearls are so difficult to get. Well, pearls are hard to get your hold yeah. of. But the smaller size, I can't remember the last time we've actually had that size on it. Me too. And to have that time. match, the big ones yeah. that are in the neck. Oh, yeah. So, it, oh, <sighs> lucky girl with my, my kits in the 12. It's going to be the most amazing Saturday. Yeah, I love a full tassel. If you're going to do a tassel, do a full one. Yeah. In my opinion. I yeah. have gone through every single little anchor point in the tassel because, you know, I had enough pearls. So why not? Why not? Go all out. And yeah. that's your project at 12 o'clock, which comes, of course, with your instructions, jewellery makers. As always, it's rainy and drizzly here <laughs> in the Midlands. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, stay snuggled up. I contemplated putting the heating on yesterday. Yeah, it was chilly, wasn't it? It was cold. Yeah, it was chilly. Uh, Adam, who says he got a hot water bottle out. <laughs> It was freezing. It was chilly. I got home from work and Tom was like, you have a sit, because we, we went out last night, only briefly, but he was like, have a chill. Um, he, very nice. He made me a bit of food, oh, cup of nice. tea. He's like, I'll go get the girls. And I was laying on the sofa and I was like, God, I'm absolutely frozen. Yeah, it was chilly. Yeah. So stay snuggled up and warm with us, jewelry makers. And of course, drop us a message into the studio. Yeah. We'd love to hear from Especially you. Especially if we met you at the make along or, you know, just say hello. Yeah. And or that doesn't have to be in person whether you Skyped in as well. Oh, yeah. No, it doesn't have to be in person. Yeah. Well, just, just message him. We'd love to hear from you. <laughs> um, should we get cracking, Roscoe? Let's do it. Are you, are you pleased to be back? <laughs> He's like, I'm pleased to be back. You are, though, aren't you? He feels a bit poorly, though. Bless oh. him. 
Um, okay. Shall we bring you? Oh, yes, Ross. Oh, how I have missed you, Ross. If it's any constellation, Ross, I haven't been here either. Hmm. Um, look at this. I remember, I've had a memory. Do you remember when Ross is in the hot seat, what mm -hmm. happens? Yes. It's a <laughs> pant. <laughs> I won't ask you to do that because you've got a sore throat. Pant. <coughs> it's a pant. Sorry. Well done. Well done, well done. Let's do some what? Amber's Night Stars. Lovely. I'll get my board for this. Look at all those. Oh, they're drilled as well. They're drilled. Oh, these would be nice in a tassel, wouldn't they? Oh, they would. Hang on. Hang on. Let me hold one of them up. Come on. Come on, little stars. Amazonite as well. Oh, they're lovely. Little charms. Aren't they beautiful? Mm. How on earth are they a pound? Are they a pound? It's a pound. <laughs> it's a pound. <laughs> pound. <laughs> 10p per star. Wow. Per genuine gemstone star. That's Madness, aren't we? That's Absolute madness. Um, lots of you making multiplies on this one, I'm not surprised. And there's loads of you up nice and early this morning. Good morning, everybody. Ah, oh, I'll leave those with you. Remember, all of these items do time out as well by nine o'clock, so make sure you do check them out. Um, let's do, yes, this is lovely. I was eyeing this up this morning, Roscoe. Um, your beautiful blue moon quartz. Blue moon. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Lovely in a ring. Yeah. Imagine that in a ring. One and a quarter carrots. Oh, that's lovely. All you need to do is grab your, your mount and away you go. Yeah. It's a, I think moonstone. It's a little bit moonstoney. Oh, it's nice. It's lovely, isn't it's it? It's lovely. Very ethereal. I like that. Are you ethereal, Ethere Debs? I'm ethereal. Yeah, ethereal. Ethereal. Uh, Rachel snapped a bait of these. Well done, Rachel. Chantal's got three as well. Linda, Paula, Alison. Hello to new customers. Jan, Janet, Joanne. Terry in Yorkshire. Make sure you check out your baskets though, folks, to avoid any disappointment. Yorkshire's got five. Hertfordshire's got five. Well done. That's how we like to start our Saturday morning, isn't it? We're going to have fun today. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. In my bones. In my bones. People were saying very nice things about you at the make along. Ah, oh, bless. But one lady said she thought you were really knowledgeable. Ah. Oh. And I agree with that. Thank you. Yeah. About some things, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not about others. <laughs> I mean, my school report didn't say knowledgeable. Let's just put it that well, way. Well, they didn't know what they were talking about, quite <laughs> obviously. But I do think, though, like, who knew what they wanted to do as a child? Especially when you're that age. Yeah. And I didn't apply myself in school at all. No, you either like school or you don't. Yeah, I was much more interested in boys in school. Well, you know. I was true. It's true. You reach, by the time you're doing your exams, your eyes have turned, haven't they? Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> your eyes have turned. <laughs> you're more interested in, in, yeah. in yeah. yeah. So true. I didn't really apply myself in school. Could have done better. That's what my report was. But you're say. very knowledgeable. Bless you. Now. Now. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> A Buddha head, pink Buddha head. Oh, hang on. Oh, these are gorgeous. I've never seen these before. Is it what I think it is? No, I know it's a Buddha head, but is it? Come on. It's a carved pearl Buddha head. How on earth? How on earth do they achieve that detail? Oh, hang on. In a pearl. Oh my goodness me, I've never seen these before. That's amazing. I mean, I wouldn't want to do it. I'd be worried I would slip and ruin it. I mean, that's clever, isn't it? The detail, and it's all the way around. I wonder if I can turn it around. Look. Look at that little face, <laughs> that profile. Look at his cheeks. He's got lovely cheeks, <laughs> isn't he? I'm saying he, could be a her. Look at all that detail. Oh my goodness me, Roscoe. Beautiful. Do you remember when we first introduced Buddhas here at Jewelry Maker? And I loved learning about about uh, mm. Buddhas, Buddhism, mm. you know, all the meanings and beliefs attached to it. Um, we always kind of go down. It'd always be a lovely conversation, I think. And they're just serene. Yeah. I like their little faces. They just make me feel calm. very positive, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. Very, very positive. Um, I'm blown away by that. You know, there's faceting a pearl and then there's carving a pearl. Uh, yeah. 
you know, two things which we never thought we'd be able to do, you know, centuries ago. £39.99 only. Um, let me just double check. It is drilled as well. So drilled through. So you can easily incorporate this into maybe your project, Debs. Yeah, that would be beautiful. I mean, he could be at the top of the tassel, couldn't oh. he? And then you could have tassels or you could have them halfway up the neckline on both sides. I just think um, that'd be a lovely addition. Wow. And talk about making your piece of jewellery stand out. And very unique. Yeah. Because mm. I've I, in all my years, I've been here 12 years now at Jewellery Maker, and I've never seen this before. No. Oh, have you not? No. Yeah, I've seen it once, I think. Have not you? long ago, yeah. Yeah, this must have been launched on, on the other shift side. That's absolutely amazing. But then I was on six times last month, so I've probably seen most things. I know. Things. Bless you, Debs. <laughs> Bless you, Debs. We were discussing this earlier on. It's not just the volume <laughs> of the shows. It's the volume of what you do behind the scenes. That's true. That's and true. also for you, the commute. Yes, the it's a big drive. Do you think you could just move up a bit closer? Could I mean, just yeah. Pick up the building and move a bit closer. Yeah. I'd move up north. Yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, it's fine. Thirty nine ninety nine, but we're going even lower. Look at the detail. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Wow. I want to buy some of these. That's beautiful. And like you said, long line necklace. Maybe just have a couple of the buddhas either side. Yeah, be really pretty. Almost like your guru beads. Exactly beautiful be amazing alongside deb's project that's coming up in the 12 o'clock hour as well jewelry makers carved pearl have you seen this before roscoe it's amazing isn't it you know because like faceting a pearl is 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 is, is incredible enough you've got about 200 facets on a faceted pearl really? and you have to have the finest quality pearl yeah, with the finest nacre yeah. um <clears throat> but to actually achieve a carving i can't even get my head around that Super um nice. that detailing within something that is you know it's not the same as a diamond is it which obviously you can facet on a cutting wheel this yeah. is literally i assume done by hand i would have thought so wouldn't you I mean... have to be well done everybody make sure you check out your baskets i can see you all there beautiful loving the little pearl buddha head amazing um what's the clots are absolutely flying out the door the gold especially ross is saying so do ch uh, shop ahead on those because we only have 50. Um, so the clots are the hottest finding, I think, at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, because we couldn't get them for a long time, could we? We didn't see them. No. Nope. And then we see them here and there. Sometimes you'll get a cut like two yeah. in, in the findings pack. Um, I've run out completely. I think I actually asked Kate up in the office for some about two weeks ago because mine have gone and there weren't any at the time. Oh, really? And you get two different sizes as well in these. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. how amazing. Um, shop ahead on those. Um, shall we do some amazing pearls? Yes, shall please. we? Um, or oh, Michael, could you pass me my favourite gold bust? Thank you. I don't know why I'm so attached to this bust, but I think it's very pretty. It is pretty. It is very pretty. Look at that, like this nice pearl essence mm. colour. What what size do you say, Roscoe? The big ones. <sighs> I've been looking at these. Uh, mm. Go into the neckline first. <laughs> Just cause. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at how pure, oh. crisp, and bright white these are. Oh, they're beautiful. You know, when we think about the traditional pearl necklace, it's, it's this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, the one that you've seen on royalty or on yes. the red carpet. Yeah. Um, our graphics don't say it, but these are, at the very least, near round pearls. Would we all agree? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which is still the most sought after and also the most expensive shape of pearl. But remember all your five virtues jewelry makers so we talk about size while well, you're hitting that double dig digit measurement so um you have then the shape like i said the rounds the most expensive ordinarily then we start talking about the color and you can see how crisp and white that is then we start talking about the nacre well it's clear that this is abundant with nacre because you have that vibrant oriental luster um we've got five available jewelry makers this for me not it with silk, like that amazing necklace that we've been seeing on Facebook, um, made by Alison. Oh, yes. Um, I mean, how amazing is that? Yeah. You know, that literally yeah. worn by music royalty Abba, yeah, wearing amazing. her fabulous designs. You know, I'd keep it simple, you know, knot it um, on a traditional class and away you go. Let the, let the pearls do the talking. Look at that quality, jewellery makers. I mean, do we all agree that if we were on Bond Street, Hatton Garden, Rodeo Drive, Place Vendôme, any of those places, we would be seeing pearls like this, wouldn't we? Oh, definitely. I was in the Thornton Arcade in Leeds, which is where all the designers are. Mm. 
and I had a look in the jewellery shop and they had one earring and it was a big pearl about this size yeah um, and I thought they were gold but they were gold for my so whatever okay. that means um, and they were £399 and there were two pearls two pearls and then this gold for my which is essentially gold plating it's gold plate it? yeah um, yeah £399. £399. And did they look any better than these? No! There. This is the thing. The pearls that I used to sell years ago, lovely, don't get me wrong. Thousands upon thousands of pounds. They're no different to the quality that jewellery maker bring. Um, it's just how we access them. That's unbelievable. At £199, but I only have five available jewellery makers. You know... Again, I've got, I've got a lot of pearls that I've bought through Jewelry Maker. Do I need more? Probably not. However, I look at these as something that I will pass on to future generations. Yeah, exactly. This, this is legacy jewelry without doubt. Oh my goodness, it's a purple clock on your screens. Five available. I've got my eye on these, Roscoe. I might have to, I might have to add this to my uh, pearl collection. Pearl collection, not them with a the gold clasp, away you go. Oh, beautiful. You can't, you can't. You know, that would be thousands elsewhere oh, of these yeah. sizes. And you wouldn't have to look too hard to find them at that price tag. No, you wouldn't. You just go into any town centre jewellers. Yes. You know, and the, it's got to be a good jeweller to have pearls of this quality in the first Absolutely. place. Absolutely. You definitely wouldn't see 199. And I'm, I'm fairly confident that you 100% wouldn't see this. <laughs> Okay, I almost hope they don't sell out, to be honest, <laughs> <Me too>. Ross. <laughs> I hope they don't. <laughs> I'm being selfish about this, but I would, I would be joining you on this one. Um, Sally, congratulations. They're absolutely breathtaking, Sally. Amazing. Heather's there. Debbie's there as well in Northamptonshire. I only had five opportunities, ladies and gents. So again, you know... It, I, I find it really, really heartwarming as well that a we can a, afford to get pearls of this mm -hmm. grade, of this calibre, which I, I don't mind saying I'd no way be able to afford if it wasn't for jewellery maker. Me neither. But also the fact that I can gift them. You know, I gave our mother, my mother-in-law, for her birthday recently, and she was going on a fancy, um, on a fancy train. You know where you have the, oh, yeah, the like dinner. The, yeah, 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 yeah. A bit like the Orient Express, yeah. but it wasn't the Orient Express. And um, she wore her pearls on there, and she looks so amazing. And you know, you're like, ah, oh, you know, I was able to gift those to her. Yeah, that's And lovely. it's because of jewellery maker prices. Suzanne, you can do this, lovely. You can do it. I can see you on the phone lines there. They're absolutely, look at that luster. That's almost like gold. They're amazing, those pearls. Yeah, beautiful. And, and um, if you cast your mind back also to when Georgia, who's, who does our pearl buying here mm. at Jewellery Maker, when she joined me on, on screens, um yeah yeah she did turn up dressed as a poodle yeah but listen you know that she was made to do that um <laughs> but she did update us on pearls and pearl buying or in fact the um how complex it is now mm. to actually purchase pearls especially of this grade she was saying look i can buy edison's but edison's are very expensive yeah and they probably won't have the luster that you're seeing in these because they tend to have less nacre um now if you all check out these have gone if you all check out, they've gone. Well done. I'm very jealous. So <laughs> very, nice. very jealous. They are amazing. Um, oh, amazing that we've been able to actually make this. Now, Queen Conk bracelet, uber rare. They're about 15 years old when they reach queen status, which, as you can imagine, um, a conk is actually, or conch, depending on which way you say it, um, is a natural food source for many a creature, not just humans, but also sharks. So they very rarely actually reach that age. Thank you. This is what uh, the conch shell. Thank you, Michael. Um, they're absolutely beautiful, though, aren't they? Here it is. So look at that. That's your conch. You've probably seen them at seaside resorts and things like that. But they can. Uh, <clears throat> I, I'm not even sure if this is the queen. Is, this is a queen. I don't think it is. Um, because I'm sure they have to have seven crowns to reach yeah. um, to reach uh, queen status. But it's this material on the inside there that they sometimes carve, this beautiful sort of pink shell, delicate powder pink shell. But can you imagine how challenging it is actually to carve that? Gosh, that's so beautiful, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? You know, if I had one of these, I'd have to display it that way. Yeah, me too. So you actually have the inside yeah. showing. Stunning. Now, um, again, uber, uber, uber rare. We are going to bring it to air at the price 
and you have one minute. Goodness me. Goodness me. 99 pounds and 99 pence. And we've shown you the chrysanthemum conch that, that, that Tiffany's uh, commission that obviously went to auction for thousands upon pounds. Mm -hmm. We've seen pieces that are displayed in museums, haven't we, For which are probably invaluable, that yeah. date back uh, to the 1800s. You're working with that same uber rare material. Again, remember, a conch can produce a pearl. It is basically a mini version of themselves. Um, but the actual, the sangha, this is what the locals actually call it, the sangha is actually rarer than a conch pearl itself because few reach this state at uh, this age at uh, the queen age um, in 20 seconds I'm gonna have to move on jewelry makers because this is super super low they are double drilled by the way so if you wanted to deconstruct it and use them as individuals or maybe use them as connectors you could do that you, you could do yeah absolutely um, if you're not fancy in the bracelet use them as the um, look for the rare material can you see the flame on these mm. that's what they call that patterning on the surface the flame of the Sanger shell beautiful well done everybody stay where you are on those phone lines I've got some lovely potato pearls can we just keep that there it's so pretty isn't it here we go oh pretty you could incorporate this into your project couldn't you you really could. both projects you, you could because I think you could definitely put the rondelles in between yeah you could definitely they're that lovely size again that you could put in a tassel which we rarely see we don't the smaller see. size we don't see we don't, less do than we? the bigger ones yeah absolutely um, and I guess because op they're almost intercepted aren't they before they grow to those sizes yeah. um, <clears throat> and they are actually harder to drill a smaller pearl more fractured more broken during that process um, again I love I, I don't like the description potato pearls they're basically oval pearls effectively but you get a huge amount of luster I mean look at those they'd be lovely with lots of the items that's the joy of pearls really they go with absolutely everything don't they definitely um it's true what Coco sh said pearls are always appropriate they're our favorite aren't they Debs I love pearls they Me are too. my absolute favorite and I just think that you know I've got a lot of larger pearls mm. but I've my smaller pearls no so, same I don't think know. I've got any I think I've honest. got one strand. I think I've got one strand. Um, well, we're going to go one crash, one minute. Okay. Because it's already too low, Debs. Yeah. How many do we have? Okay, there's only 16. Oh. Are you ready? I've got a feeling, Ross. I knew it. What? I knew. Uh, do you know when you just had a funny feeling? That I can. I think I, I. I know Ross pretty well now. Twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. The days of us bringing pearls at, a, at an affordable price tag. The reality is, jewelry makers. It's so far away because the pearl world has massively changed yeah. over the past year or so. Massively so. Um, so do you, and I know I said this only yesterday, but we used to do pearl weekends, didn't we? Yeah, we, we used did. to do pearl days, pearl showcases. Yeah, we can't we do it now. We don't have the supply of them anymore because the Chinese uh, um, market is so dominant. Um, so dominant and they won't export them so for us to actually get hold of 16 is a really good thing we used to be, have 200 didn't we, we used yep, to do massive did. quantities They're, those days are gone um, Heather London Karen Essex Debbie well done people multi buying on this as well stop clearly we're not the only ones Debs who are a bit light on the smaller pearls well you need them you know and sometimes you want one but you don't want a large one you want a smaller one you want mm. it in the, in the middle of something um, that surprised me. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, amazing. That's well an done. excellent price. Well done, everybody. Look at this. I'm just going to be all artistic. Look. Oh, look at that. Just because, you know, why not? Can you tell I worked at a jeweler's? I, I used to do, I used to do displays, window displays. Look at that. That's lovely. There you go. Get the coat on, there you go. Let's scooch that in a little bit. There you go. That's like a photograph, isn't it? <laughs> People get paid fortunes through windows displays. You what? I like watching them when you go down to London. You know, see them in Selfridges doing their window displays. And Liberty at Christmas. And Liberty. Oh yeah, Liberties. It's iconic Liberties, yeah, that isn't is it? Iconic. I don't go to London very often, Nor though. But I. when I do, it's too expensive. 
Oh, yeah, I'm a bit Londoned out. <laughs> yeah, well, you're from London, I'm aren't from you? there, and yeah, I haven't got my mum there anymore, so, you know, there's not so many reasons. To go there. Mm-mm. It is nice to visit, though. It is nice to visit. Nice to visit. Um, okay, yeah. I love London. Yeah, like w- when I was talking to Willow before we booked our holiday, I don't know if I've told you this conversation. So it's like, Willow, where would you like to go on holiday? And she was like, um, Mexico, <laughs> uh, Orlando, London, or Cardiff. I was like, okay, I mean, they're very different. They're very different. So where did you decide on? Cardiff? <laughs> None of the above. <laughs> None of the above. Because like, like you with London, I know Cardiff very, very yeah. well. I love Cardiff too. Yeah. Um, but I don't think we're going to go there for a two-week holiday. No. no. <laughs> we decided on Cape Verde. That's oh, where we're lovely. going. Yes. So I'm very excited about that. Do you want some more? Yes, please. How about there are 18 available and they're already priced. Get ready, because these are like beautiful La Peregrina drop shapes, which again, uber rare. It won't last a minute, says Ross. The auction is live. No, that... What? Are these real pearls? Yeah. They're not They're not. Ross, shell. these are real. Shell, you're right there, Debs. Shell pearls should be more than that. That's amazing. And the, they're, they're drop pearls too, which is, at, you can't, when you're when you're cultivating a pearl, you can't say to right little mollusk, I want you to put, produce a drop. No. Right little mollusk, I want you to produce a button or a no. fireball or anything like that. The drop pearls are very rare. I don't even know how they produce that, almost like blaze, that tail yeah. of nacre. Um, because they're all turned. You're right, Ross, these aren't going to last a minute, are they? There's lots of people there, lots of multi-buying. That's crazy. They've sold out. Well done. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Shall I add that to the display, shall yes, we? Yes, please. There we go. I have got one more little, um, one of your carved Buddha heads, which is absolutely stunning. Do you like that? On the Sangha. Miss McCalling. Well, if ever jewellery maker give me the boot, <laughs> I'll go into window displays. Oh, look! Oh. Yeah, you'll see me arranging the baked bean cans. <laughs> <laughs> the bread. <laughs> yeah, I reckon I'd be good at that though. Because I, I am one of those people that all the labels have to be kind of, not in my cupboards, but yeah, if yeah. I was displaying something, yeah. I would have to have all the labels in the same yeah. direction. And then you'd have a ch- uh, one kid come and move the and you baked... Go, don't touch that. Don't touch! Don't touch it! But we're buying it, no? Nope. Don't ruin my display. That must be infuriating if you work in a shopping centre. You're trying to fill up the shelves and people are taking them away from you. Exactly. Oh, I sympathise. Um, anyway, look. It's, part, it's like a little cherub. Is that a pearl as well? It's a pearl. Oh, how It's a carved that? pearl. Beautiful. Even the locks of hair. Wow. £17.99. And 99 pence. Again, it is drilled, so you could very easily incorporate this maybe into some of the pearl strands that you've just had. Yeah. You know, just as a, a little feature. I mean, how many people can say that? That they've actually got. I couldn't. No, I've got either. a carved pearl. No, I, I don't have any. No, I haven't, got a, I haven't got a faceted pearl. No, nor have I. We need to we need to put that right. <laughs> we need to address that. Don't <laughs> we did, we? don't we? Um, Charmaine, Lisa, Mags, Cheshire. Make sure you're checking out your basket. Look at the little cheeks. Yeah, it's a little cutie. He'd be nice with like a spacer bead either side, maybe on a cider bracelet. Nice. Oh, that would be really pretty. So it's a real feature yeah. then. All the attention. And of course, when people ask you about it, you can say it's a carved pearl. Which what 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 jeweler? High end, middle of the line, whichever. What jeweler do you know? actually produce uh, offers carved pearls i know uh, it's the first seen. time i've ever seen it in my what 25 years of yeah, working in jewelry yeah. well done karen linda charmaine lisa's got two elizabeth jacqueline uh maker mags and i've got cheshire there as well how many do we have roscoe nine left okay yeah they're not hanging around such a unique piece isn't it such a such a, a distinctive conversational piece as well and it goes all the way around doesn't it so if yeah, you've got two you everywhere. could have earrings couldn't you and then he'd move around your ears look he's so cute i like his cheeks beautiful you don't get grumpy buddhas all, all <laughs> buddhas are happy <laughs> they are aren't they yeah they're all happy that's that 
That's the whole thing, isn't it? He, he looks very zen. He looks very zen, I think, with his eyes closed. Yeah, he does. I like the serene faces. Yeah, mm. zen. he's zen. He's not um, grumpy, he's zen. Um, Have you got, you know, like when you're really relaxed mm. and you're, say, watching something on TV? Adam knows this conversation because I've definitely had this conversation with Adam. <laughs> No, because you know when you sat watching something like a favourite fit a program, I have a definite TV face. Do you? Yeah. Yes, yeah, some people do, don't they? Yeah. I don't know if I. And do. every so often I'll hear like Tom like tittering away, and in my peripheral I'm like, "What?" He's like, "You're doing it again." I'm like, oh, "What do you I'm do?" Just relax. I turn into my, my dog basically. <laughs> <laughs> so Brutus has got a major underbite. Yeah. By Brutus, it's quite impressive his underbite, it is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So when I'm really relaxed, I do this. <laughs> Does and it not I, hurt your jaw to do that? Clearly not. <laughs> uh, and Thomas look at me and go, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's my relaxed face. <laughs> Just think for sure out. There you oh, go. I don't know. I have to ask if I've got a TV face. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone's got one. Maybe it's not as bad as mine. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, I do. This is so beautiful. Um, so Tahitian pearl. Tahitian. From the Black Lip Oyster. This is from your birthday. So this is your Tahitian uh, black lip oyster shell. Is it? Yeah, a carved elephant in sterling wow. silver. This was so popular during Makers on the birthday launch. Look at how beautiful. You get those same colours that you see in a Tahitian pearl, of course, because it, uh, the pearl gets their colour from the oyster itself. The black lip oyster, and it is true what they say, they literally sing to those oysters. Uh, serenade them at night time they chip off all the barnacles so those um, oysters will actually filter um, and produce beautiful pearls um, <clears throat> happy oysters and you get fine quality mother of pearl you get fine quality um, pearls themselves with those wonderful overtones this flew on birthday so I know we haven't got many of them left there we go 22 um, it is set in sterling silver good luck because the graphics are live at your prize jewelry makers oh, again good. again you know and and by the way the situation with pearls doesn't differ when we're talking about the mother of pearl no you know it's um, anything pearl related very 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 difficult to get hold of plus you've got the sentiment of the elephant you know mm. the lots of people love elephants not only because they're, they're a wonderful creature but they're meaningful aren't they they are meaningful family aren't they yeah. and wisdom and uh, I just determination yeah memory yes I think this is lovely as a gift for somebody yeah you know imagine who doesn't love it? elephants yeah they're amazing aren't they they are lovely I was really we went to the zoo uh, um, it was a good few weeks back actually and I thought there was elephants at the zoo and there wasn't any elephants Really? It, it's, it's a conservation zoo. Yeah. So, I, yeah, it is, you know, they're not captive. No. Um, it's a conservation zoo, but no, there's no elephants there anymore. Oh. I know. But they're so beautiful, though, aren't they? They are, and the way they play, like the baby ones, yeah, and that's so I know. cute. Amazing. Um, well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Um, minute clock, because this is set at the price. Oh, yeah, got it. Yeah. Really, really low, says Ross. Okay. Oh, it's beautifully carved. Think Elsa Peretti, but even better because this is Burmese ice jade eye. All you need to do is, yeah, basically stick it on a chain. And we had that lovely chain yesterday as well. You know, the Cartier inspired trio of colours. Look at that carving. That's lovely, isn't it? Are you ready? This was launched during the birthday, a stylized heart, like a ribbon, isn't it? Beautifully, beautifully carved. Good luck, everyone. Oh. Birthday price point for you. Yeah, this is, it is, Burmese Jade is still mined out. It is still mined out. 800 years of history gone. Um, this is type A grade. It's not type B. It's not type C. You remember the only reason that we actually have this gemstone on our screens is because um, Steve basically went into partnership with Bernard and bought um, 
a boulder to get they bought yeah. a boulder together it was a vast boulder um they're never gonna they were never gonna lose on it because it was always gonna have value but how good the quality of, uh, of the jade was gonna be um is, was under speculation until you cut into it well as you can see it's exemplary quality Ooh, you've got yeah. ice burmese jadeite here beautiful translucency as if we're at 14 pounds and 99 pence only yeah i'm with ross just pop that directly onto a chain and away you go definitely you've got that just that little moment great for stacking something yeah. you could wear all the time oh lovely you've got father's day coming up as well if you wanted to put this on lark said not i think something yeah. like that would be lovely on, leather, on a leather brace yeah there. cool very cool that's really lovely it's very designer looking it's yeah. very tiffany's looking. and not too big either no. i think it's one of those things that people will wear now i've got one more auction before we bring you collots where's that gosh tell you what the time's flown by this morning um okay sterling silver Feather, they're not round, no. I do know what you mean. So again, these would be great with Deb's project. They're very cool. Oh, they're good. They're almost like spacers, aren't they? They are spacers. Yeah. Very nice, and that's a big amount of sterling silver as well. Seven by four millimeters, and the reason I've turned this one on its side is so that you can see the thickness of the precious metal there. Um, so you've got that feathering detail all the way around. Lovely with Deb's projects, both at nine o'clock and at twelve mm. o'clock too. Um, but the kind of component component that will work in so many different designs. I use these all the time. Do you? Yeah. So you'll see me sort of add my little flourishes and things, and um, these just add something really special. You know, just put a couple in together mm. with a round space piece and just have these at equal points on a necklace or at equal points on a bracelet. And it just adds that something, that kind of um, artisan feel yeah, to your jewellery. Yeah, definitely, yeah. The fact they're feathers as well, I, yeah. you know, I, I love feathers in all jewellery design. There's so much meaning behind the feather yeah. itself. Um, okay, I just heard Ross in my ear say, whoa. These go very low. First price crash, not your closing price. So we got quantity then, have we? Because I think people, we've got a hundred of them, because I think people are going to want to multi-buy on these. Because yeah, like you said, it. Debs, you'll use them a lot, won't you? Yeah, especially the, pre the precious metal <gasps> ones. Are they 9.99? Look at the amount of sterling silver that you've got in these. 9.99? Not for one, that's for all three. That's really good. That's super good, wow. That's £3.33 pence each. And we're going even lower, jewelry makers. We had 100. I don't think we're gonna have 100 for very long. I want some of these. Again, the sentiment of the feather, without it being an obvious feather. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Not your prize. I want these, Roscoe. We popped out for dinner, nothing fancy, last night. And um, it was really cool. It was like a barn. And then um, you got a bar at the end. Nice. And lots of street vendors around. So it was really cool. No, the kids were there. Though. We, went, we, went, we went early. Um, we went early. You know, and it was great because the girls, girls had noodles. That, and there was chicken wings. There was nice. all different types. There was a shrimp shack. It was amazing. Anyway, but I was sat there last night and, and, and I was like, I wish my, I could bring my dad to somewhere like this because he would have really loved the novelty of it, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it's little moments like that. The reason why I'm saying this is because it's little moments like that, you know, we're always thinking about our lost loved ones, aren't we? Yes. But I don't always want to wear like a feather. No. You know, I don't want always to be on show, but that no. has that, that hidden meaning. I love the hidden meaning. Yeah. And I just think like with the Morse code jewelry as yeah. well, you don't know what it says. No. Um, and this feather, it is a, a symbol of a message. Yeah. A message from above, whatever that I love may be. That. And you know, I found them in the most obscure places. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah, and to have that in jewelry, you're adding to that six ninety nine. Yeah, you're adding to that. Sorry, <laughs> you're adding to that story, aren't you? I know. You? Yeah, one hundred percent. Two pound thirty three yes. each. That's so, crazy, isn't it? And they're it? sterling silver. They are silver. Yeah, they're not base metal. They're not even silver plated base metal. They are mm. solid nine two five. We had a hundred, but if we look at the call screens, there's a lot of you getting multiples. You know, you can just put one, couldn't you? Oh, like yeah. in a simple stretchy bracelet Definitely. one and you've got that lovely little feather meaning in there as well you might just like the patterns of it you might be looking at that thinking it looks a little bit like is it wheat 
looks yeah. like a bit like wheat, doesn't it? Or floral. Which I think is also very beautiful. Yeah, I agree. And it's just almost floral, so it could be a leaf, couldn't it, as yeah. well? Um, depending on, on how you do it. Or put them all together and then have pearls either side or gemstones either side. So that's your sterling silver in the middle. Mm. Um, really pretty. Beautiful. Just really unusual. I've not seen anything like that. No, actually. nor me. I love these, Roscoe. I think we need to put this on the shift report to get something a little, do different designs in these oh, as yeah. well. Um, Adam just said, Oh, I'd love to run through a wheat field. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I said, Weirdly, I had a conversation with Tom the other day and he was like, um, No, at like this, Adam. Would you be like this? In slow motion. Yeah. Just swishing the wheat. Can we film you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay, that we, one with nature. Okay, we won't. Um, but they've got the bias. We've got lavender fields. I can't remember where. I, like, there's lavender fields near us, and I'm like, Tom, please, can we take the girls this oh, summer? Lavender fields. And he was like, Yes, but Tom suffers really bad hay fever. Oh no. <laughs> so he was like, L, I'll be a puddle. He can borrow my um, yeah, mask. mask. Yeah, yeah but I was fun. like, I just imagine all the photos that's <laughs> done with that mask on. Um, six pounds and 99 pence only. So beautiful, aren't they? That's really good. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. And all that sterling silver as well. What is the gram weight on those, out of curiosity? Two grams. Wow, wow. Hello, Elaine. Christine's got four. Emma, Paula and Ron the Cun and Tough. Nancy in Bristol. Lorna, well done. Jacqueline, Sandra, Tina, Carol, Lisa, Karen, uh, Yorkshire. Michelle, Yvonne, Joanne. There's loads of you there. Threes, fours, twos. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, I've been multi. Mary in Cambridge wants nine. I would check out Mary because we only had a hundred of them. There's a lot of names. Um, you can always combine your order, darling. Don't worry. With, at no additional cost. Um, and remember also these items do time out come the top of the hour as well. Yeah, I want to go to the lavender fields this summer. I love the lavender fields. And strawberry picking. We always do strawberry and raspberry picking. Yeah, and rhubarb. Yes. I love all those. Rhubarb, crumble and custard. But because we've had such a cold summer now, a lot of the um, farms near us, you actually have to buy, you can't just turn up. You have to buy a ticket to get there because there's oh. so, such, so few fruit really yeah so um they've released tickets for up to friday but i want to go on the weekend so i've got to wait for those next two yeah, days yeah. and then we'll be up bright and early going strawberry picking oh, and we so always good. pick too much you can never have too many no you make jams don't you yeah. and delicious things like Ooh. that Ooh. yummy 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 yeah that's for me that's quintessentially british isn't it strawberry oh, picking yeah. love it absolutely love it well done everybody make sure you're checking out your basket um okay oh yeah make some homemade strawberry jam and welsh cakes oh you're making me hungry mm. Mm -mm. i'll bring them in shall i bring them in i will i'll make some welsh cakes for us and homemade jam yeah no problem um okay um no no i will i will do that um okay up next it is the hottest finding of the moment do we all agree with that yeah the calotte this wonderful genius idea that just makes all of our jewelry finishing so much easier it's this little clamshell effectively that you close over the knot of your bracelet necklace whatever it might be and again attach it directly to your clasp it gives you that polished look without the need for things like french wire or wire guardians up next we've got the two colors but they are limited jewelry makers and you get two different sizes in your early bird <laughs> just having a nice little sing song with me Ooh. i always think that's a bit jack johnson is it jack johnson who's jack johnson um he's we're always better when we're together oh yeah 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 he was always it's like that kind of summertime yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that humming vibe yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's a nice vibe isn't it um okay my friends, um, I grew up in, in Krakow in South Wales and they've got that, they have the Hay on Wye festival recently, um, which is always lovely if you fancy a trip, by the way. Um, and of course, it's all about books, isn't oh. it? If you go to Hay on Wye, there's just loads of bookstores and it's really beautiful. Oh, wow. Um, but my friend had a photograph talking about Jack Johnson. I've totally sidetracked. Um, <laughs> 
Um, but she, she, there's a photograph of her getting a book signed by um, James Blunt. Really? Yeah, he's written a book. Ooh. And she was saying that he's, uh, he's a very nice chap. Uh, yeah. James Blunt. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah. I could imagine he is. Can you speak Welsh? Can I? Yeah. Or Tippinbach? A little bit. Oh. A little bit. I understand more than I can speak. Yeah. I think when you don't use it frequently, I, I, I probably could when I was younger yeah. more than yeah. I can now. But it's such a beautiful language. Isn't it? Yeah. I love lovely it. Lovely language. Yeah. Anyway, back to your clots. Sorry, <laughs> I got sidetracked then, didn't I? Um, these are limited. We only had 50 at the very beginning. Again, you get the two different sizes. But if I hold one up, if a clot is new to you, let me show you. They look quite strange as they are. Um, but can you see? So basically, you fold this over like a clamshell, like this. You fold it over onto your knot. Mm -hmm. Is that right, Debs? Absolutely. And then you attach a clasp to where my tweezers are. These are a bit different to the other ones. These no are good. These have got the little indentations so that your um, piece of cord sits nicely. Yeah. Yeah, normally you have your, th there's a drill hole there, in isn't the middle, there? Yeah. In the middle. Yeah. Whereas these kind of close over the knot, yeah, don't like they? And then you've got the, the, so they are a bit different to the other clots, but where I'm actually holding is like a little jump ring effectively. Yeah. So am I right in saying, Debs, I won't need French wire? No. I won't need a wire guardian? No. You can literally do this directly onto you your clasp? You can not, yeah. And, you know, if you do your knot and then you add some glue and then you close this over the glue, you've got even extra security. Yeah. Because you've kind of glued it in place as well as, as the, the lovely security of actually squashing it into place. Yeah. So they're really lovely and secure. You don't only get this size, though. You actually get the smaller ones because, you know, silks come in different yeah, sizes, don't they? Definitely. Pearls or whatever gemstone you're knotting, they might not all be the big sizes. So if you're looking for something that's maybe a little bit more petite, mm. then to put a big clot would be a bit out of place. Yeah. Um, so you get the two different sizes, which are five mil and seven mil um and basically yeah just imagine them folded over and it becomes almost like a little closed bead that you do over your knot um the yellow gold is flying jewelry makers have we noticed how yellow gold has become one of the hottest colors of precious metals very popular very popular yeah. so we only had 50. good luck the silver shop ahead on the silver as well so you're getting 10 of each The last, they were what? Oh yeah, the last one, the clots that we brought to air, they were a pack of 10. You're getting a pack of 20. Yeah, you see, that's really hard. And also the color of the gold, I would call this a champagne gold. Yeah. It's not a bright yellow gold. I really love this color. Yeah, sometimes plating can be almost too, go too yellow, can't too, yeah, it? Yeah, very yellow. This is like that champagne gold yeah. colour, which is lovely and it's a bit more subtle than the other. It, 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 it's the kind of gold that goes with gold. Yeah. That might sound really stupid. No, it, no, it doesn't. But do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not too yellowy to go with no. a solid gold. Um, so yeah, abs yeah, I totally agree with mm. you. There is a difference. Um, they've absolutely flown out jewellery makers. You are getting 10 of each design. So that's uh, um, 10, yeah. That's 10, 10 pieces of jewellery, isn't it? Yeah. Or, look at this, two pound each. Two pound per calotte. You haven't got to add your French wire. You haven't got to add your wire guardians. And you haven't got an exposed knot, so it no. looks that much more polished. Not your price, says Roscoe. Go and even lower jewellery makers. These are the gold-plated 925 sterling silver. We've only got 100 of the silver. Ross says, I was meant to do 24.99, but you know what? <laughs> oh, that's good. Very good. We're all friends. We're all friends here. Ross's first show back for a week. And he's just delivering on the deals, isn't he? He certainly is. Oh, amazing. Make sure you're checking out Jewelry Makers. There are so many names there. Yes, I can do that. Ross, I'll try anyway, because I have got tweezers rather than pliers. But let's give it a go. So, yeah. I'm just... I've got my concentration face now. <laughs> <laughs> you would use pliers. Here we go. You would use pliers. Have they sold out? But there you go. It's not even straight, but you get the idea. That goes over your knot, and you would do it straight. Whereas I haven't done it straight there. 
um, amazing. They're little ladybirds, don't they? they that do. was dreadful, my attempt. That was a dreadful attempt. Yeah, but you do, that's actually a, a sign of a good um, finding. Because if you could just squeeze it and it closed, then it's yeah. not strong. And it's obviously strong. You need pliers to do it. Yeah, you need pliers for it, definitely. Um, here's the silver. Oh, how fast do we think these are going to sell out? Again, you get the two different sizes. Ten of each. Um, again, beautiful. When they're closed over, so literally imagine this behind here, you've got a, 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 almost like a contained bead. And then imagine the silk or threading material that you're using coming out this way. And then your clasp here. That's how it works. Um, well done, everybody. We had only 100 available. First price crash, not stopping at 49.99, obviously. Again, they come in the same size as you've got uh, five and seven mil. Uh, and, oh, first. First price crash. Oh, ooh. yeah. We're at £19.99. pence. Not stopping there, though. You get all 20 of them, not a pack of 10 that we had last time. And they absolutely flew, didn't they? Absolutely flew out. Um, it is the hottest, most popular, I think, finding of the moment. These are an essential. Yeah. They are in my sort of jewelry making journey. I need them all the time. Yeah, I agree. Because it does give that polished finish. There's yeah. nothing wrong with a knot. No. But. I, just I know which I prefer. This, it, you're protecting your knot as well. Yeah, with true. This. You know, yeah. you're covering it and protecting it as well as looking nice. It does, um, it looks after your jewellery as well. It, it, the longevity of your jewellery, especially if you're making to sell. Yeah. You don't want it to fall apart. You want no. to have that longevity, that security. Yeah. And it's not likely to fray, is it? No. You know, as if it was knotting onto a clasp or something exactly. like that, you run that risk of it actually fraying. Yeah. Um, if it's sort of contained on the sandwich between your collot, then it's not going no. anywhere, especially if you use your tip of using a bit of jewellery making glue in there also. Exactly. Um, genius. £17.99. That's pence very good, isn't it? For 20 We were meant to be higher than that. The, the gold-plated silver were meant to be 24 99 The silver were meant to be 20 that's very but good. But we've given you an additional saving, jewellery makers. We only had 100, though. Um, Agnes, Nicolette, Dagmar, Susan, Maker, Hillary. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Essex, Pat, well done to you, Sandra, Jacqueline, Lorraine, Shropshire, Heather, Jenny, uh, Dagmar, well done to you, Mandy, Sue, Karen. Um, if you love your clots and you're desperately trying to replenish your stash, like Debs, um, mm -hmm. after the break, we will bring you the three mil. Ah. So you've got a nice selection. There's a pack of ten. So you've got a selection of your sizes from your five, your seven. We'll bring you a three just after the break. Also, Deb's amazing projects. And this is a prime example of the kind of, you know, the, the jewellery that I would be looking for the finest findings. Yeah, because, you, you know, when you're using, you know, those top three gemstones that everybody yeah. uh, would love to own, um, you want your precious metal, don't you? Ruby, sapphire and emerald. Yeah, that More might. casual. And you think that you never own those, wouldn't you? No. When you were younger, you think, oh, I'll never have that. You know, that's what famous people have. Yes. I remember, like I like, said, the jewellers. I used to see those gemstones on a regular basis, but I never thought I'd own one. No, exactly. Never thought I'd own it, because they, they obviously come at a high price tag. Um, thank goodness for jewellery maker, eh? <laughs> um, so the three mil clots coming up the other side of the break with Deb's amazing projects. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, not just on these, but on everything that we've brought you. Those amazing pearls, um, the queen conch, the jadeite, the elephant, the Titian pearl elephant. Um, keep those messages coming through, jewellery makers. Also, stunning inspiration coming up with our gorgeous Debs, Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald. Hi, it's Debbie Kershaw. I'm back with you on Saturday the 8th of June with honestly the most amazing show. In the 9am we have got Ruby, Emerald and Sapphire rondelles and I'm going to be showing you different ways that you can use these in your jewellery designs. Um, so far I've made some earrings and I've actually used some wire work techniques um, to just weave those little rondelles in and around so I really enjoy doing that so I'm going to be sharing that with you. Now in the 12 o'clock, whoa, we have got peacock pearls together with a peacock and a peacock tassel cap. I mean, just stunning. Peacocks have been depicted in art for just years and years and years, and they're just beautiful. There's so much symbolism. So I'm going to be working with these in the 12 o'clock. So I hope you can join myself and the team at Jewelry Maker on the 8th. See you then.
Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Join me uh, this weekend for two incredible showcases. The first is where we explore the colors of Kotan, that legendary mine that's been you know, producing the world's most famous jade for 10,000 years. And unfortunately, we've seen the, the new news for 2024. So it's crucial uh, that if as collectors, we wanna own that material, we get it sooner rather than later. And then we delve into one of the gemstones that's had the highest price rise that I've ever witnessed obviously the South Sea Pearls. Ever since uh, COVID, we've seen a shortage of supply of fine goods. And um, with the, the influence of the Chinese superstars, we've seen a demand far outweigh supply, which has kind of put us in this precarious situation of having to compete with China for the finest pearls. Prices have gone through the roof, but you're not gonna believe the collection that we've got for you. Hey jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on Sunday the 9th of June and we've got some beautiful gemstone projects to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour, we have got these gorgeous gem set sterling silver hook clasps. And they come in a project with your gemstones and also with your spacer beads. So I've made a necklace with this amethyst one and also a little charm ring to go with. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we have got the beautiful clover charms again but these ones come with a diamond set peg that you can pop in. And they also have two jump rings so you can make different things with them. So I did a necklace and I also did a charm ring with a peg on either side. So it's gonna be great fun. We've got lots of beautiful things to show you and I will see you on Sunday. Take care. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. this kimono as well I said that to you this morning thank you I love a kimono I love a kimono too yeah especially in the summertime yeah and if I can get away with it in the winter yeah with a cardigan over yeah the I love a kimono I'd live, like Tom always like you like I wear a lot of kimonos I've got a picture of you and I doing a show it's funny because we've got the masks on oh yeah I know which one you and mean and we've almost got the same kimono on <laughs> love them <laughs> absolutely love them sign of summer that is that is isn't yeah. it although you need to tell the weather that come on sun outside um okay jewelry makers as promised we're going to bring you the three millimeter clots but not before i show you deb's amazing jewelry deb these are stunning oh thank you absolutely just, stunning i mean that's probably what i would do with these is put them on yeah. a tassel um i'd also put them in between pearls which i've also done just yeah. to show you because i think sometimes when they're all together you don't get to really appreciate the beauty of them but when you put them in between sort of a pearl necklace or a pearl bracelet it shows off the color colors doesn't it? just yeah. pop don't they yeah that's the thing because strands you know if you buy a parcel as a jeweler mm. they're folded up in a little bit of pe white paper effectively mm. and they kind of they open out and they all kind of separate don't they because yeah. 
um, gem traders know that that's a, you can see the color yeah. and like and it can influence them. Actually, when they're on the strand, it doesn't do them any favors. No, that's because true. Because it can darken the gemstones. It shows the full quality. I mean, look at that green. Look at that yeah, blue. Yeah, it's amazing. Be that emerald is amazing. The yeah, emerald literally glows. Particularly stood out to me. I yeah, if somebody told stunning. me that that was a Colombian emerald, I'd be like, yeah, sure, one hundred percent. They're just absolutely beautiful, and I've not had a strand. I have worked a stra with strands like this, but back in the day, yeah, a long like time 10 ago. years ago. Yeah. Um, but to have these again, I just had a little play, you know me, I like to do a flower. <laughs> Very nice. I love these earrings too. So that's, they're, um, cool. they're the project. So they're are the instructions. They? Yeah, just the little. So this is what you get the instructions on. Amazing. Just so, for something different. Coming your way, but not yet. The perfect um component to go alongside deb's projects is a, a beautiful clot now as you saw them just a few moments ago um and i can show you the different designs because there's different styles of clots as well the ones previously you would knot it and you close over it but this one you can actually if i show hold one up for you oh yeah do you see what i mean yeah yeah so you actually put the cord through this hole yeah through the center then you knot it yeah and then you close it yeah so these two meet and then you put the jump ring, if you like, or the class directly onto those two next to each other. Should you see where I'm coming from? Yeah. So it closes up like a clamshell. I'll try and do it without as best I can. When we first brought these to air, we can you see it happened? It goes like that. Obviously. Oh, sorry. So you basically obviously use pliers, not tweezers, because you get a far neater finish. But if you can imagine, that's where your yes. silk would be or cord would be, the knots inside, and then you put your class through those. So clever. It's very clever, and I think you need the different ones for different designs. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah, because some will be um, a smaller knot, some will be larger, some um, will be heavier. So I think you do need the two different designs depending on you know what you're making. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, so stock up your stashes while you get the chance, jewellery makers. These are your three mil, is that right? So the three mil is the ball, not the whole thing, obviously. Yeah. Um, the three mil is the, the ball measurement. So uh, we had a thousand of these when we first launched them, jewellery makers. We're down to the last 45. That is the popularity of a clot. Um, genius idea. One of those things that you kind of think, oh, I wish I invented that. Yeah, exactly. Um, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Yeah, when we do our awards at New Year, that'll be here before we know it, won't it? Um, it will though. It will, yeah. <laughs> We're already halfway through the year. That's true. Um, when we do the awards and we, we have like gemstone of the year, product of the year, this would be finding of the year, wouldn't it? I think so. I definitely think so. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Just gives you that perfect polished finish. Oh, do you know what? I'm looking at these clots and I'm thinking, right, I'm gonna make some jewellery for my holiday. Yeah, do it. I did it like when we went to uh, Porto Palenza. Hmm. I made some jewellery to go away with. I haven't done it since. It's part of the excitement of going yeah. away, I think. You know, and you think, oh, what what would I wear with with this particular dress? And then make something. It's nice. Definitely a kimono. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always a kimono, <laughs> nice long line, yeah, yeah long line necklace. And your projects. I'm definitely thinking that for summer holidays. That's very summer, isn't it? Yeah, I might have to get that project. That's gorgeous. Uh, 14 99 look at all the multi-buyers. Well done, everybody. 30-second clock on your screens. Oh, okay. Ooh. Um, they're not, they're not plated. Yeah, don't tell them. They're solid sterling silver. <laughs> Ross just said. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking if like this. If your lips don't move, no one can understand you. It's good under <laughs> ten. It's good under ten pounds. Is it? Do you reckon I can take up ventriloquy? Yeah. It's good under ten pounds. See, I can't see your lips moving at all. I think. I I don't think I'd be able to follow up. <laughs> <laughs> Under ten pounds. <laughs> Could we be any more random on this channel? Well, no, but that's no. why we love jewelry makers. Yeah. Under ten pounds, jewelry makers. Um, I definitely haven't missed my call in there, have I? 
Well, you know, you're better than me. I can't do it without any of my lips. Yeah, like Sophia Rangel. Sophia Rangel? <laughs> Why do talk? We don't see when they do it. <laughs> <laughs> you have a completely different mouth positioning, okay. though. I'm kind of doing it like this. I'm good at it. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hello, I can't do it with my mouth. Hello, George. We have 45. Oh, oh. Uh, we have 45 of these available. And they're off again. <laughs> There's not a single day <sighs> where Deb and I do a show together. We don't mention Zippy, George, and Bungle. Don't forget, what's his name? Uh, Rodney. Not Rodney. What is he? Roy. Oh, the bloke. Yeah. Um, oh, what's he called? Zippy, Bungle, George, and Jeffrey. 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 <laughs> Nine ninety nine only jewelry makers. That gets you ten pieces. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, okay. What really? Let's do another essential. Ah, oh, again, I need to. Who? How many of us are desperate for essentials at the moment? Yeah. Two millimeter spacer beads. Oh, especially spacer beads. Yeah, because there, there's probably not a single design I make that doesn't include a spacer bead. No, me neither. And you know, you want, you need them, and you use them, and it's not like you just use one or two in a design. Often, no. you'll do like every other one or one either side of, yeah. a, of a bead. Yeah. Of a gemstone, rather. So yeah. Love that. How and two mil as well. You get how many's in here? Fifty. Oh, that's good. 50, we used to do packs of 10, didn't we? Yeah, that's worth having, that is. You get 50 of them, beautiful two mil bead. So it's, yeah, I mean, I, again, I'm looking at your projects, both nine o'clock and at 12 o'clock. You know, you can put them in between your sapphires, your rubies and your emeralds. You can put them in between yeah. your pearls. You can put them with your cotan. You know, it's adding that, it's elevating your jewelry all the while, isn't it, with, with precious metal. Shall we do a Saturday morning wake us up price? Have we got quantity then, Roscoe? Oh, that's okay. good. Casually, <laughs> casually <laughs> said, do. we've got 500. Huh. We've got quantity. But I think that quantity will go when you see your Saturday morning wake you up price, as Ross said. Okay. Okay, graphics are live. Good luck. Stock up your stashes while you get the chance. The trusty spacer bead, always, always, I think, one of our essentials. You know, as much of as an essential as a head pin. Yeah, I would agree with that. We need to see you there, though. Have you got, have you got tricks up your sleeve, Ross? Oh, yeah, he says. Yeah. He's got 500 available in the vault. That's what he's got. I tell you what, pack of 50 just to mm -hmm. get the wheels in motion. How about a pound each? Okay. That would be fab. That would be good, yeah, yeah. sterling silver. Skip that, though. First price crash, but not where we're stopping. I think I know where he's going to go. Really? No, no, that was not what I was expecting. I thought you were going to oh. say 50p each. That's what I thought you were going to do, Russ. Tenner, but nowhere near your price. Okay. There will be people. What are you taking them to, Russ? What are you taking them to? Go on. Really? So, okay, there will be people <laughs> who don't just get one pack. Do you agree, Deb? Yes. Four packs, please. Yeah. Stock up your stashes. Mm -hmm. So you've got oodles of spacer beads that you can dip, dip into willy-nilly. You need them. I mean, there's nothing on here that I haven't made without a spacer bead. You know, both projects have spacer yeah, beads perfect. and something. Yeah, perfect. The Cotan that's coming up with Dave at 10 o'clock. Perfect. Ooh, yeah. You know, we use spacer beads. Well, I mean, I'm speaking personally here. I use spacer beads more than any fi any finding, probably. Yeah, me too. Um, because you don't just tend to use one, do you? You tend to use quite a few. Nine ninety nine. No way near where we're closing jewelry makers. So, for example, Conwy and Natalie, who've got four. I still think you're up with quantity. David, who's multi bought. Northamptonshire, who's multi bought. Kathy, Carol, Emma, Renfusha, Essex. Seven pounds ninety nine for fifty. Yeah, Deb's in your projects. You got some spaces. They're in everything. They're in the bracelet. They're in the. Oh yeah. They're in everything. Deb's bracelet. In between the emeralds and the sapphires and the rubies. Look. Yep, they're in the tassel on the peacock. They're everywhere. 
They're in there. I think they're in the cent. I think that really they're a finding. They're essential. They're in there. Yeah, they're everywhere. You need them, don't you? Especially when you've got a big fat tassel like that. <laughs> I like a big fat tassel though. I've, well, you know, if you've got the pearls, use them. Yeah. You know, when you haven't got enough pearls and you're thinking, oh, what else can I put in there? Because I haven't got enough. I didn't have that with this project. I could use as many as I wanted. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's normally the quantity of the gemstones that restricts you, but not the case no, today. No, exactly. Um, don't let the quantity of the of the spacer beads restrict no, you either. No, not at all. Um, and we're going to do the best possible price. Ah, oh, big fat tassels <laughs> with oodles of spacer beads. Do you ever think, like, what, during our shows, like, there's a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> oh, I love a big fat tassel. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Look at those. That's some cuns I, I can see in there, Debs, as well. That is... Or is it tanzanite? Amethyst. Amethyst! Yeah. Gosh, very different gemstones that I've just reeled off there. Um, but beautiful with those pearls. Seven ninety nine is good, isn't it? It's good. Very good. Very good. You got 50 spacer beads there. But Ross says, no, I'm not giving it to you for seven ninety nine today, no. I tell you what, today, six ninety nine. But uh, nah, he's not stopping no. me. No, no. We've got five hundred of these jewelry makers. We have to monitor the volumes of the calls. Do you know what? I'm kicking myself. I should have got my phone today, shouldn't I? I should have my phone next to me, and yeah. I'd be shopping along as Deb's is demoing. I'm going to run and get it. I normally do on a weekend because there's no powers that be. So <laughs> <laughs> they can message it. What's the worst they can do? Message into the gallery. Tell Elle to get off her phone. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm not. Look, I'm not WhatsApping, am I? I'm buying along with you. Exactly. And this is one of those opportunities that I would 100% be shopping with you on. And the clots. 100% and the clots. Um, definitely the project that's coming up with our lovely Debs too. Um, beautiful components, everybody. We don't want to stop at 6 99 though. Mary's got five. David's got four. Judith's got six. Jennifer's got three. Candy's got four. Mandy's got four. Dolly's got three. Conway's got four. Everyone's, well, I'm going to say probably, what do you reckon, 60% yeah. of people in multi-bought? Yeah, I would too. Four ninety nine for fifty. That's we used okay. to do them. One, ten. two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We used to do them in packs of ten. Yeah, we did. And I don't know, I can't remember how much they were, but I imagine they would have been more than what's on your screens because we weren't allowed to go lower no. than six ninety nine. No. It was deemed a non broadcastable price. So, I mean, look at those. You're getting that times five. Yeah, that's amazing. That's a pound per ten. I think for that price, I would, I would. That's why I said when I heard what it was going to, four at least. Yeah. Because, yeah, I, I think I'd kick myself if I didn't because I'd be like, okay, you've gone through those in like two projects. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now you need more. Well, you think how many do you reckon you used in that tassel? There's oh, got to be about ten on each strand, yeah, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's five, six, seven, there's nine, so yes, and look how many strands there are, so maybe, oh crumbs. Oh. Uh, what, maybe, yeah, a hundred. hundred. Mm. So that's two, well that's a tenner in silver. Um, we've got 500, or I should say we had 500 of these available jewellery makers. They are absolutely flying out the door. They are a necessity. We're under five pounds for precious metal. But it's still not your price. Really? We've got, only because we've got 500. Wow. Only because there's 500 available. If you have a multi-bought, you're going to be multi-buying. I'm, I'm absolutely certain of that. I hope there's enough of these left come the end of the, well, not even the end of the hour. When Deb's demos, just so you know, Ross, <laughs> I'm making my way to my phone. <laughs> just so you know. Because um, I need spaces. I'm so short of spaces. You do need spaces. They're just essential. You know, yeah. they just, I don't know, they, they make the gemstones pop. You need them to separate those gemstones out and just give a different look. I know I'm always banging on about spaces, but I use them an awful well, lot. Do you think they're like our melee diamonds? You know, if you go to our sister channel and you look at any of their pieces, you know, say they're doing a Tanzanite showcase. Yeah. You know, the Tanzanite will have melee diamonds either yes. side, won't it? Yes. You know, that's our alternative. It's like a spacer bead. Yeah. Is our little melee diamonds. And they're similar sizes too, yeah. aren't yeah. they? Exactly. They do. They highlight, they punctuate. They're also adding uh, um, adding value to your pieces of jewellery because you can say they're, they're precious metal. Definitely. 4 99 
And we go in lower. So I can see tens now. Well done. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Judith's got so ten. What? Yeah, that's madness. I did not expect that. These are sterling silver. That's amazing. And there's fifty. That's amazing. It is amazing. I need some. Do you want me to get some when I put my order in while you're demoing? Okay. I'll get you some. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll add some to my order, Deb. <laughs> that makes because me we always need them, don't we? Uh, Denise has got seven. The call screens has gone wild. Yay. Oh um, again, make sure you check it out because we need them. I know this. Look, we can always be romanced by beautiful gemstones. And we've got our lovely Dave stepping into the studio to do that. We've got three of the big five in Deb's projects. Yeah. But we need to make sure that we have the, equally the luxury components that bind them all together. Definitely. Definitely. And like you said, it needs to be precious metal when you're working with certain gemstones, yeah, I think. I because agree. it elevates your design. It, it, now it becomes sterling silver and pearls. Well, it would be a shame to put emeralds, rubies or sapphire with anything other than sterling I silver. I would agree with you. That's my, my opinion. I'm not saying no, you, know, you have to abide you. by that, but that's my opinion. I agree with that. And, you know, if you're making to sell as well, you go, oh, that's that, what's that? Oh, that's emerald. Um, are they precious metal? No. It, that, yeah, probably it, not going to believe you that they're no, emerald. No, I agree. That it, it raises that question then, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, Candy, you've got ten. Well done to you. I mean, I can't keep up, honestly. There's <laughs> sevens, threes, fours, fives, tens. Um, mm. Yeah. The, every, every time I look at the call screen, it moves because there's confirmations going through. I'm not surprised. We'll always need them, won't we? You we know, will. It's one of those components that they're never going to be sort of gathering dust in your stash. Oh, that never happens to me. I'm, I'm usually at the bottom of the drawer thinking, please, just two, just two left. I need, I need I just more. need two. Should yeah. I, did one fall out of the packet? Yeah, <laughs> checking in the little points of your drawers yeah. and everything. Going, oh, this one, please let there be another one yeah. the same. <laughs> I'm exactly the same. You do need them, you do. Um, and they seem to just disappear. They do. It's like as soon as, you know, like when you do like the, the weekly shop or something oh, like that. Yeah. And there's certain items that they're just gone. Yeah, how, does that happen to you as well? Yes. Where's the butter? I definitely bought the butter. I remember checking out the butter. Where's yeah. the butter? And Apples it's in the boot in of the house. car. It's fallen out of the thing. Apples. Yeah. I'm not joking. I worked it out. I spend probably about £40 a month on apples. <laughs> Tiggy <laughs> loves apples. That's Loved. good. It's good. Exactly. So I don't, I don't try. But it's excessive. <laughs> it is excessive. I'm like, Tiggy. Like, and she does finish the apples. But I'm like, it's about £40 a month on apples. <laughs> But it's good, yes. It's healthy food, isn't it? Is it? Healthy I suppose. Food, yeah. I'm not even joking. Um, <laughs> well done, everybody. I don't even know how we got into that conversation. But you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be thinking. Ah, oh, I didn't need those spaces. You will use them, won't you? And like when I run out, which I did with these earrings, I had to use seed beads, and that's what I have to do. Like you know, if I'm on a deadline, like I'm doing a show. Um, and I run out of spaces, I have to use seed beads and they just don't have the longevity of the spaces. No, no, that's true. That is true. And they don't have the precious metal value. No, so if I'm going to be putting, you know, if I, usually if I put a seed bead in between, say something like a pearl, because I haven't got spaces, I will take it apart when to I've do, got, yeah. to put the spaces back in. Yeah, I get Which that. is just time consuming. Yeah, I agree. And you don't want to be doing that if you don't have to. Do you? Well done. Um, so the project's coming your way. We had 500. Claire in Dorset says I'll have 10. Um, Suzanne in Yorkshire says I'll have 10. Natalie in Gloucestershire says I'll have 10. Um, Pauline in County Antrim, I've got five. Um, honestly, four. In fact, let me just go down. Four, four, ten, four, two, 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 seven, seven, five, two, four, 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 eight, four, six, six, five. Yeah, you get the idea. Super good. Probably 99% of you have chosen to multi-buy yeah. on this and not small numbers either. Um, because you recognize a deal and that's a massive deal. How many, uh, what is the stock update, Roscoe? Mm. Okay, double figures left out of the 500 that we had. Goodness me, I'm not surprised. No me, I'll get some of them when you're demoing decks. Okay. Okay. Yes. Because we always, we always need our spaces don't we and they always sell out don't they, they do that's it. rock and a hard place for us really yeah. sometimes yeah love being here but also oh, i missed out on some of the things that um that you, need. Um, that you absolutely need amazing well done everybody okay deb's project's coming up 
uh, coming your way. Um, take a little look at some of her amazing designs. I love this, I love this, I love these, I love them all, Debs. I just had, you know, I don't, they can go so far. Yeah. I mean, when you think that you look at that strand, but I managed, I had left over yeah. from all of these pieces because, you know, you can put them all together like that, cluster them all together, or you can just use them apart from each other like I did in the bracelet so that you're really showing off the colours. Yeah. Um, I, I just did a wire work earring and pendant as well, just for something different to show you, maybe inspire you if you wanted to do something different. But they are fabulous as they are even in simple designs. Well, those earrings on the end, you know, I can imagine those being on our sister channel, those earrings. Yeah, just emerald you earrings. You know, beautiful, simple, emerald earrings in your thread of styles. I mean, how much would you expect those to be? That's why I did that, because I loved the quality of the emerald, and I thought to myself, you know, that's what people would buy, you know, just yeah. an emerald, yeah. lovely moment of green there on the on your ear would be They're so beautiful. pretty. Absolutely amazing. Um, coming your way, with sterling silver components as well so there's two with multi sapphire yeah one's got um mm -hmm. okay has one got star head pins Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start with the findings. So you get sterling silver, featherweight head pins. Again, who doesn't run out of featherweight head pins? Me, <laughs> always. So you get you get ten of those. You get four of your lobster claw clasps. Mm -hmm. You get your crimps and your crimp covers. Yep. You get, sorry, there's the crimps. You get a length of the most beautiful chain, Debs. It's lovely, this chain, isn't it? Is that, that's 20 inches, isn't it? Yeah. 20 inches in that gorgeous chain. Sorry. It's a lovely chain. I was so surprised that it sort of came in with a findings pack. Yeah, that's gorgeous, it's lovely, isn't it? Lovely, isn't it? So you get 20 inches of that. Nice for bracelets, that as well. You get your threader earrings that Deb's made those amazing emerald earrings with, which are beautiful. I love, absolutely love. Look at this. Uh, look at the silver. Can you see? Mm, it's lovely. It is like a snake chain, yeah. So you get a pair of your th sterling silver threader earrings. I mean, how gorgeous are they? So I'll pop those down. All this fine, all this silver. I know. And then, of course, it's the cherry on the cake. Luxury kit, isn't it? It definitely <laughs> is a luxury kit. You have your parcel of rubies, sapphires, and emeralds. Um, it's a, it's one of those pinch me moments where we, we've we've kind of been a, become accustomed to these high end gemstones, but very few people on our planet can say they own natural Agreed. sapphire. Agree, and you know natural ruby. <laughs> These used to be the gems of distinction. Didn't yeah. They? Like, you know, we'd see them. I haven't worked with these for crumbs a really, really long time. Yeah. Look at the quality of those emeralds. Look at the quality of the, uh, uh, like, the Burmese blues. Mm. Absolutely unbelievable. So you get all of that silver, the length of chain, which I'm going to put on the back of the hand now as well. The length of chain. The threader earrings, how much would they be on their own? I know. Which we have done on their own, haven't we, before? The lobster claws, the crimps, the, the featherweights, the crimp covers, all of that silver in this project. Now, how many do we have available of these? Have we? We've got a huge quantity. We've got 200. That's good. That usually means something else, jewellery makers. Plus, don't forget, you get Deb's amazing instructions as well. Straight away. Okay, that that's good. <laughs> in my head, I'm thinking this chain, the, the, the 20 inch chain that I have across the back of my hand, that's 20 pounds straight away, isn't it? Yeah, because it's lovely. It's a heavy chain. It could be a charm bracelet, that Definitely. chain, couldn't it? 
Um, of which you could make multiples of, yes. couldn't you? Yes. And you've got the clasps even you too. Do. Yeah. So that on its own, I think, is £20. So on that basis, you're getting this strand of beautiful, three of your big five for another £20. And then all those silver components, including your thread earrings, for free. I've got 200 though, jewellery makers. We are not stopping there. Good luck, everyone. And the instructions. If you pop along to Sewing Street, you're paying a tenner for the instructions. Mm, that's very true. Um, so I've put in everything extra that I've used, but it, it isn't much because it's very comprehensive, this kit. Yeah. You know, like if you want to have those top three gemstones and you want to have your precious metal to go with it, you get it all in there. Yeah. In abundance. Mm. A lot of silver. Loads. I mean, those thread earrings, how much do you think they would be on our screens? What do you reckon? Jewelry maker price fifteen pounds. Yeah, I would have said fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Mm. So okay. So I'm so on that basis then. I'm thinking twenty pounds for the for the chain. Mm. Fifteen pounds for those threader earrings. Mm. So we're already at thirty five pounds. But you've still got a strand of three of the big five. You've got all the other sterling silver components as well. Um, we're not stopping there. That strand should be more than what's on your screens. Look at the quality of the sapphire, those canary yellows. Look at the quality of the emeralds. Look at the quality of the rubies. The quality um, of those beautiful blue sapphires. Next price crash. Not where we are closing. Not where we're closing? No. This is crazy. Th okay, I'd pay that for the silver and be happy. I'd pay that for, for this. You know, silver's price is going up, not down. Not down. <laughs> I know. But, you know. I'd pay that for the findings back, absolutely. I'd pay that for the, for the... I'd pay double that for the strand, at least. I'd pay that for those threader earrings, yeah, which are all too. the rage at the moment. Yep. And the instructions, don't forget. Oh, yeah, they, I mean, let's just put it this way. Again, go to Sewing Street. You're paying £10 for Deb's instructions, and then that means you've got 9 99 to buy everything else. You know, where else in the world, jewellery makers... It's absolute, and the potential of what you can create. You know, Debs, you've made one, two, three, four, five very high-end pieces, haven't you? And I had some left over for demo. Wow. You know, so you look at them and you think, oh, you know, little rondelles, but I think they pack a big punch. Like, if you look at the pearl bracelet, they pack a big punch. Yeah, they do. You know, that, if, you're, if they're good quality and you've got that saturation of colour, they look amazing, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I agree. And I don't think you'd sell any of those pieces for £20, would you? No. No. Definitely not. Because if you do, people ask the question, is it real? Exactly. You devalue yourself. Yeah. We've, we've spoken about this before, haven't we? That's... I'd have bought two at 19 99 if I was at home. I'd have bought two at 19 99 And that's honest. I think that's one of the best price kits we've done. That's amazing. For, 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 the, for the quality of that sapphire and emerald and ruby. Seriously... That's incredible. $16.99. That, that's this. That's a, that's a star buy price on this chain. Would we agree? Yeah, I'd agree with that. That's fabulous. That's because, really good. Because it's like 20 inches. 200 available. You get your threader earrings. You get the 50 centimetres. You get the featherweights. You get the crimps, the crimp covers. And you get four lobster claws and the strand. And we're still not done. Hang on, is this like, like, like the best day ever? <laughs> it has been so far, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I love being Saturdays. You get all the deals. Can I just put this one out there? And I don't know if this is going to be a popular statement, but I'm going to do it anyway. Honestly, this is better than some of our birthday shows. This is an amazing deal. Do you agree? Yeah, I do. What on earth? Well, to think that somebody who's never made jewellery before could make precious metal yeah. and sapphire, ruby, emerald jewellery for sixteen ninety nine, and that's not even your price. Not even your price. And you're getting a full parcel. Yeah, that's very good. You're not just getting one or two stones. No. You're getting a full a parcel strand. Separate them if you want, you know, and then you can do little collections. And you get the instructions, jewellery makers. We had 200. I don't have that quantity now. The call screens have apps because you know clearly Debs and I are not the only ones going. That's crazy. <laughs> those those emerald earrings of which you've used four stones, Debs. You wouldn't sell those for that price, would you? No. If no. I was at a craft fair, 
the, the most inexpensive I'd sell. What? The most inexpensive I'd sell those for would be 2530. Which is amazing. And if I was at a proper artisan fair, they'd probably be more like 40. Yeah, I agree. So Because that's what people's expectations are or for Or they won't believe you that it's precious metal and emerald. They won't believe you. Yeah. But if you said, oh, they're £10, they think, well, that's not real. Yeah, they think costume jewellery. Yeah. Because you can go into somewhere like Claire's Accessories and pay more than that. Definitely. Yeah, true. You can for plastic, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, whereas these aren't plastic. They are three of the big five. You get a full parcel of, you know, and, and Deb's jewellery perfectly showcases how just one little rondelle, you know, because of the quality of the saturation, you know, when you separate them, they look, at the, they're insane. Those Definitely. emeralds are amazing. They're, they're, they are Colombian emerald green, aren't they? I'm they not really saying they are. are from that location. It doesn't make any difference to me. It is the quality of the emerald green. It is. It's the, they blew me away, which is why I thought, you know, I want them to see mm. them on their own. I want them to see that. You don't have to have a lot of them even to get that yeah. beauty. Love those. Absolutely love those. And the fact that we can gift. We can gift jewellery yeah. like this, gemstones like this. It's not base metal, by the way, all your findings. They are solid silver. So again, you, just to recap, you get a 20-inch chain that I have draped across the back of my hand. You have a full parcel of beautiful, three of the big five, rubies, emeralds, and sapphires. You get 10 featherweight head pins. You get four of your lobster claws, which are the larger lobster claws. You get your crimps, your crimp covers, and you get the threader earrings, all for $14.99. So wait a minute. One, two. Let's count them as three, shall we? All of those as three. Four components. Four pound each. That's amazing. That is absolutely four pound. amazing. That's the best deal I've seen. Um, I agree. Four pounds. Four pounds. Four pounds? No. In fact, four, yeah, it's less than, it's three pounds something. Yeah, that's ridiculous. How have we done this? Loads of people multiplying, I'm not surprised. No, I'm not surprised. This sterling silver chain, can we do the maths? 14.99 divided by four. There we go. £3.75. <laughs> £3.75. £3.75 for all of those findings. That's that's crazy. £3.75 for your threader earrings. You know, and you can, you do, off, well, I used to, buy my sterling silver class singly. Yeah. I bet you paid more than £3.75. Yes. Yeah, for one. For one. Yeah. And then you paid the postage on one, so you tried yeah. not to, like, just buy one thing, but sometimes you needed it. Yeah, I, I, that, that's probably one of the best deals I've seen on a project, I think. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Um, oh, unbelievable. Shocked. And the instructions. I paid that for the instructions. Yep. Right, these are... And that, how much time did that take? Yeah, it takes a while. <laughs> did it? It does take a while. I mean, you know, you, you've got to you've got to think of how to tell people to make it of all levels, and then you have to make it brief because people don't want to read paragraphs and paragraphs of waffle. Um, so then you go back and edit it. Yeah. Um, and then you have to put in. Obviously, you have to think about. I usually have the piece of jewelry in front of me so that I can put exactly what else I've used. So that if someone wants to make exactly what I've made, um, they can. So yeah, it's the it's the sort of quality that you, I used to write for magazines, and and do. So it's, I think and it's I amazing. Yeah, and 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 I bet it was more than what that price of that project was. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, amazing. Okay. Sorry, there's masses in this project. Oh, this one with the stars. There These is lovely masses. So I don't know. I'm going to try. I'm going to have to break this down. So if you start here, you've got your star head pins. You've got your shepherd hooks. You have your crimps. You have jump rings. Mm -hmm. You have a star. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing you that very well. A star toggle. That's nice, isn't it's lovely, it? Lovely, isn't it? Which is detailed as well. Can you see on the toggle? Mm -hmm. Beaded. So you get a star toggle. You get an 18-inch Figaro. 
Figaro, Figaro. <laughs> Love the Figaro. How beautiful. So you get an 18 inch Figaro. You get, I'm going to have to put it down because there's still more to come. There's still more. You get spacer beads and crimp covers. Here we go. Oh, and there's more. You get oh, an extender. A star extender. That's what I use for the tassel. Oh, is it? Yeah, because it's too nice to be at the back. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, you get your strand. Absolutely beautiful. So, look at that strand. It's gorgeous. Again, there's just masses in these projects. And you get Deb's instructions. Whichever one you buy, you get Deb's instructions. I've put that down now, that chain. I can't pick it up. Okay, your first price crash. So these are your silver plated. Look how beautiful though. You go to Miss Oma, by the way. It's silver plated. Yeah. Not all of them, but a lot of them are silver plated. Um, should I hold a few of these pieces up? I mean, seriously, look at all that. And you've still got more. It's real high quality findings as well. They're lovely. Really, a lot of thought's gone into these. Yeah. For the ruby, for the emerald, for the sapphire in this strand. We're straight away at 19.99. Roscoe, how many have you got of these? 130, so it is more limited. I think um, if, if you're gravitating towards this, it might be for the celestial kind of inspiration in this project as mm, well. Definitely. Which yeah. is definitely what I see in those earrings, Debs. Or this amazing necklace. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Again, if you were to sell that, what would you sell it for? Ooh, crumbs. Oh, probably about... 70 pounds yeah because when people ask about it you can say well that's genuine ruby that's genuine sapphire yeah. that's genuine emerald and i've used the extender chain for the tassel and yeah. i've used the toggle clasp at the front because i think i wanted that motif yeah it's almost a shame like you said to hide isn't yeah it? yeah we're at the front and center 19.99 jewelry makers but we're going even lower we've got 130 of these available um I've got 130 of these available, but they are absolutely flying out the door. David, Linda, Angela, London, Essex, Karen, Agnes, Samantha, Natalie, Pauline, Cara, multi buying, well done. Rachel, Catherine, Alison, Mary, Margaret, Shani, hello to Jeannie, Cornwall, Erica. Make sure you check it out, everybody. Look at the quality of those emeralds. They're glowing, they are radiant. The quality of those blue sapphires. 14 pounds and 99 pence only. Uh, needless to say, they're absolutely flying out the door. At 14.99, I'll be over the moon to pay that for all the findings that you're getting, let alone that parcel of three of your big five. And, and you said it a few moments ago, Debs, you know, if somebody's brand new to jewellery making, I know. the fact they can start their journey here. And there were so many, I, obviously I've been lucky enough to teach different people in the last sort of week or so at the make along and I did the craftopia weekend most of which at the craftopia weekend hadn't made jewelry before oh really yeah and they loved it and you know to think that you could make your first piece of jewelry with a kit like this yeah and it'd be affordable well cast your mind back to like I don't know 10 years ago Debs a 14.99 kit did not include three of the big five no. Here at Jewelry Maker. No, that would be a Gems of Distinction strand, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, fourteen ninety nine would have been, I don't think we even did products at that price, but if we did, it would be like an agate or a jasper, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. One of your more plentiful gemstones. Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out. I'll keep you updated on the actual quantity. Um, you do get your instructions with your purchase as well that comes when your order is um, dispatched. Um, you just check your order history, basically, and it says download content. And you can print it off or save it to your desktop, whichever way you want. Um, if you have any questions for Debs, do text in because we are live here in the studio. Studio. Um, okay, you can take it away. Okay, so um, the demo, <coughs> excuse me, is on the earrings. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've used um, a bead frame. So you, we've done these bead frames before. Often you would seed bead with these bead frames. But if you want to make um, precious metal one, you can just use some precious metal wire. Yeah. And, and I've given you the alternative 
in the instructions if you don't have a bead frame. And you would just take your precious metal wire and form it around um, a mandrel or the shape of your choice and wrap loop at the top. And then if you wanted to add a little bit of texturing, you could just use your block and a hammer to texture. So that way you can have it any shape you want. You could have a triangle, a square, round, you know, anything you want. But I've used a bead frame just for um, ease of, of demo. So you will get these instructions with your project. So here's my little um, bead frame. And what I've used is some 0.4 wire. So I would recommend that if you're making these to sell or to gift, because of the quality of the gemstones, that you would use um, a sterling silver wire. Um, you know, it's completely up to you, of course, but I just think, like we were saying, that that just makes it sort of sapphire, uh, ruby and emerald and precious metal. So when you usually get your wire off the spool, it can be a little bit um, brittle or hard to move. So what I like to do is just take it through my fingers and that just makes it soft and a bit more malleable. And then finding an anchor point on my earring. So what I did was I did sort of three half circles, each getting larger. So I know that I kind of want the first one to start in here. So I usually leave a little tail and then I just wrap. And you want to put quite a bit of tension on this wire because if you don't, then what might happen is it will move once you have finished and slip and slide everywhere and you don't want that because you want your beast to sit in in the right place now if you struggle um i mean i broke my finger a couple of years ago and sometimes i struggle with wires so if you struggle using your fingers you can always take your pliers and maneuver the wire that way that's absolutely fine but i'm going to use my fingers just so you can see what i'm doing so about three wraps and then it always helps if you get the wire and you sort of get it to go the way you want it to go before you put your beads on so I know that that's I'm going to be able to make that sit in sort of like a semicircle shape it's not wanting to sit up in the air so I've just kind of trained it with my fingers to go where I want it to go and then it's time to pop on your beads now I have put exact numbers in the instructions so I think I used three for the first um, pass so I used two of my spacers or in this case seed beads because I ran out of spaces and then one of my gemstones it doesn't matter which one as so I just use different ones and then I put one in between each one so let's use an emerald come here little emerald so pop the emerald on and then a spacer and then we've got a ruby left so let's pop a ruby on and then two of my spacers or seed beads whatever you're using at the other end okay and then I'm going to drop all of those down so just pick it up for a moment and because you've kind of trained it in the direction that you want it to go it will you don't have to fight it or kind of sit where you need it to be and then you want to just make sure that it's where you want it to be before you do any wrap so you can make any adjustments here and then I'm just going to hold that in my hand and then gently take that wire back around my frame now if you're thinking I'm having trouble here actually getting any attention this is where you might want to take your pliers and just give it sort of an extra little pull there so that you're getting that tension on the wire and I'm going to take it around a second time, keeping those wraps as close together as I can. But don't worry if your wire works, you know, not that neat because you can actually tidy this up afterwards. So don't be put off by that. So I've got three wraps there. And if I wanted those to be closer together, I would just get my pliers and pull those together till I'm happy. So that's my if I put that down, that's my first wrap. So then I know that I want to do another one that's just slightly bigger than that. So I used more gemstones for that one. So I'm going to, if I left my wire like that, it would want to be going off in, in, in the wrong direction. So I'm once again going to just use my fingers to gently encourage it to go the way that I want. Now I have got this tail here from where I very first started. So what I'm going to do is trim that off 
just at this point out of my way. Now I don't usually trim off my tails until the end just in case I decide that I want to add something else or I want to tighten it up or I usually leave it but just for the sake of demonstration I'm going to get it out of out of my way okay and then I've just taken my pliers and I've squeezed those little wraps together so they look a bit neater so I'm just going to use my fingers <coughs> excuse me just to make sure that that's roughly going to go where I want it to go and then I just need to use more beads this time so I'm going to use two of my spacers again to begin with I don't really want the same color gemstone just it's just a design choice to sit behind the one in front so the one in front is a ruby so I don't want a ruby so I'll just choose one of the others so I'm going to go probably um, for this little emerald oh my goodness look at the color of this one come here wow. so I'm going to go through this little emerald look at the color of that I don't know if you can see it's absolutely gorgeous and then I'm going to do a probably a sapphire so I'm pop a spacer bead and then a sapphire and then a spacer bead and then what do I need to do a ruby pop the ruby on the color of the ruby is really beautiful as well and then two of my spacers again so that's let's pop that on so you can see so that comes to there so I'm probably going to put another two on I would say so a spacer and a sapphire and then a spacer and an emerald you know just because I can because you've got lots yeah and then a couple of spacers just to finish off like that and drop it down and just keep checking all the time that that's long enough to sit above the one before so it is and then I'm just going to hold that with my finger and then that first wrap wants to really be the one where you make sure that you're getting that tension give it a pull so that it'll sit where you want you're not fighting it and I usually wrap about three times okay so that's my third one and then I'll show you like that so I've got two there now sitting next to each other now then I did a third one which I won't um, bore you watching me thread those on again we'll just do it without beads but I did a third one so that was five beads so probably used seven for the third wrap um, so that had three sort of sitting above each other and you can see that on the finished earrings and then all I did after that you could you could leave it like that if you wanted to all I did after that so you could have it like that so that you just have that and then when you did the other earring it would be this way I just wanted to add a bit of embellishment so I started to take the remainder of my wire across my frame without any beads on and start to wrap it around and I, there wasn't any rhyme or reason to this the only rhyme or reason was that on the second earring I just did this roughly the same as the first earring so that they match so let's take that across there and then we can take this across here so obviously I'm being really quick now because I just want to show you what I did to add the flourish and the embellishment so let's do that and just wrap it around so this is where I need to just grab my pliers and give it a pull so I'm really not trying to be neat at all here so this is how I can sh how I can show you how you can neaten things up afterwards okay so you might end up with that and you think you know that's messy I don't like it so what you can do is squeeze your little wraps together and trim them off and then if you've got excess wire you can start to shape that wire with your pliers so by holding the wire in your pliers and then flicking your wrist to a right angle it kind of makes that little lightning bolt yes. shape and you can do that all around to maybe your wire needs tightening maybe your wire you don't like the shape of it and you can start to maneuver this wire just with a flick of the wrist and using your pliers and it starts to look more attractive so obviously yeah. this one would have uh, your beads on and then the, the last thing that I did was I just took one of the um, head pins from mm. from the kit added some beads onto there 
So let's just add a spacer bead here. And just because I quite fancied having a drop on the bottom, you can have some yeah. gemstones or not. And then I just added um, a wrapped loop. Let's find some round nose pliers. Oh, I lost them. Here they are. So just a little wrap loop here. Pop that onto the bottom. Decide where you want it um, to sit because you'll probably have like a frame of beads down there. Pop that on wrap it into place like so when you've finished your earrings you want to go take your fingertips all the way over just to make sure because it might by eye look like um, you've actually put in all of your ends but you can feel them when you run your fingers across so i can feel there that i've got little sharp ends so what you would do is just use your pliers mm. to Gently squeeze that in, and then if you've still got a little bit, you can just um, pop that and uh, snip it off. And then all I did was added my shepherd's hook to the top by opening that little loop there, popping in my earring, and closing it again so that you end up with a sort of a wire earring. Now, I did add on m the ones that are um, finished, I did add some spacer beads, some larger and smaller ones in there just yeah. for interest. Um, but it just goes to show you that you can add beads or you can go to town, you can just leave a couple of wraps and make it less, completely up to you. Um, but if you don't like your finished piece, you can always sort of, that wire is very malleable. You can always just sort of flick it, maneuver it, make shapes with it. And um, until it's pleasing to you, till you like um, what you've achieved. I love it. It's a bit, dr they're a bit dream catcher. Yeah, they're a bit dream catchery, aren't they? I like those. Yeah. So not difficult at all. And you can always tighten up and neaten up your wraps with your pliers afterwards if you're not a wire worker. And you can always do that in a pendant as well to match. Yep. That's, which is how I did um, the little pendant. But this I just, one. Yeah, yeah, that one but I just did a few flowers with the little oh. um, pearlized seed beads in there as well. What an amazing deal. It's very good, isn't it? Amazing deal on both projects and amazing inspiration, Debs, as always. Well, just something different. I mean, they look just as beautiful as spaces in between pearls, don't they? Yeah. You don't gorgeous. have to. You don't have to do much. Yeah, I do love that bracelet. And again, if you imagine how much that cost, that would cost elsewhere. You know, exactly. It's not going to be anywhere near the price of those projects. Now, coming up, jewellery makers, we have, and I said it earlier on, I'll say it again. This is the finest Cotan jade I've ever seen. It's beautiful. Do we all agree? Yeah. Because that's imperial Cotan. It's so translucent. And we've brought, you know, we've brought you some amazing Cotan. Oh, yeah. But that's the best yet. Oh, that's beautiful. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And can you see how it's literally mirror image? So oh, I would yeah. literally just restrand that, oh, so not it. So would I, so would I. Stunning, 10,000 years almost of mining. Um, in two years, they but they believe um, it will be deplete. The most expensive variety of jade in the world. Um, and the fact that little old jewellery maker in the middle of Britain can actually bring that to their wonderful viewers. That's coming your way with Dave. Not too long to wait for that, jewellery makers, and it is going to be absolutely incredible. Um, but there's loads that I can bring you um, today. Your project. Let's talk about your project, Debs, because I am one hundred. Just to give, I don't know how many of the uh, of the twelve o'clock project we have, but I'm all over that beautiful design. It's. I mean, I I had a look into in the peacock connector, and I thought, what colours have we got in there? And I kind of emulated them in the rest of the necklace. And I don't know if you got. Um, you watched me last time I was on, and we did the mala. Yeah, bits. that was lovely too. Yeah. So this amethyst is the lavender amethyst, I would call it, from a, a one of them that I had left over from one of the mala kits. So I yes. used that in there. Obviously, spacer beads. Um, I've rosary linked it, but you could knot it. Um, you get the smaller size pearls and the larger size in the same project. It was a joy to work with, really was. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The earrings are lovely as well. These yeah, I've just noticed that they come with earrings. I know. So this is separate, um, this one here. Yeah. But look at those. They're stunning. They are like something you'd see in a high-end jeweler. Absolutely. Look at those. Gorgeous, and they're gem encrusted as well. They are. Wow, wow. Coming up at 12 o'clock, we've got so much to squeeze in this Saturday show. Um, okay, Lauren's just handed me... Some lovely bead caps. Ooh. Yeah. 
some lovely gold plated sterling are they silver yeah 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 gold plated silver um b caps i love the simplicity of these debs oh I, again bead caps running out of them constantly I, you know and i you can make bead caps yes but it's a faff <laughs> yeah, you know you need a dis difficult. you need a disc cutter you need a dapping block um and a, and a dremel i guess yeah and then you need to, to yeah so you need you know you need to have all of that kit which not everybody has no um and wh why would you with the prices that we well precisely it's turned into a little bit of like a um essential show isn't it we've it brought you really. some, some amazing essentials okay so at five millimeter you're getting 10 of these uh 10 available or 10 pieces rather have we got availability 60 available oh, that's good. again you could use these if you want to do a smaller little tassel Definitely. You know, they can frame a beautiful pearl or an amazing gemstone. A bee cap does more than just cap a bee, doesn't it? It Oh yeah. It elevates, it frames. Bead caps and if you if you're doing flower um, designs, yeah. then the bead cap can be at the bottom of the flower. You can turn the bead cap the other way. I've done that before. Yeah. Bead caps I, oh, so I have I it in that say, direction. Yeah. So have yeah so that you have the bead cap that way and then it sits in there and then you have like maybe a teardrop shape at the bottom oh, beautiful you know that to me they're essentials definitely. yeah totally agree we're at nine pounds and 99 pence and you do get a pack of 10 um of these gold plated 925 sterling silver um yeah what a saturday it has been we've had some lovely essentials on here that we don't see on a, on a regular basis we no, have, we i'm don't. seeing bead caps i don't think in the past couple of weeks i don't think so um collots you know whenever they're brought to air they're gone yeah. they're on and gone that's why yeah because they're so popular these little flourishes and that's what they are aren't they yeah look you can make jewelry without a bee cap can't you yeah yeah but it's all in the details yeah it is those extra details it's what takes you know it's like when you go to i don't know a, a michelin starred restaurant they don't just slap it on a plate do they that's a really good analogy. they decorate yeah. it yes yeah. it's the presentation of that piece this is the the finishing flourishes what 4.99 that's really good wow for a pack of 10 so i only wish i had a similar quantity to what we did with the collots um if that were the case then i think people would be multi-buying on these as well they're a lovely color again aren't they they're a really yeah. lovely color gold beautiful we had 60 we had 60 available but again there um lots of multi buyers hello carol getting three david getting two denise is multi ball hello to paulie multi buying sandra multi buying kerry multi buying eh, pretty much everyone in fact can i see one person's bought one and that's fine that's absolutely fine the deals have been mega this morning haven't they but i just feel like it adds to your i mean if you can look at my necklace just for a moment oh yes every few beads i have added some bead caps and that has just elevated that from a simple bead to being a component on its own and it makes that design just look that mm. little bit more special more artisan more different and that's what bead caps add and there again is rarely a design where i don't want to add a bead cap often yeah. i will run out yeah because again, like spaces, I use them all the time. Yes, yeah. I mean, I'm just sort of in my head running through some of the things that we've bought this morning. Um, the clots, yeah. definitely. The spaces, yeah. definitely. There's the bead caps, 100%. I'd be buying those, or I am going to be buying those, to go alongside that project. Because I like yellow gold. So, But I would still wear silver if oh, yeah. I mix them together. Mix them together. So I'm going to put the spaces and then bead caps. Yeah, which is the gold lovely bead, bead mixed caps. together really that's lovely. what i'm thinking in my head i think that'd be gorgeous for earrings as well yeah you just need one pearl or one gemstone and just with a bead cap either end and a spacer bead and you've elevated that one gemstone to a beautiful earring yeah love that absolutely love that and the projects that we've brought you so far you could include them into those too because yeah. a bead cap doesn't just go with the spherical shapes we had 60 of them jewelry makers but it looks like they're on the verge of selling out natalie's got two andrew's got five sue's got two jane's uh multi ball kerry's multi ball i can't keep up well done everybody what a morning what a morning it has been and there's still so much more well your co-town that's coming up oh look at the color of this they I are mean, crying out see so do you see on that cotan necklace mm -hmm. you know like the main section at the front 
which is a bit skew if, but you know, you, you get what I'm talking about. Yeah. You could put a, a B cap at either end, couldn't you? Oh, yes. Either end of that. Do you see where I'm coming from? It does, because it's like a full stop. Yeah. It draws your eye. Or see those that, that pair of imperial coat and white? Yes. Or the mutton fat, rather. See the two m mutton fats either yes. side? Yeah. You could frame those two. And it would change the whole look of it. Yeah, it would. Just a couple of little findings. It really would. Love that. Coming up, jewelry makers, not too long to wait for that one. Amazing. Okay. I have, I was hoping you were going to play these, Roscoe. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've, I've, I, the other day, earlier on, ooh, oh no. <laughs> They've escaped. Hang on a minute. Just throw them a space of beads. Another reason why you need to stock up on them because they go rogue, don't they? They do. <laughs> these. Oh. My favourite peg bales. Do you get these all are. those? You get all of them. Oh, we don't usually do loads like this, do we? No. These are a great way of turning just, you know, say a one round into a connector. Yeah. I can't rosary link like Deb's, but I can glue. Oh, yeah. So you could just glue these together, couldn't you? The, I love the idea of doing the connector like one each end because you don't need a half drilled gem then, no. do you? You can just use your regular whatever you get on a strand. Yeah. And you've you've added that moment of precious metal and you've made it into a connector. Oh, that's a genius idea. You know, if you, you know, prior to us bringing these to air, the little the the peg bales, mm. um, you'd have to do a wrap loop, wouldn't you? Yeah. And I mine aren't consistent. Fair enough. I can do a wrap loop, but they're not consistent. Yeah. So that's why I probably would avoid rosary linking. But if that's if that's you as or mine aren't great anyway, just say it as okay. it is. Whereas these, it's polished. Oh yeah, and it's yeah. You could, I mean, sterling silver, you you just need them again. <laughs> yeah, you do. Stock up your stashes. I was hoping Ross was going to play these. Do we have quantity, Roscoe? Oh, there's two hundred available. I'm going to be adding these to my stash of essentials today. 100% and you're getting a pack of 50 of them so there's masses there even if you just if you have like you said earlier on like a half peg gemstone you don't have to use them with half pegs no. it can be full through but um glue it in the top where you go it's really good because how many of us have got our half drilled gemstones or pendants in the drawer waiting for that peg bale that we've run out of mm. And then you buy a couple, use those again. But in this case, you've got loads. Yeah. So you can have some on standby. Yeah, absolutely. 50, three and a half grams of solid sterling silver. We have a big quantity, jewelry makers. Just as it's a place to start. Are you ready for the call screen to go, Bananas? <laughs> it's a place to start. Forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's a pound per peg bale. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. They're silver. That's not what we're stopping. But we have to start somewhere. Mini clock. And we're going to make take some giant leaps. Okay, jewelry makers. Um, they are a necessity again, aren't they? There's nothing wrong with a wrap loop or even just the looped bale. No, no. But sometimes you want them to be just that little bit of sterling silver at the top. You don't, you don't want it to take away from what's underneath. Well, it's got a cap, isn't it, as and well? Exactly. And they're lovely and shiny and they're just exactly what you need. Yeah, they've got the actual... It's a it's it's a bale, but oh, am I showing that very well? It's like a little mushroom. Yeah, it's got the little cap on top yeah. there that seals the top of the, the actual gemstone. It, for me, it's it gives a, a completely polished look. Yeah, I'd agree with that. It is like a little toadstool. It is, isn't it? A little yeah, very cute. Ah, oh, you could turn that into a charm if you yeah, want. Yeah, you could. Yeah. I'm a bit obsessed with mushrooms, as you can tell by my bag. Yeah, you got handbag. You got mushroom handbag. Yeah. Remember Tiggy liking that too. Yeah, well, that's a little toadstool bag. <laughs> Forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that that is fifty p each, isn't it? Fifty <laughs> p. You know when you said that the maths almost seems so simple, but too low. So it's like you know. Can't be 50p. Can't be 50p. No. You know, and again, it's going to be fiddly to make something like this. Oh, definitely. Agree. 
Not me making these. No, no, no. I can't see them, let alone make them. Yeah. You know, it's a magnifier job, isn't it? And I, I, you know, I have to use my magnifier, but if I don't have to use it because of prices like this, then I certainly won't. And I don't think I'm alone in saying that as someone who works with silver. Well, I, you not know. for 50p. Like, you can make your own jump rings. Yeah, great. But if you buy them in bulk and, it, you know, and it, the price is right, well, why would you bother? Yeah, you save yourself the hassle. Mm. Um, again, lots of you stocking up your stashes on these. Janice has got two. Andrew's got two. London, Geraldine, Maker in Manson, Nicola, Margaret, Janice, Abiola, Mary, well done. Minute clock on your screens. We're going even lower. Ah, We're going even lower for a pack of 50. They're so good, aren't they? And we'll bring you the peg bales that are larger in size. We do those. Um, but sometimes you want the more petite ones. Yeah, you don't want it to detract from the gemstone. Or you, you want more of a clean line. You yep. don't want any kind of flourishes or anything at the top. You just want it to do its job and look high end. Yeah. And you could, I'm just looking again at, across at that, uh, that Kotan um, necklace mm. or strand. You know, you could break it up with these as well if you wanted. You could knot it and then maybe a couple of sections you could have, you could make little connectors. You could, that would be that lovely. That would break it up a yeah. little bit. You could do that. Same with your projects coming up. Oh, you could definitely. use these with your pearls. Yeah, because you could have them as earrings and just, you know, glue the nice. peg into the top. It would be so pretty. We're going even lower, Debs. We had 200 available, huge amount of solid sterling silver. It's a great price at 24.99, but all the suspense. 19.99. <laughs> it's a huge stash. Again, I mean I know I did this earlier with the spaces. 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight. Oh, I think I put. How many have I just put in? For? Two, four, six. Yeah, ten. There we go. That ten for nineteen ninety nine. I'm happy. Yeah, me too. I'm happy at that price for just the 10, but you don't just get the 10, you're getting a pack of 50 this morning, jewelry makers, so make sure you're stocking up your stashes. We have 200, but again, loads of multipliers. Uh, Kate's got two, well done. Five, hello to Manchester, hello to Mariska, hello to Jean in Cambridge, Joanne, Shan, uh, Teresa, Nicola, Margaret, loads of you getting involved. Um, welcome to the wonderful world of jewelry maker where you get oodles of inspiration by the likes of our gorgeous Debs and all the deals. Now, a little bit of an update for those of you that are waiting for uh, Dave and the Kotan. He's running a little bit late. So, okay, that's fine. That's coming your way at 11 o'clock. So what we're gonna do, Wayne has sent um, some closeout deals Ooh. for Gilles Peridot. <gasps> Which doesn't make sense to say close out <laughs> deals on Gilles Imperado. It's only just been discovered. So. No, not really. Anyway, as a little apology, because we have to put that Cotan uh, um, opportunity back till um, 11 o'clock. Dave's running just a little bit behind. It's worth the wait, I promise you. Um, I promise, promise, promise you. So Gilles Peridot and Cotan, uh, Gilles Imperado close out deals coming your way um, between now and then jewelry makers and don't forget that amazing masterclass that's happening at 12 o'clock today make sure you check out your baskets and join Debs and I after this <laughs> Jewelry makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on Sunday the 9th of June and we've got some beautiful gemstone projects to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour, we have got these gorgeous gem set sterling silver hook clasps and they come in a project with your gemstones and also with your spacer beads. So I've made a necklace with this amethyst one and also a little charm ring to go with. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we have got the beautiful clover charms again. 
but these ones come with a diamond set peg that you can pop in and they also have two jump rings so you can make different things with them so i did a necklace and i also did a charm ring with a peg on either side so it's going to be great fun we've got lots of beautiful things to show you and i will see you on sunday take care Join me uh, this weekend for two incredible showcases. The first is where we explore the colors of Kotan, that legendary mine that's been you know, producing the world's most famous jade for 10,000 years. And unfortunately, we've seen the, the new news for 2024. So it's crucial uh, that if as collectors, we wanna own that material, we get it sooner rather than later. And then we delve into one of the gemstones that's had the highest price rise that I've ever witnessed obviously the South Sea Pearls. Ever since uh, COVID, we've seen a shortage of supply of fine goods. And um, with the, the influence of the Chinese superstars, we've seen a demand far outweigh supply, which has kind of put us in this precarious situation of having to compete with China for the finest pearls. Prices have gone through the roof, but you're not gonna believe the collection that we've got for you. it's Charlie I'm back with you on Tuesday the 11th and we've got some fantastic projects in store for you so at nine o'clock we have the most beautiful multi wrap bracelets they come with meter long gemstones and our uh, sterling silver buttons they're really cute you're gonna love them and then at 12 o'clock we have one of my best selling items we have inlays we have inlay charms we have inlay rings you're going to absolutely love it I can't wait to share that with you some nifty little tips and tricks in there that anyone can do. Uh, so I hope you can join me. I'd love to see you there. Can't wait to be back. See ya. everyone mark here i'm here to tell you all about my next show which is going to be this monday the 10th of june i'm going to be joining carol tom and the crew nine o'clock i have got my favorite gemstone of 2024 so far avocado alashan agate the most beautiful beautiful gemstone i think i've ever had the pleasure of working with and at 12 o'clock the long-awaited return of the bugle bead so tune in this Monday to see what I'm going to make with these little beauties. So that's Monday, the 10th of June. Join myself, Carol and the team. You will not want to miss this show. Welcome back everybody like I said we've got a, a super super Saturday and Dave's worth the wait isn't he especially when he's bringing us Kotan Jade my goodness me of the finest quality honestly it's unbelievable I'm so excited for you all um, you've also got the most breathtaking project with our lovely Debs but um, between now and Dave's arrival we're gonna bring you some massive close out deals Ooh. on a gemstone that this location has only just been discovered. I don't want to say the gemstone's just been discovered because we've been admiring Peridot for thousands of years. Um, famously, one of Cleopatra's favourite gemstones was actually, you said emeralds, but actually was most likely to be Peridot itself. This is a fascinating gemstone that formed 55 miles beneath the Earth's surface. 
I find that mind blowing. And in all those heats and temperatures and pressures, this beautiful vivid green gemstone is formed in the hottest lava. Um, and it's totally and utterly natural. But up until very recently, and we've brought you Peridot for many years here at Jewelry Maker and ultimately Gemporia. We've brought you Chiang Mai Peridot, Hunan Peridot. Uh, there's another variety which has gone off the top of my head, Red Dragon Peridot. Um, these are actually secondary deposits. That's not to say that they are necessarily inferior. They're not, they're beautiful. However, they're not the primary source. So what that basically means so peridot is pushed to the surface through what we call kimberlite pipes and i always imagine it like holding diamond's hand because they're the two <laughs> gemstones that form in you know in the earth's mantle so those two gems traveling 55 miles right up through kimberlite pipes um which almost if you can imagine kind of like a volcanic pipe it's kind of like that but the Changbai, Hunan and other aforementioned locations were not the primary location of source. They're secondary. Why I'm telling you that is because they would probably have a slightly paler colour. In fact, they definitely have a, a paler colour. If we are lucky enough to find the primary source, then you get the most intense colour saturation. And up until very, very recently, and if you think about the thousands of years that we've been actually admiring Peridot for, up until very, very recently, um, it was discovered Gilling Peridot is the primary location. And it has taken the Peridot world by storm because by invitation, Dave, Jake, and a couple of the other executives here at, Jury, uh, at Gemporia, um, they had received a phone call and these are the contacts, you know, that they have all around the world. Said, OK, we've uh, we're going to relaunch. We've got we've got a launch of some amazing Peridot. And Dave, quite honestly, actually said, yeah, not that interested in that. We've got Peridot. We've brought Peridot for many years. It's not something that we would necessarily, we've got it in our vault, if you like. And he was like, it's not necessarily something that we would buy. And their words, they actually said, well, yes, you've got Peridot, but not like this. So so good is the quality that they've actually invented a cut called wow. the radiance cut um, that complements because it's got such a uh, such a depth of saturation a depth of green that they invented a cut to really complement it effectively that's the radiance cut and you've got designers like anushka who are um working with the Gilling peridot and of course, com commanding extremely high prices, which I'll show you in a few moments time. So um, probably about six months ago, I think it was, I don't remember exactly, but probably about six months ago, um, Dave and Jake traveled to this location upon invitation. And he was they weren't alone. They were um, invited alongside the Financial Times, who document quite frequently a lot of big discoveries, you know, world-breaking discoveries of your beautiful gemstones. Um, they're invited to this location. So let me just show you firstly Anushka. Now Anushka, as a jewellery brand, work with the finest gemstones in the world, without doubt. But notice immediately the difference in the Peridot. You know, I will, I love Peridot, I've always loved Peridot, but we've never had Peridot like this before until this recent launch. So can you see how much lusher, if you like, that saturation is? And that's totally natural. Is that it? blows my mind. Wow. That it's totally and utterly natural. Um, my analogy, and it's probably not the most, the greatest analogy, but if you imagine the best peridot in the world, and if you can imagine like a clock. So um, if you, what we'd seen previously was if you can imagine 12 to 6 is yellow, mm -hmm. six, to uh, 6 to 12 is green. It's that mix. So it's more like a chartreuse. Yeah. Yeah? Um, whereas Jiling Peridot is definitely more in the 6 to 12. Mm -hmm. It's the deepest colour saturation. With most colour gemstones, that's what you're looking for. A more vibrant, more intense colour saturation. This was so intense that we had experts describing the Gilling Peridot to rival the beauty of the finest Savorite garnet Ooh. or the finest Demantoid garnet. Um, 
following on from that ring, she made a pair of earrings. Um, and this is the radiant cut. You can see there the radiance cut there, 18 karat gold framed in, um, framed with, I, I believe they're rubelites. Um, and of course she Malachi in 18 karat gold. Let's, let's call it 20 grand, shall we? Mm. For those earrings, 20,000 pounds. Um, yes, of course you've got value in the rubelites. Yes, of course you've got value in the gold and the Malachite, but the real value, the bulk of that price tag is actually in the Gilling Peridot that is in those pair of earrings. So what you are about to see, jewelry makers, is from the exact same location of source. So some time ago, and I wonder if we can show, um, the articles, here we go, this is where, this is the, how groundbreaking it was. Financial Times, as I said, who were invited alongside and following this trip, actually want to do a document on Gemporia and Jewelry Maker mm -hmm. because they were so excited about sort of what we do, the fact that we're bringing you Foolies Peridots, the Gilling Peridot at an affordable price tag, which is obviously bucks the trend of everywhere else around the world. Um, so this is the article that followed their trip. Uh, they said Foolies Peridot Green, uh, Peridot Gem Discovery captures designers' imagination. Uh, company targets consumers in the UK and China with light coloured stone available in large sizes. But look at that location as well. Oh. You know, is it any wonder that this colour exudes that intensity of saturation when you've got such a lush environment? Yeah, it looks beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. So that's the headline of that first article. But reading on, they say, rarely does one see such large peridots on the market of that hue, tone, saturation. That's Catherine Andrews, the jury consultant. She goes on to say, the company plans to do for peridot what De Beers did for diamonds. Ooh. That's massive. Yeah. Because um, this has always been my belief. Um, there has never been a greater marketing campaign than what De Beers did to diamonds. True. Do you agree? Yeah, they did a documentary on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did they? Yeah. Never been a greater marketing campaign. So to say that statement is bold, isn't it? Yeah. Um, for diamonds uh, in terms of market positioning and education. Foolies Peridot excel in color and carrot. Rarely does one see such large Peridots on the market of that hue, tone and saturation. And those last things, right? When we, when we assess colour gemstones, and this is part of your GIA uh, um, exams if ever you wanted to do the qualifications that, we, uh, that I've done. Um, when they talk about colours, it's not just, okay, it's that colour. It's broken down into those three things. So I'm actually going to reverse it. Saturation is how intense that colour is. Mm. How intense is that green? tone if you can imagine like you've just taken a photograph on your camera and you want to darken it or lighten it mm. so that's basically how lightening or darting of the stones hue is is there any secondary colors okay. coming through so we talk about hues more likely with your sapphires for example um and tanzanite but again here they are in the in, in the great unveiling um this is joanna hardy who might be a familiar face to you all she is um, she worked alongside, uh, was it Sotheby's? I'm sure it was Sotheby's. Um, and they say the incredible gemstones were launched in 2022 at the Goldsmith Fair and presented in a talk by Antiques Roadshow jewellery expert Joanna Hardy, exploring the history of this precious stone. Um, beautiful. So this is an exciting unveiling in the world of Peridot, one that the world has never seen up until 2022. Um, anyway, so fast forward to where we are right now. Our team went, Dave went alongside Jake. They made a purchase because they were literally at the unveiling in the museum. And the museum, you've probably seen the photographs in the past. Um, it's a darkened room, which I always think Peridot looks amazing in dark environments. You can really see that wonderful yeah. colour. Um, it was all darkened and you can see these wonderful vivid greens. They made a purchase. Um, fast forward to where we are now, in fact, fast forward to probably a couple of months after that, that trip, and we are completely priced out. Because you've got to remember, you've got places like Anushka, mm. and she's not alone, there's, another, there's more pieces I can actually show you, that are 
commanding the highest, you know, five figure price tags for this gemstone. Um, Caterina Perez wrote about um, this unveiling. Caterina Perez, if there's anything to be said about any gemstone, she is just previously Ross. Um, she would be one of the people that would actually um, have written, uh, would, will have written about it. There you go. She, uh, Jewelry Insights by Katarina Breads, vibrant treasures, Foolies gemstone peridots are mouth-wateringly precious. And again, you can see it, can't you? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't take any expert knowledge. You can see the quality of the peridot itself. So our Gilling peridot, Fooly peridot opportunity is limited. And it is something that would be very upfront and honest and say, we are not buying any more because if we buy it, you'd see those pri mouth watering prices. And I don't know how many people are going to pay £20,000. So let's take you to China with Dave this trip, where he's talking about some of the high end designers that are continuing to work with this gemstone. Uh, the same gemstone that you're about to see in closeout deals. So we're here at the museum unveiling, and although this peridot is still in the embryonic stages of its development, we've only really started to see the first signs of production. It has been embraced wholeheartedly by the high jewelry world, and I'm absolutely thrilled to be joined by one of the designers uh, that is uh, defining a generation, Miss Hu who has designed this incredible kissing fish necklace. And I'd love, I'd love for you to tell us about this design, if that's OK. Yeah. Yeah, she told me that because the color of peridot is vivid green, is, uh, this kind of vibrant green give her the, it's like a new life. Uh, and in China, in Chinese traditional culture, all Chinese love fish because the vibrant green of the peridot, the color reminds her of the fish, the vivid fishes in the ocean. Yeah, that's why he picked up the fish element to design. And secondly, Chinese people, we love fish, this element, because uh, let me give you an example. Uh, in the Chinese New Year Eve, each family will have a dish of fish because fish represents wealth, blessing, all the good things. That's why she, uh, she used fish as the design inspiration element. Amazing. And can you, can you yeah. just ask him, um, is, is it the, the first time that Miss Hu has, has, has worked with this peridot? You know, as a designer, is it the first time that she's seen peridot uh, to work with? Thank you. So this is uh, Miss Hu and we hope to be able to work with her in the in the future and bring you some of her incredible designs. But this is just a sign of the times. This is a high jewelry designer who's never even thought about working with Peridot. But because this material is so vivid, because it is redefining what we thought Peridot could be, uh, we are seeing a whole host of some of the biggest designers in, in China and indeed the rest of the world working with this incredible material, which is of course going to drive the price up, but we are thrilled to be working directly uh, with the Fuelie company. That's something though. To be to, something to recognize when you, you know if you are lucky enough to get any of these pieces home you are working with the same fooly peridot as that amazing designer was. i know exactly the same that's incredible really the one that katarina perez wrote about the financial yeah. times wrote about you're working you know i can't i couldn't i can't no not being derogatory we don't bring you de beers diamonds no we couldn't, because they'd be too expensive. Yeah. I can bring you Burmese ruby and things like that. We can bring you the finest Kotan jade. But there's not many coloured stones that I can make that statement no. about. This we definitely, definitely can. 
The only difference is that you're not paying their prices because they, the team were there or one, were one, some of the first people there. But again, we are priced out. We will always be upfront, completely honest. We cannot get any more. It's too expensive, basically. So if I just show you, you know, I said I opened up and I, I was talking about the fact that it was um, a pri it's the primary deposit. So the Chiang Mai, the Hunan, um, they are kind of, uh, can you go back to that sort of image where there's the, you can actually see the primary deposit where it almost looks like that vault, that's it, there we go. You can almost see, imagine, can't you, those amazing peridots traveling to the Earth's surface. And these are obviously extreme altitudes, very difficult to actually, uh, to actually mine. But scattered, if we were to pan out on that image, scattered it along, you can even see the winding road, can't you, traveling to the top. I think this is actually Heaven's Lake. Um, but scattered along the surroundings of this location is the Chiang Mai mine, is the Hunan mine, is the Red Dragon mine. The, what you're getting is that primary location, which is what quantifies this color. I can't believe we've been authorized to bring you close out deals, jewelry makers. And these are unbelievable as well. I'm going to start with a cushion cut in ring earrings pendant. Okay. Oh my goodness me. Let me just grab my tweezers. So here is, so we've seen the one from Anushka. Oh my goodness. Even down to like the, how I pick these up. I pick them up differently, knowing the value of them now. <laughs> um, so, there is, is that the one you're talking about? Uh, hang on. In a ring, in a ring, in a ring. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so the cushion, which is very similar to the radiance cut. And then we have the mount to go alongside it. Yes, there it is, sorry, I'll get there in the end. So we have been inspired by Anushka and we are bringing you the most amazing Jiling Peridot, your Foolies Peridot, natural. And we're replicating that design with your beautiful malachite in solid sterling silver. So again, simple gem setting. Now, uh, this is your launch price, jewelry makers. You can easily resize it, so don't worry if your size isn't available. It's more about the access of the Jiling Peridot. Um, uh, that's what's really uh, what, what to get what to get excited about. We launched it at 149 pounds. You've got your split pay. We only ever commissioned 20. Ooh. yeah so I mean that the exclusivity of this piece um, we're gonna show you some massive closeout deals jewelry makers there's a huge gram weight of precious metal as you can imagine with a piece like this what sorry I didn't expect that no, a hundred <laughs> pounds <laughs> I did not expect that. 100 pounds off that price tag. Look at the quality. I'm going to hold it up off the board so you can actually see. Look at the quality of that peridot. Massive. Look, we've never seen peridot like this before, have we? You can see how distinctive it is. You can see that beautiful intensity, that demantoid or zavarite -like likeness. Mm. 100 pounds back into your pocket jewelry makers you obviously get the mount as well alongside this so literally it's a case of quite simple gem setting and i assume because it's cushion it's a bit easier much easier just pliers really you could do this with pliers and wow a pusher. um look at the quality of that gemstone it's insane isn't it oh my goodness it is insane again we've seen peridot before and they've all been absolutely amazing but again if uh, my analogy is from 12 to 6 o'clock is the slightly lighter, more chartreuse colour. From 6 to 12 o'clock is this colour. You know, that's what all the big headlines are about. The quality, that intensity, that vivacity, that glow. Um, 
Yeah, it, it, well, it is. It's like 11 o'clock, isn't it? It's the darkest, most beautiful, rich, natural saturations. Liz, Jean, Denise and Janet, you've all done it. Again, sizes are selling out, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's about, uh, you can get it resized. There's more than enough precious metal within the ring shank itself to do that. Um, it's about actually accessing that beautiful Gilin pair. I mean, look at that as a piece of jewellery. And very few people, well, 20, 20 people on this planet can say that they actually own this piece of jewellery. Oh, Unless, of course, you go into a Nushka and you want to pay the cool £19,000. £19,000. That ring, that ring, um, can you see how it says pe pendant stroke ring? It turns into a pendant. Oh, right. Yeah, can you see there's like a hinge at the bottom of oh, it? Oh, yeah. It turns into a pendant as well, but 20 grand. Valerie, you've done it. Well done. Um, okay, let's bring you the matching pendant. So I'm just going to pop that down for a second. Oops. Okay, I'll put the pendant on, see if this is tweezer skills this is now, Debs. <laughs> I know, if I can do this, I will be impressed with myself. <laughs> Rather you than me. My tweezer skills, you do, hang on, I've got it the wrong way. <laughs> so close, so, so close. Okay, so here is the pendant. There's the stone. So, compliments mm. the ring. How gorgeous is that? Oh, they're lovely together. And it's not a combination of green gemstones that I would actually think to put together. No. But they work, don't they, they? They really do work. I don't know if it's because, I don't know, you've got that peridot is so sparkly and beautiful and then the malachite seems more matte in comparison. Yeah, it is. So, that they just go together just, st and I wouldn't have thought of that either. I think it's absolutely a match made in heaven, those two. It is, it's gorgeous. Look at that, the performance, the absolute performance that you get from that wonderful uh, cushion cut stone. Matching the price, so instead of it being £149 for the ring, you can actually get both. How much was the pendant on launch? So you, £250 you would have paid on our launch for the two, which, amazing, but again, um, and a fraction of what Anushka's bringing. We can bring you both for £100 today. Massive closeout deal. Well done, Denise. Well done, Sally. Well done to you, Northamptonshire. Elizabeth and Amy in Surrey as well. Make sure you check. £16.66. You are working with food. Not working. Wearing. I, this is not the kind of uh, um, gem that I would be selling, by the way. Me neither. Or I'm going to say it, even giving away. This is heirloom. You know, this is the, the type of peridot that I would absolutely keep for myself because yeah, the quality too. of it um 16 pounds and 66 pence make sure you're checking out let's bring you the earrings next okay in the cushion that one goes there that one goes there i love these these are gorgeous i want to buy these so you have two obviously of your thule peridot Turn it over towards you. Perfectly colour matched as well. We should pay a higher premium for earrings. Do you notice on the Anushka ones, they were, what, 20 grand, weren't they? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Um, you should pay a higher premium because they've got to colour match the stones. Same applies here. We're colour matching two beautiful stones. Massive closeout deal. Again, they should be more, because there's two. Should be a higher price tag. I love those. Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? You've got the, the little backs on as well, but I wouldn't personally keep those on there. Um, that's because, obviously, the quality of the peridot. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you can soon remove those if you wish. £49.99 only. For the stones alone, that's fantastic. £25 each. Again, Anushka's charging 20000 um, and she's not the only high-end designer that's working alongside Foolies Perido. You can see why it's got the, the, the big design houses, luxury brands, head spinning. Um, and again, you saw that designer, didn't you, in that short video talking about how vibrant the colour is, you know, how the intensity of this. Um, no doubt that 
at that design that has probably seen Peridot before, but never seen it quite like this before. That's what made our heads turn as well. Denise, Janet, Maker, Valerie, hello to you, Agnes, Sandra. A little bit busy on the phone lines, but again, our call center will get to you. I promise you of that. Do stay where you are. Don't hang up your phone lines and our call center will get to you. Or alternatively, you can shop with us via the web or the app. There's never any cues there. Lillian Berkshire, you can do it as well on the app. I've got a couple of new customers getting involved as well, which is absolutely amazing. You've got split pay on a 49.99 price tag. You know it's a closeout deal when that's oh, yeah. the case. Because we shouldn't really have split pay on that price tag, should we? Um, well done. 16 pounds and 66 pence. Okay, if you prefer a round cut in the ring, did you say? Uh, is it oval, Ross? I don't have that. I don't have that then. I've got two rings. Okay, perfect. We'll use that photograph. Oh, look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? The Malachite's amazing, yeah. Look at that. I love that one. It's a gorgeous piece of jewellery. I want to buy that. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I love Peridot in a round cut as well. Yeah. Because I think, because there's so much facets. It just goes pew. Yeah, it's an explosion, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Explosion of brilliance and saturation. £149. Natural Gilin Peridot. Natural Malachite, inspired by Anushka. Close out deals though, 49 pounds and 99 pence only. Again, all sizes are available, but it's more about the stone. You can easily get it resized. Look at the quality. Oh my goodness. And again, Debs, is that easy to gem set? I'm just thinking about those people that maybe yeah. haven't done gem setting before. Yeah, I think, you know, you could do that with pliers. Just, just take it um, at opposites very gently. Um, and then maybe a pusher but if you don't have a pusher you might be able to do the whole thing with pliers yeah. because that's a very easy one to set yeah it's perfectly calibrated to go within your mount as well do you notice how even the prongs are even finished yes the prongs have been are been finished so you don't need to even do um any silver work there again make sure you're checking out how many did we have of these roscoe we had 20 available opportunities. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets on this. We've got matching earrings and also the matching pendant. Um, we're going to bring those to air also. The pendant. The pendant. Just to recap for anybody that has uh, tuned in, we're doing closeout deals on your Fuli Giling Peridot, which is crazy that we're saying that when we know we can't replace it not because it's not available it is available it's being mined but um because it's too expensive this is widely documented as the finest peridot in the world because it is the primary deposit that we just showed you on that photograph um again if you want to get the matching pendant to go alongside that beautiful ring um here it is again look at the quality of that malachite that's amazing isn't it i love that one beautiful I think, you know for stacking having that one in the top it's just beautiful just to sit just I don't know maybe 16 18 inch nice. chain just yeah. to sit there would just draw the eye you get so many compliments in whatever light conditions as well yeah. you know peridot that we've we've had for years looks amazing under the darkest of lighting yeah. conditions I've got no it didn't it's not uh, um, a coincidence that they darkened the room it's to show off that wonderful color um, but you know think about it in the summer sunshine that Ooh, wonderful yeah. intensity of green 39.99 jewelry makers for the mount alone i think that's an absolutely incredible price tag um let alone the fact that you're getting gilin peridot um that's a 75 point stone round brilliant cut so it's big in its size as well and again that's something that their uh katarina perez and the financial times actually wrote about you don't get this saturation tone and hue in sizes like this denise amy malik well done to you i've got new customers on the phone lines it is busy please Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, I'm racing through these closeout deals. Let's do the earrings. Amazing. Is that right? Yeah. So pretty, these mounts. And they do have the stoppers, but again, you can remove those if you wish. And then you get the two stones, which are here. Here we go, the two Gilins. One. Two, 
We should expect to pay a higher price tag for, she, for, for a pair. We should. Not, not just because you're getting two, but it's because they're matching. That's what really pushes the prices up. Um, half a carat that you're getting in these lovely earrings. £13.33 on your split pay jewellery makers. And I get a huge amount of silver, as you can imagine. Um, you don't just get the stones, you get the mounts as well. Um, with that beautiful Malachite halo. And you get... They're not... You, know, you can see the quality of the actual earring mounts, can't you? So you get those two all for this amazing price tag. That's unbelievable. The loose stones on their own should be way more than what's on your screens, jewelry makers. Um, affordable prices for you today. Congratulations. Make sure you're checking out those baskets to guarantee your success. I'm going to try and bring you as many of these deals, these closeout deals as we possibly can. Shall we do... Some Gilles Perido strands. Ooh. You know, when we saw at the museum, it's not a museum, at the exhibition. Um, did you see any beaded Gilles Perido? No. No, because it's the, the reality is it's to 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 even comprehend making strands, obviously they're big stones. You need a lot, don't you, to mm. make a 38 centimetre strand. Um, I've got four strands of beautiful Gilles Peridot, all absolutely amazing. Check this out. Adam, I know they're very different in terms of their design, but just to show the quality of the colour, which is what it's all about. Yeah, let's do it. Just to show you the quality of the colour that you are getting. See? It's the same. Same gem, same location, mm -hmm. same quality of saturation. Just different cut, different designs, different jewellery. But workable for us as jewellery makers. Which is marvellous to think. I mean, I'm quite away from you, but the sparkle yeah, from it's here. A, it's unbelievable, isn't it? It's absolutely unbelievable. Debs. Mm. I want to put some Gilles Peridot in your project. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> say. You can, El, you can. It would look it would lovely go with your project. Yeah, it really would. <laughs> it would be a lovely addition, wouldn't oh, it, it, alongside really those would. peacock pearls? Because you get the greens in the peacock yeah. pearls. I mean, wow, if I'd have had any, oh. yes, please. It would look stunning. Oh, uh, How many do we have of these, Ross? Only 30 available opportunities, jewelry makers, straight down to close out deal prices. Look at the faceting. What? 30 seconds. That isn't your close out deal price tag, but there's only 30. You can see the grade um, of Gilles Perino. It's all totally and utterly natural. Look at that. Again, it's one of those gemstones I can't keep my hands still because you want to constantly yeah. show that light performance, internal and external. Um, the fact that we can work with these as jewellery makers, not everybody does gem setting, I get that. Not everybody is a goldsmith or a silversmith, I get that. But most of us can bead in some way, shape or form. So again, how amazing would this be with Deb's project that's coming up at 12 o'clock? Straight away there's a reaction on the web and on the phone lines. I'm not surprised, I'm in love with these strands as well. It is a full 38 centimetre strand too. £34.99. pence. We've seen Peridot before, We've and I've always loved it. I've got Peridot, that parcel's a Peridot that I bought probably a decade ago from Jewelry Maker. But there is nothing quite like Gilles Peridot. And the reality is that's not to discredit what we had previously. This wasn't even discovered. Mm. It wasn't discovered, that primary location. That's why you get that lush, vibrant green. Um, Karen, Sally, Diane and Tim, Maker, Denise, Pamela in my home county of Monmouthshire. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Agnes in Lanarkshire, lovely to see you. Um, each of the Gilles Peridot strands, by the way, are different in their cut. So if you do want the cubes, this is the only cubes that we have. And it is the one that's most like the radiance if that if so if that's something that's exciting you um it's a similar shape to the radiance the fact that you know i sit here and say to my to my director adam adam can you put up you know the recording last round alongside a nushka that's commanding 20 grand for a pair of earrings yeah just to compare the color saturation to show the quality of the color saturations of our of our Gilles peridot you know and it's I, i'm not worried i'm not i'm not hesitating to do no. that 
It's because I know confidently that you are sourcing that same grade. Sally Agnes, well done. Make sure you're checking out everybody. We only had 20. Let's do the only rounds. Oh, a shopping spree. My list is getting bigger and bigger and <laughs> so bigger is as mine the show today. goes on. Yeah. This is stunning. And also, can I just put this one out there? What about that? What do you think, Debs? Yes. Shiling Peridot and Kota. Oh, that's stunning together. I want that piece of jewellery. Same saturation, different tone, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. They're more translucent. This is eye clean. The only round that we have out of your Gilling Peridot. And they're big too. Four mils? Four mils bordering five, I'm gonna say. Look at those. I would just restrand that and put on a gold or silver clasp. Mm. Because just having those at the neckline yeah. would just look so amazing. Yeah, it would. With, I love Julien Peridot gold. I love Peridot gold, but Julien Peridot is on another level, isn't it? Maybe some spacers. Yeah. Like, between like the ones we just had, actually. Those would be gorgeous because that is going to look absolutely incredible. You don't really have to do anything to it. No, I agree. It's all about the stone. It's yeah. all about the colour, isn't yeah. it? That's the thing. Again, these beautiful, amazing natural gemstones. There's no treatment. You almost assume when you look at um, Gilles Imperidot that it's undergone some kind of treatment, irradiation, maybe a bit like, say, your Swiss blue topaz. Mm. No, this is all natural. It's literally Mother Earth that's actually created this wonderful saturation that formed 55 miles beneath our Earth's crust. I found that absolutely mind-blowing. Um, one of the most world's most dazzling stones. Um, at 99.99, that's already an incredible deal. Our graphics say four mil. I think they're a little bit bigger, a smidge maybe. Um, but again, look at that wonderful intensity. Look at that. Again, there are only 30, so this is limited, and we only had a handful of Gilles Imperado strands. To oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Imagine a tassel of Gilles Imperidot. Or if you've got the ring to make the matching bracelet. Oh, beautiful. And then you can look at it. Capriccio. <gasps> Great minds, Adam. Capriccio. How many would you need? <laughs> I think you would need maybe two. Two strands? Or three. Okay, well, still, still less than what we originally launched at, at Debs. Uh, we launched at 99.99 And you today. couldn't buy it? That. No, in a million no, years. No, no, and I don't think there was probably a single ju uh, you know designer at the launch, at oh. Foolie's launch that had anything like that. Crazy. I mean, how amazing! You make me want to do that now. Oh, you need to do it. You need to do it, Debs. Loads of you are flocking in for this one. I'm not surprised. Sue, Lorna, Fiona, Linda, Carol, Tessa, Denise, Amy, Karen, Manchester, Kerry, Agnes, June, Channel Isles. Hello, Neath, Port Talbot. Hello to Eugene. Hello to new customers. Uh, Julia and Flincher, make sure you're checking out. It only had 30 opportunities and there's only four strands. There is literally only four strands of Gilles Imperido. And you might be thinking, oh, it's okay. Do you make or buy it again? No, we won't. No, we won't, because I don't know about you, I haven't got the thousands of pounds to buy a strand, no. which is what we would have to charge. That's what we would have to pay. So moving forward, we're priced out of it, basically. And that's, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. In the same way that I'm never going to bring you a strand of De Beers diamond. No. I'm not, am I? Because they would be tens of thousands of pounds. Mm. Tens of thousands of pounds. We are in that ilk, if you like. I can do one more. Okay, amazing. Your faceted coins, they're beautiful. They're like an old, a traditional rose cut. Do you remember the rose yeah. cut stones? So they didn't really have a coulee. It was more, so the bulk of the carrot weight was on the top. So again, great to work with in your jewelry designs. Look at this, I, mean, I, I love that when it's, oh. Oh, look at that. That's full of brilliance, isn't it? Each and every single one of these devs is going to go beautifully with your project. I just, I struggle to think of what it won't go with. Yeah. I mean, it just, it's going to be the same as the project this morning. I mean, but like 10 times as vibrant of just putting one mm. in between something else. Like, a, I know we we'll say pearls because I love them, but can yeah. you imagine? But Peridot and Pearls is amazing oh. together. 
I love them together that as well. That would be stunning, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Good luck, everyone. How many do we have? Oh, there's quantity. Well, I say quantity, there's 60. But that's massive. They're full 38 yeah. centimetre strands. When we launched the Gilles Imperado strands, of which there was only a handful, we could very easily have done 20 centimetre strand, couldn't we? Yeah. In history, since our unveiling, since it launched here at JM, hmm. Joanna Hardy, by the way, is probably going to come and join us at some point. Ooh. She's, she she's wants to work further with, with jewelry maker Stroke Gemporia because of opportunities like what you're about to see. Bringing the finest quality stones at the lowest price. The lowest price of the Gilles Imperado. Thirty seconds on your screens. Oh, eight hundred six four four six double five. You know what to do. This is I've got 60 available jewellery makers. Look at that colour and how beautifully consistent that colour saturation is. Remember, when it comes to colour, it's saturation, tone and hue. Saturation is the best I've seen. Tone is perfect, you know, not too dark, not too, not too light. And you've got that wonderful glowing hue as well. Multi-buyers on this, the lowest price of the Gilles Perido probably ever. Ever, ever, ever. Probably in the world globally in the world it's got to be hasn't it that's amazing for where else would you find Gilles Perido for 20 quid <laughs> that sentence itself <gasps> is just madness isn't it absolute madness sorry Denise getting to Sue getting to Patricia Lorna Jean Amy Linda Kent hello to you good hello to you Lorna hello to you new customers Lorna's got two as well Again, if you got hold of this and then you get Deb's project at 12 o'clock, I think you'll see, you'll agree, the two are going to go beautifully Ooh. together. That's quite something. Um, okay, jewellery makers. Um, it is happening. Dave is stepping into the studio after this next break to launch. I'll say it again. Um, that's the finest Cotan I've ever seen. Ever, ever, ever seen. The translucency is absolutely impeccable. An opportunity not to miss if you class yourself as a collector because we all know the situation. Historically, Cotan has always been the most expensive variety of, of jade in the world. Um, it's also the oldest, um, almost 10,000 years of mining. History, in two years, they predict, will be mined out. So do get it whilst you can. The quality is impeccable. Don't go anywhere. Dave's joining me after this. <laughs> Join me uh, this weekend for two incredible showcases. The first is where we explore the colors of Khotan, that legendary mine that's been you know, producing the world's most famous jade for 10,000 years. And unfortunately, we've seen the, the new news for 2024. So it's crucial uh, that if as collectors, we wanna own that material, we get it sooner rather than later. And then we delve into one of the gemstones that's had the highest price rise that I've ever witnessed obviously the South Sea Pearls. Ever since uh, COVID, we've seen a shortage of supply of fine goods. And um, with the, the influence of the Chinese superstars, we've seen a demand far outweigh supply, which has kind of put us in this precarious situation of having to compete with China for the finest pearls. Prices have gone through the roof, but you're not gonna believe the collection that we've got for you.
Hey jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on Sunday the 9th of June and we've got some beautiful gemstone projects to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour, we have got these gorgeous gem set sterling silver hook clasps. And they come in a project with your gemstones and also with your spacer beads. So I've made a necklace with this amethyst one and also a little charm ring to go with. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we have got the beautiful clover charms again. But these ones come with a diamond set peg that you can pop in and they also have two jump rings so you can make different things with them. So I did a necklace and I also did a charm ring with a peg on either side. So it's going to be great fun, we've got lots of beautiful things to show you and I will see you on Sunday. Take care! Good morning everyone, Mark here. I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is going to be this Monday, the 10th of June. I'm gonna be joining Carol, Tom and the crew. Nine o'clock, I have got my favorite gemstone of 2024 so far, Avocado Alashan Agate, the most beautiful, beautiful gemstone I think I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And at 12 o'clock, the long awaited return of the Bugle Bead. So tune in this Monday to see what I'm going to make with these little beauties. So that's Monday, the 10th of June. Join myself, Carol and the team. You will not want to miss this show. Hi, Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you on Tuesday the 11th and we've got some fantastic projects in store for you. So at nine o'clock, we have the most beautiful multi-wrap bracelets. They come with meter long gemstones and our, uh, sterling silver buttons. They're really cute, you're gonna love them. And then at 12 o'clock, we have one of my best selling items. We have inlays. We have inlay charms, we have inlay rings. You're going to absolutely love it. I can't wait to share that with you. Some nifty little tips and tricks in there that anyone can do. Uh, so I hope you can join me. I'd love to see you there. Can't wait to be back. See ya. Welcome back, jewellery makers. Um, I'm just going to say what an opportunity. And of course, what a delight it is to introduce Dave to the studio. Oh, thank you. And um, good morning. Good morning to, to everybody and to you guys as well. I'm just as excited to be here, um, primarily because this is a, a project that we've been working on for some time. I know we've bought you a strand of the, the Kotan white mutton fat, but to have the ombre in the ultra rare kind of spinach green colors so something we was always pushing towards. You know, whenever I'm uh, in Hong Kong, when I go to the Canton Road and I'm looking at incredible jade, obviously there is the, the mutton fat white, but when you see the, the incredible strands mm. of the original kind of imperial color, that spinach green. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not even gonna talk about price because it's all price and application, but just seeing them, I knew that it would be amazing if we could get an opportunity like that for you guys to be able to bring it to you. And every time we've ran into dead ends, you know, not only is this color not coming out of the mine, it hasn't done for a long time, there is huge problems with the mining at the Kotan deposit. Mm. And look, I could bring you something similar to this from British Columbia yeah. very easily and probably more affordably. But I know that you know, we love the, the history of the original jade. We want to know that it's Kotan, it's from the Xinjiang province. And we know it, it carries a, a provenance. Yes, you know, people course. pay a premium for it. And that was my first point of call. I want to get that material. Yeah. So we've been working on it for a long time, but as I've always tried to make you aware, there's lots of deals that we have placed that just never make it to screen, particularly this year. So we're obviously working months uh, beh you know, before the things arrive, you know, mm -hmm. we're ordering things. And, and when the market dynamic shift in such a huge way, unfortunately, as, as great as our relationship is with our vendors, when we're buying things and, you know, at such low prices, like in terms of we're beating them up on price, yeah. they're less inclined to, you know, move forward with the deal 
when the price changes so drastically? One of the, the key factors is that is with pearls. You know, we have placed so many orders on pearls over the last 18 months that just have never arrived. And the vendors have had to have very difficult conversations with us where they say, look, the price has changed. Like, it's double the price. Yeah, you can't and have it at that price. I, we're putting this together. And if we, if we had more or if we could get more, we'd honestly, you know, honor the deal. But at the minute, we, we have to pay these extortionate prices to get more pearls from the pearl farms. And it makes no sense for us to be giving them mm. away. Yeah. Uh, prices we literally cannot replace them for. It's not like a sales pitch. They're saying, what you're paying for the finished product, we cannot replace it for oh. um, in the current dynamics. And so there is a lot of times we've had to, yeah, unfortunately, cancel orders. Not because we want to. They've literally given us our deposit back because that's how it works. You know, when we're placing such huge orders all the time, we're buying millions of dollars of jewelry and gemstones every single month across all the, the different channels. And that means we can't top all the money, so we pay deposits. Mm. Then we have payment terms. That's why we have such great relationships, 16-week so payment terms or whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, and they're just turning around going, there's your deposit back. And sometimes, in some cases, it can be 20, 30, 50,000 pounds going, keep it. You know, we cannot do that deal. When we can, we're happy to work together again, but it's changed that much. So there's lots of deals that we, I, I hasten to get excited about because it all looks good on paper. It's all moving towards, you know, this thing. And this is why you guys might get frustrated sometimes. Why don't we promote things further out, right? If we're yeah. buying things so far in advance, why don't we promote it? So you have time to get excited and maybe save for certain shows. The reality is a lot of the times I'm filming them the promos for like this weekend when it arrives and they might have only arrived a few days ago because, because it's it can be that guarantee. close to it can be that close to the to mm. the, the grain truly with especially with jewelry maker because with jewelry maker you you you're not we're not putting on the the gold it's not going anywhere else it's literally hand to mouth it's like here's the gemstones that are on your screen yeah with jampori we have a little bit more line of sight because they hand over the gemstones then we create the jewelry we know we've got them yeah but with jewelry maker um, particularly with pearls and right now for many varieties of jade it's very difficult yeah you know, you, you guys know better than me sometimes what's going on in the jade market. For instance, with jadeite, we're all fully aware that the mines in Burma have been played out. That's not new news. But we found out this year that there is no mining in Guatemala, yeah. you know, which, which obviously impacts everything. Of course because it does. Although we're not saying it's depleted or it's exhausted, we simply don't know when, we're gonna, when those guys are going to be able to replace or replenish their rough or cut gems of jade. Mm. So they don't want to sell it. At a low price because mm. in the local markets where the jade's already in the mm. price is going up because no one knows if they can replace it yeah right so th there is problems and there's a lot of deals that we placed on different jadeites that have never arrived on your screen and it, it has a ripple effect it affects everything mm. because then the more affordable maybe quartzite jades well that's the material that they can replace that's the material they're trading all of a sudden it's in high demand and the price creeps up now with this material we've been talking well i've been talking for two years anyway uh, reading articles to you about you know the, the Chinese government coming out and saying look the, the reality is there might only be six years left of mining for the Kotan material um, we you know with the closure of the Burmese mines a lot of jade merchants jade miners jade dealers have moved into the Xinjiang province and where it used to be artisanally mined for 10,000 mm. years there's literally 200,000 people there now like wow. 2,000 excavators and excavators are ginormous. Um, if anyone has any time at some point today, if you want to go on my social media, there's, a, there's like a Taylor, Taylor Swift clip, right, which about opals. But halfway through it, you'll see me and John Dunstan in Australia. Okay. And you see us stood in front of an excavator. And, they'll, and he, that costs $1,000 a day to run. And they've got 2,000 of those in uh, the Xinjiang province. Wow. Right? Because you're probably thinking of like a digger or a JCB. They're huge. As big as like a garage on like an attached garage really? on a house. So not, yeah, when you said excavator, like, uh, uh, I was thinking literally No, no, they're monstrous. Like $1,000 wow. a day just in fuel, wow. not maintenance. Like uh, the reason I did the, the clip and for you guys to inform you, what's going on with Opals is crazy as well. Um, the, Taylor Swift was spotted earlier well, in December actually, celebrating her birthday with an Opal ring. And it was published probably in our media, but even scarier, it was published in the South China Morning Post. And their headline was Taylor Swift has just made Opal school again. She's in the midst of her $1.6 billion yeah. grossing world tour, which has done the rounds in the Far East. Yeah. She is seen as like, like Nini or whatever, like this icon. Everyone wants the Taylor Swift Opal ring. Yeah. And the, the reality is that, yeah, you, you'll probably find it, but the reality is the price has gone through the roof. There you go. This is the South China Morning Post. Did Taylor Swift did just Taylor make Opal school again? And you see the ring. This is a ring that I used to be able to be able to create. Um, as you scroll down, sorry, uh, Ross. 
uh, there's an opal ring on her hand uh, and it's there it is and it's tailored with just blue topaz london blue topaz really yeah and it's been valued already right let's just play this game just quickly because i want to introduce you to the impact of the chinese market you've sold opals like that yeah right i I, I, I sell opals like that all the time yeah um that's a pear cut right it's yeah. probably about five carats yeah it's got london blue topaz around the outside i'm sure it's in gold what's the price on it uh oh, on gemporia yeah I'm going to say 349. Yeah, 349, yeah. Maybe outside of Gemporia. Oh, God, thousands. Yeah, that's been valued at $175,000. That's the impact it's of Opal. It's London Blue Topaz. Yeah, it's, it's Blue to yeah, London Blue Topaz around the outer edge, and it's an incredible Opal. There's a, there, she's actually got a video of her talking about the ring, uh, which is crazy. But the reality is, right now, Opals are the most expensive time in history just because of was that. Was that Ethiopian or Australian? I'm opinion? guessing it's Australian. Okay. Just because um, it was, they, they talk about Australian a lot in the article, but it looks like an Ethiopian to me because uh, she does do a video where you get to get close to it. Okay. Um, but the reality is, John Dunstan, I spoke to him and he said um, he, in, in the last few years, he's lost half a million dollars because he's mining. It's $365,000 a year just to run his machine wow. and he hasn't found opal he can't wow. find opal and he's saying he literally says in the in the post that i posted he says if i had a trailer full of opal the chinese would buy it all mm. so we're looking for it we can't find it and so the price has been impacted that's happening right now mm. so the, the, that's what's happening with opal this is a gemstone that is more revered than any other gemstone this is the original jade yeah right which is the ultimate this color, the green, the spinach green, doesn't come out anymore. You've seen the documentaries on the Discovery Channel of the Jade West Mining Corporation in British Columbia. They mine this color, and at the end of each season, 100 Chinese businessmen f fly into the mountain in British Columbia on helicopters, and they just buy all the spinach green, but because they can't even get it from China. Yeah. Right. And then I wanted to recreate the Kotan spinach green ombre necklace, and I've been talking about this for over a year, and I genuinely thought, hand on heart, that we'd never it actually be here. Happen. A lot of people promised they could do it, and they would do it, and I paid deposits four or five times in the thousands for them to start work on it. And each time it's not happened, it's not happened, it's not happened. I'm about to bring it to you now, and thank God I did, because I can guarantee you, guarantee you, you'll never get a strand like this again. And I, the reason I'm doing that, this year, they've banned the mining of Kotan, Jade. Banned it. So not only is it, yeah, you know, I'm not saying it's exhausted the police. It's illegal to mine it now. Really? Yeah, it's illegal to mine it. This happened in the last six to eight weeks. Is that because they want it, they want they well, don't want it to run? Look out. at the history. Yeah. Right. Why is Imperial Jade called Imperial Jade? Because there was an Imperial Court ruling, which essentially is a legal ruling, that only the Imperial family or the Imperial class could own jade. Right. Mm. This is like going back hundreds of years. That's exactly what they're doing right now. Yeah. Isn't it? The government have come out. And they've said, you're not allowed to mine anymore. You're not allowed this material. Why? Because they know that it's a finite resource. And they've tried everything. They said, look, guys, you need to slow down. We can't have this many people here. The, at this rate, there's only six years. There was the news articles that came out where the, the Zheng, Zheng Li, who was one of the, the guys on the ground, was saying, you've probably got three years left mining. Yeah. They said, there's 2,000 excavators everyone's talking about. Is anyone talking about the fact that there's 1,000 of them aren't even running because they can't find anything? And there's 200,000 people there, a city, or you know, whatever, searching for this gem, and they cannot find it. And the government just come out and said, right, anyone caught mining, it's a prison sentence, essentially, you cannot do it. So now, we have this. And when I heard that news, I, I was so fortunate, this, is, this was in transit, right? It was shipped, so it takes a few weeks to get here, um, which is a more cost-effective way of flying it here. If we flew it here, we'd have to adjust the price. Yeah. Um, so we work, that's why we work so far out, so we can afford to ship things. And they might take a couple of months to get here sometimes, yeah, it's slower. right? It's slower, but that's why we don't want to get everyone too excited. When it arrives, it arrives amazing. But the reality is, I was so thankful that it was on the water, because mm. if, this was, if we'd flew it, we'd have left it later and later to fly it, because once it's with us, we have to pay the full amount. So it's in our best interest to you know, get it in as late as possible, uh -huh. so we can pay the money and then sell it, right? Otherwise, we're just tying up money. I know I'm going into so many things here. No, so, but if we'd have left it this late to fly it out, yeah. they'd have cancelled the order. I was going to say, would because it be, all would of it a sudden, been intercepted? it's not the, the the vendor would have said, "We're not doing it. Here's no. your money back." Yeah. Because they'll have created this look, which is the, one of the most desirable necklaces one can get in China. 
with the certified Cotan material in the spinach greens that no one's gonna get. And this year, they have said, this is no longer in mind. You think you've seen price increases. You've not, you're not ready for what's about to happen. Okay. And this is my good friend Bernard who told me about this. He said they've banned mining for Cotan Jade. No one knows how this will affect the price, but be prepared for huge price increases. This is uh, our original jade, like the Chinese people's original yep. jade, 10,000 years of history. Now, anything that's in the market will never leave Asia again. What little is in circulation, with the mines closed only the last few days, and uh, n you know, the news is now being written. And I want to bring you this news. So this is one of the articles that I found. Is Hishan Jade rising tenfold? Is it really daydreaming? Forgive some of the poor grammar or English. It has been translated yeah, from course. Cantonese, but um, it's, it's a, a, a blog, I guess. So this guy says, I chatted with a friend about this piece of material, the tiger skin and the original stone of the Hishan Jade eight years ago. I liked it at first glance because I knew Hishan Jade. I knew that there was a lot more room for appreciation uh, for the purchase due to various reasons. I didn't have enough funds on my body, on my person to be able to do it. So I found a friend to go into partnership with. Who knows uh, that the friend didn't really understand and he was unwilling to pay so I could only borrow money to buy it. So you had to borrow money to buy this piece. After several years, Hishan Jade has been hot in the past few years. I've talked about it. Um, many people who play, and I think he means deal in Hishan Jade, yeah. um, have lived a wealthy life. Um, if there is a business that can not be opened for three years, it can only be eaten for three years. He's basically saying it's feast or famine. Once you've got okay. it, it's all great. You, know, you can get very wealthy. But once it's gone, it's gone. Don't sell it too low, essentially. And he says, um, Hishan Jade resources are depleted day by day. And now the Xinjiang government has banned the mining. It's the first time in 10,000 years they've banned the mining. Wow. Yeah, this is colossal. He says, good Hishan Jade is collected by some collectors. Uh, some of the materials on the market are scarce, so the price of those materials has risen, especially for the high, high quality Hishan Jade. It's actually now priceless. Wow. No one will put a price on it. This is so new. This was written in the 5th of June, or the 6th of May, sorry. Gosh, literally this year. just. Yeah, yeah. This um, is gr like, this groundbreaking Yeah, this is like four news. weeks old, right? Literally. Wow. Um, and he says, in the past two years, people have kept bidding for the jade, for his jade, remember? The one he bought with his yeah. friend? Um, the highest now is around 100,000. But because I like it, and I don't want to be taken by the temptation that's in front of me, um, if I wanted to spend that 100,000 to buy this material, it would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. It's too hard to find. So yeah. said, even though the price is sky high right now, and so people are coming up to me day by day, bidding the price up, saying, all right, 100,000, can we take it? And he's saying, look, I'd make a massive profit. He said, but then if I want that jade, if I want jade like that, mm. I can't buy it with 100,000. So what good is it to me? Yeah. That's the reality. It's like, he, he loves the jade. He's been collecting this incredible jade and he's like, I can become extraordinarily wealthy, but the reality is I can't replace it. That's an anecdotal piece of information. But the reality is, and I know this by the way, I've spoken to them at length this week, this cannot be replaced for the price we're selling it for. For, for the price we're selling it for, which you know, you'd anticipate we're gonna make some profit. Yeah. You can't replace it. The team, have said openly, and so I can speak you know, you know, out there to you guys very honestly and openly about it. He said, you know, you're lucky that we shipped it. Because if, this had, if you'd have said, yeah, this is when we want you to send it by FedEx or whatever, yeah. then I'd have canceled the order. So you're about to get an irreplaceable deal. It was already exciting. I've been working on this for a year. It was exciting anyway. It was the first time I was gonna give you the spinach green natural cotan jade in the ombre look, in a strand. Wow. That's exciting, I know, and Ross knows, uh, it's a sellout show. Yeah. It's a killer show. This is what, a Saturday, I don't have to be here, I want to be here because I'm so excited about this deal. Um, and I'm here to, to offer it to you. And I already know it's a sellout, it's a killer deal. I can just show you the recording and go, guys, it's Cotan Jade, it doesn't get better. But now everything, the way the cards have fallen, like the fact that this mine is, is, is illegal to mine from now, which impacts the, the landscape like nothing else. And the only reason they're doing that isn't because you know, it's in a, a, cons a conservation area. It isn't because, you know, some ethical standpoint. It's because they're saying, we're going to lose this, this gem. We're going to lose this it, gem yeah. and we can't control it. It's 200,000 people. Imagine trying to police 200,000 people. It's not in a city. Like it's in the middle of, a, you know, an isolated area. Yeah. Right? Like a river running through. It's not, you know, it's not with the infrastructure of a city where you can easily negate things and have security cameras or whatever yeah, it may be. Yeah. It's like out in the middle of nowhere. Wow. And there's 200,000 people congregating there. 2,000 excavators that have just appeared out wow. of nowhere. Moving tons of earth, tons, metric tons of earth a day searching for this material. Used for 10,000 years, it was just, I don't know, 100 people wading out into the river. 
wading out into a river picking up rocks. Yeah, well, there's that photo, there's yeah, that well, sketch yeah, yeah, we've seen show. it. Well, not even just that. You know, if you go to this, there, this, yeah. is, this is how they would trade it back yeah. in the day. That might be like a week's yield. They've been right. out in the river, um, picking out these stones, looking for them, polishing them, selling them. That was the trade. That's how it's existed for 10,000 years, ultra mm. rare. But now they're literally going in with excavators, churning up the ground, trying to find this material because they know it's more expensive than gold. They know it's the most expensive material in the world and they know it's finite. So they're like, we need to capitalize on this now. We've just seen what happened with Burma. It just disappeared. Mm. If we want to make some money, we've got to get there now. And, and like they're saying, the price has been going up for the last few years, three years. It's gone, that one gem is like 100,000 now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is what's happening. And I wanted to bring you this because we've never been able to do it. It's a full strand of rounds. It goes from the mutton fat all the way through the color spectrum into the spinach green. It's amazing. It's a, it's, it is amazing, but it's the last and only time you'll ever see it. Look at that. Just a, just a moment mm -hmm. to fully absorb. Irreplaceable. Yeah. Um, so 10,000 years, just yeah. four weeks ago. Absolutely. How, how many of these do we have, guys? We have... 150. Okay, thank God. Like, you, you, I'm so glad. I'd have, I'd have hated to come to it, tell you all this, and say we've only got 40. I've got 150. Yeah. And we're going to do a, a killer deal. But I am going to say to anyone who's tuned in, this is it. This yeah. is it. This is your moment. This is where you decide if you want to have the Kotan spinach green, the ombre colours. Do you know, uh, um, Dave, we talk about, you know, we're very fortunate, aren't we, to, to, to see some of the most beautiful gemstones yeah, yeah. and obviously legacy pieces, heirloom pieces that we yeah. pass on to our future generations. There is no greater heirloom than Kotan, is there? No, this is the original gemstone. Yeah. Like traded for 10,000 years. Yeah, amazing. The, the gemstone with the oldest history of being traded. Yeah. And uh, still continues to this day to you know surpass everything else in terms of how coveted it is how valuable it is and these by the way are the colors that don't actually even exist anymore mm -hmm. like the greens but th this is you look at oh, the, yeah, the week's yield true. you get the yellow skin you get some of the red obviously you get the mutton fat but there's very little green that comes out to get a full strand is exceptional wow so i'm just gonna say i know that we are very fortunate we have thousands of jade collectors that follow us here mm. that buy their jade from us whether you're in the trade whether all you're a collector all around the world mm. this is an opportunity that i could not be more excited about i'm going to give if it's okay a 30 second clock i'm going to open yeah. up 150 and if 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 anything that i've learned from working here at jewelry maker and gemporia i genuinely think i know this is insane i think this deal disappears in five seconds yeah once I'm the sure. phone up and i know that's probably you know, me getting passionate and excited if, if you have heard what I've said, if I've done my job correctly, if I've explained myself, this is gone in five seconds. Mm. And it's never and, to and be replaced. Yeah, absolutely. It is irreplaceable. That's the thing we need to, mem we need mm -hmm. to remember here. Yeah. Mining has stopped. Yeah. This isn't your normal run of the mill show. This isn't where we wait and we go, okay, you know, this is what's gonna happen. It's in so many baskets. You are being offered something that no one else can offer you. No one else would offer you something I can't replace. And I'm just gonna say, if, if you have the funds, if you are you know, in a privileged position where you are wealthy, I'd be buying as many of these as I could. I'd literally fill my boots. 100%. Like that gentleman said, the price has gone up day by day. Yeah. The mine is gone. It's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. They're preserving it. And you've got not just, just to have a nugget of Kotan Jade would be exciting in that time. You've got a strand. Which is effectively what they are yeah. on, that, on that photograph. And you know you're watching jewelry makers, so you're going to get a crazy deal, yeah. which is just, it's wild. It's the ultimate. Yeah, multi-buy, fill your boots, get as many as you can. It is the moment that none of us even knew we were waiting for. And it's serendipity if you tuned in. In, in, in May of this year, this mine that has been producing uh, the, the, the world's most expensive jade for 10,000 years has, has closed. Wow. That's, that's and the person that provided us with this deal his team that cut this over the course of a year, maybe a little bit longer, have literally said, we would not have shipped this had we known. Would, are, are we talking like sort of a couple of weeks? Yeah, yeah, difference? 100%, yeah, for yeah. sure. Wow. So it's, it is serendipity. It is by the skin of our teeth that this, that this is happening. in the building. But the important thing to remember is when this sells out, which it's gonna do, 
and we all you know look at each other and go wow you guys love that let's get more of it it's not even a conversation no. it's not even a question it's not going to be mentioned there is no bracelet there is no bangle there is no earrings there is no gem that you're going to get like this again kotan is done and the sooner we all make peace with that the better those of you that have kotan in your collection Fantastic. whether you've got mutton fat whether you've got some of the other wonderful colors do you know what everything your gut was telling you in the moment you acquired those you were right you were absolutely right mm. to, to do what you did to get those unbelievable opportunities and uh, you are like the cat that got the cream yeah but the one thing we've never offered you is the green ombre no. spinach green coat and material that hasn't it's been nice. really available for a long time anyway yeah it's it's like imperial coat yeah, yeah isn't yeah. it yeah it's as good as it gets um everyone is multi-buying i would wow. urge you to do that every single one of you that is in and trusting us you're the ones that are going to be successful you know this is what the vendors have said about this color before before there was imperial jade eye there was spinach green jade mm. this jade if it has translucency is actually still the most valuable yep. uh, it is said to have only ever been found in the cotan deposit and by the way it's no longer found if you want to see these stones you have to go back to the Qing dynasty and see their treasures that are in the museums in china now um, there you will see not just mutton fat which is what we always talk about but the, the Kotan reviews to provide transparent colors of honey, russet red, and even mm. a very rare uh, gray blue color. Much of these were carved and you will still, still see them today in the big auction houses, but they are hundreds of years old. Mm. You know, and th these are the kind of pieces we're talking about. Wow. They sold what in 2006? Yeah. For 3.4 million Hong Kong dollars. Wow. Which is about 300,000 pounds. 300,000 pounds? Yes. Yeah. And again, you can see that color, can't it's you? It's a paintbrush pot. <laughs> that's the truth you know and and it's opaque yeah these are translucent these are translucent they are jemmy and they're on your screen and they're available but they're also selling out and they should be selling out yeah if, if we've done one thing right over the last four years it's education yeah it's allowing you guys to understand so you can make educated unprejudiced well-informed decisions Absolutely. on the gems you want in your collection uh, you're not going to buy everything you know, but we want you to be able to make an educated decision, make your own mind up. I mm -hmm. want that. I want this. This is the one you need. You know, magnificent set of Chinese spinach green jade plaques, emblematic of the four seasons from the late 19th, early 20th century. Back in 2016, that sold for $1.5 million. Not Hong Kong dollars. US dollars. as well. Wow. US dollars. Wow. This mine's closed. The investor that bought those in 2016, can you imagine the immense value that they would command oh, they now? They are now? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. What, eight years on? You're wow. looking at the ultimate. You are, aren't you? Strand. Yeah. Strand beats everything in terms of price. Yeah, absolutely. And also, that's the, that's the finest I've seen, yeah, Dave. Well, I mean, if this is our finale if it is like. it is our finale there's no if it is our okay. finale i just want to be really clear on I know, our finale yeah the, the last piece and the best yeah I've and seen. had we known we would have we would have ordered a massive show with earrings and uh, bracelets and and done everything but i just was absolutely hell-bent on creating this graduated sorry this uh ombre strand yeah this gradients of color and so that's what i've been working on um, Sally says, I'm so thankful to you, Dave, and the team for these chances to get uh, the most treasures of the world. And that's from Sally. You're more than welcome, Sally. I'm grateful to you guys for putting me in the position that I can do this. It's amazing. Morning, Dave. I brought the large white Kotan bracelet. It is beautiful. It has the most wonderful ed energy. So thank you. Thanks. See, Heather, your gut told you in that moment to go and get your, your Kotan bracelet. And now you're being told you were right. You know, the mine is done. Mm. It's illegal to even mine that material anymore. And you, in... in um, in the UK, uh, have this huge, incredible, glowing Kotan mutton fat jade bracelet. I know what bracelet you're talking about, Heather. I bought the same one. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Is it the big round? Yeah. The one that looks like uh, it's like the Flintstones. Yeah. It's so big. It's a, it's yeah. it's beautiful. Lorna's got two. Jenny's got two. Doesn't that speak volumes, Dave? That you know we remember Kotan yeah. auctions. Mm -hmm. We remember Kotan pieces. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We will absolutely remember this yeah, phenomenon. We'll, we'll never forget it. But yeah. I'd love you to be able to remember it for the right reasons. Yeah. Like the collectors that are messaging in saying, I got this, yeah. I got this, you know, and how wonderful that feels. I do have 140, 50, was it? There was 150. Okay, we had 150. Definitely don't have that quantity. No, but now. it's amazing that we did. Yeah. We can look after, uh, you know, a lot of you. 
but you have to make the decision. You have to decide, can you miss out on that? You know, these colors, mm. this clarity, this unbelievable crystal from the world's most notable gemstone deposit. Yeah, of any variety. Oh my God, yeah. I know how um, the, the, these locations of provenance affect the price as well. You yeah. know, like you want to try and get a cashmere sapphire now. Mm. You want to try and get a Golconda diamond now. Yeah. That's Cotan Jade. Yeah. That's Cotan Jade. But the difference is we're in a position to be able to still get Cotan Jade right now. Yeah. But you couldn't do that with your cashmere. Nope. If you are joining this auction. Yeah, I mean, I literally was offered a cashmere sapphire today. Were you? Yeah. And uh, obviously I don't have that kind of money, but it's insane. And I know the price. Tens of thousands? No, more. Six figures? Yeah, tens of thousands per carat. Per carat? Per carat. Wow. And it's not even the best gem you'll ever see. It's stunning. It's the best gem that I could ever even imagine, but it's not like you know, pure royal vivid blue. Okay. It's, it's mottled with color as many cashmere sapphires are because of that silky nature to them. And uh, it's offered to me. Um, and you know, it's, yeah, it's six figures. Six figures. Six figures, yeah. And that's the reality. Wow. Whereas even a like for like stone, even from Ceylon, yeah. would be a fraction of the price. Yeah. And Ceylon's amazing. Mm. That's the reality. That's the provenance of these supreme locations. I'm going to start you off. I'll give you a 30 second clock and we'll, uh, we'll make this so exciting for every single one of you. We're not gonna arbitrarily raise the price because the situation has changed. We got an incredible deal and you're gonna get an incredible deal. Good luck, everybody. Good luck and well done to those of you that aren't leaving anything to chance. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't either. <laughs> um, this is breathtaking mm -hmm. and so exciting as well. You know, thank you, Dave, as well, for actually being able to, uh, you know, briefing us on the fact that literally 10,000 years that's it yeah yeah that's it, it. Mm -hmm. four weeks ago that's groundbreaking yeah, May, I have yeah. no knowledge of that no um, and yeah many of us it, it, we want to inform you all the time we want to educate yeah. you want you to know you know if you see opportunities anywhere it doesn't have to be here and it's on this material and you, you can afford it just get it mm. that's the reality um, I'm going to start you off with 5,000 pounds <laughs> which I know is ridiculous it's high price but you know it's not. Uh, I don't even. I don't even think it's reality for this in the in the current market. Yeah, that's probably underpriced, isn't yeah. it? To be truthful, for Cotan J, natural. Well, 150 Spinish carats green. in a strand. Yeah. And you know, if you've tuned in to to us before, if you're one of our, you know, loyal collectors that has been with us, um, you know, we're nowhere near here. That's why you've already bought two, Jenny. That's why Lorna, you've already bought two. That's why Florence is in and Jackie and Heather and Tracy and Wendy and another Tracy in Cumbria and Maker in Great London and Sally and Karen in Fife. You already checked out. You already got this. You, yeah. you, you, you're Trusting making your process. decision. Um, um, thank you so much. This is uh, an incredible opportunity as I keep trying to remind you. You know, the lengths that we go to um, to mm. try and make things like this happen. Yeah, it's been, it, this doesn't just arrive. We've been yeah. working behind the scenes on an opportunity like this. And it's good to know things like that, you know, because, you know, I used to watch shopping TV before I actually came into the business itself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you do, you, it, it's easy to kind of overlook, especially with gems like Cotan Jade, you know, to go, oh, yeah, okay, that's, you know, yeah. that's a purchase. It's not that simple, is it? No. It's a whole And yeah, think about what we do. We, we, we travel the world. We go to yeah. these far flung locations. We, we're constantly, you know, out there. Uh, you know, and like I know we look at this and we go, shopping TV. Mm. Shopping TV, like I said, you know, it's, it's easy. We're ordering it in like it's Amazon and then we're just flogging yeah. it. Right, that's the, 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 the perception probably yeah. that a lot of people, if they're just channel hopping, might have. You know, if, if, you, if you go to my social media, you'll see me in Australia um, oh, at, yeah. at the Pope Farm that, with, the, with yeah. the Tiger Shark just yeah. arriving that's, right there. You know, crazy. we're literally living it. You can by 100% open up a shopping channel and order things off Alibaba and flog it. You can do that. Yeah. But with us, we have been going for like 20 years, right? So we are actually now not talking to laymen. Uh, we might be, but we're not. Our active audience um, are educated. Mm. You're gemstone collectors. We can't pull the wool over your eyes. We can't fool you. We have to know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. We have to become authorities in the industry. And as I said, like, any time you, you want to second guess anything, you can you go to my social media for sure and you'll see me in Australia, you know, me in China, you know, all of these things that we're actively out there the doing in Geneva at the world's most yeah. prestigious auction houses. This is 
how seriously we're taking in the industry. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm inundated with messages from notable authorities in the industry that are asking me to go out and meet them now. Like we are really in a position. That's wonderful. Yeah, Parlor International reached out to me this week. Really? And, and have said, we want to fly you out to California. We want to, you know, work with you. They want to, for us to be able to work with them because now they understand what we're about. We yeah. are the real deal. And even some of the people in the industry, you know, some of the authorities that we all look up to probably don't watch shopping TV, let's be honest. No. They're busy and they probably have a negative perception of us. But now they're starting to understand, oh, these guys are for real. Like they are yeah, doing exactly what we're doing. And, and now we're breaking down. Like I said, when uh, Benoit reached out to me, you think the, the Philips auction house would even look twice at us mm. um, if we wasn't the real deal. Yeah, true. You know, we, we have become authorities in the industry and that's because of the lengths we go to. So we're at five thousand pounds. Let me give you a thirty-second clock. You are informed. You are educated. You're you're unprejudiced. You're viewing this right now as the opportunity that is. Just like all the other collectors that have messaged and said, Do you know what? I actually I bought Kota Mountain Fat, and some of these people bought Kota Mountain Fat far before they ever knew that there was a risk of losing the mine. True. They bought it because true. they loved it. They bought it because the deal was incredible. And now you feel vindicated. You feel validated because you're like, God, they can't get any more. And I've got this huge bracelet. Yeah. The one that we both know very well. Yeah. That we can remember. I'm at five thousand pounds, and I've already got so many collectors that trust us. That've already multiple. That know we're for it. A third of the stock. Well, check this out. I'm gonna take it straight down to seven nine nine outside of four figures. I, I've 150, but I'm determined to make them disappear today. Like these are That's going. Seven nine nine. Yeah. Nowhere near them. It's not a 38 centimetre strand. No, no. It's 60, 60 centimetres, right? 60. Nowhere near them. Oh, my. Nowhere near done. But I ca the only caveat is I can't get you another 150. So it's just where you want to be in the queue, yeah. where you want to be uh, in history. Are you going to be one of the 150? Because once this is gone, it's gone. Yeah, absolutely. This is exquisite. And it, it's I've got collectors all it, over the world. Dave, it's historical. Yeah. You know, and that might sound like an exaggeration, but it is, isn't it? It's yeah, I mean, it doesn't even do it justice. No. It can't be an exaggeration. You cannot overstate the importance, certainly historically, 10, years. of this gemstone. Yeah. Back it, to the Neolithic period. Yeah. Like, we're talking about, you know, thousands and thousands of years of this gemstone being traded and viewed as the most important gemstone in the in Far the East. World, and yeah. now that is, you know, accepted as a, as a statement of fact in, in the whole world. Yeah. That jade is that price. And you're at three figures. Yeah. I said at the start of this, and I meant it, fill your boots. I said get as many as you can because I know the vendor wouldn't have shipped this. If there had been any more time, if that news had been broken any earlier, this would not be here. And we, I wouldn't even mention it. I wouldn't even talk about it because I wouldn't tease you. This could have happened. Yeah, I wouldn't say we were this close to pulling off a, an ombre. It's just annoying, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> There's so many uh, deals that I'd love to talk to you about, but I don't want to because we just haven't been able to pull them off. We haven't been able to do it. Yeah. Um, but that is why you know we don't promote things six months out, three months out. But this did happen. This is the one that slipped through the net. Is happening. Yeah. So, okay, let me give you 60 seconds before we destroy the price. <gasps> 60 seconds, one oh minute. I'm not goodness. gonna pressure anyone. Uh, I think it comes down to if you've seen this and you love it, yeah. you, you know. are gonna be able to afford it. We're gonna yeah. make that happen, but it's on you if, if you want it. I'm not gonna pressure anyone at all, but I'm gonna give you 60 seconds to maybe just make your mind up, to mm -hmm. decide. And I, I'm not gonna say check it out or put, put yourself in the queue or in the basket. I'm just gonna say, just make your mind up. Give me 60 seconds. Think of a number that you want this to be. What's gonna make this happen for you? And if we hit it, just make sure you check it out because this yeah, will disappear. You have to be quick. You We're at 799 pounds. We're outside of four figures. We're at 150 carats of ombre natural Kotan jade. Do you know if if you've been one of the yeah natural? Mm -hmm. Um, if you have been one of the people that over you know this brief window that yeah. we've had mm -hmm. of uh, of actually offering Kotan, yeah. mm -hmm. amazing yeah. but brief. So brief. I mean, let's be honest. If we if we did the timeline of Jade, yeah. since its inception, its discovery till now, yeah. and we put it on an A4 piece of paper, yeah. 
this four years wouldn't you wouldn't see it no it's barely a fiber yeah you know a, a, a speck of dust absolutely but you know if you if you are one of those people that you know has the coat has cotan jade or is part of this opportunity you know has there ever been a more significant opportunity or a slice of knowledge that Dave has given us today. 10,000 years done. We've been speculating, haven't we? Saying, okay, we know it might happen. We know that they're talking, what, six years, did Dave just say? But are we going to look back on these acquisitions with regret? Well, you'll never regret getting it. No. It's if you miss out. Yeah. That's the truth. If you miss out, of course, you're going you're gonna to look back with regret. But if you get it, you're going to feel like the collectors that have been messaging in all morning. Yeah. You know, saying, I cannot believe I did this, that exactly. I've got it, that it's in my collection, that I get to pass this down through generations. 799 is incredible, I agree. Straight down, Ross, 499. For 150 carats of gem quality, translucent, spinach green, gradient uh, of colours from the Cotan deposit, from that legacy mine. What on earth? Mm -hmm. Where else in the world, Dave? Well, yeah. And let me just make another statement, if it's okay, Ross. If we'd just made 50 of these, yeah. you remember how surprised we were? Which is amazing. 150, yeah. And I said, I'm so glad we don't have 40. Yeah. If we'd have made 50 of these, this absolutely would be your final price. Mm -hmm. And by the way, they'd have all sold no, out no, by no, now. This is, no, what, no, I'm going what do you again. Mean? <laughs> so if we'd have just made 50 of these, this is your final price. And um, we'd be ending the auction now because there's more than 50 people on the phone lines. Okay. But we didn't. We've got 100 more than that. 100 more we do. And we're going to do something absolutely outrageous for anyone who trusts us and wants to jump on in. I stood here at the start and I said, multi-buy, fill your boots, get in as many as you can. And I'm going to show you exactly why. We don't have 50, thank God. Otherwise, I'd be leaving now. We have 150. Sue in Edinburgh says, I love Jade, but I don't have the resources. I, I had even six months ago, uh, yeah, I don't have the resources I had even six months ago, otherwise I'd buy up everything you have, lol, thanks Dave. Right, so, I'm gonna do this deal for you, and I hope it helps you out, right? Because this, this is the deal, this sells it out if we had 50, we have 150, and so I want, you love Jade, Half I wanna put this gone. in your collection. I want to make sure that Sue can get this. So we're at 499, which is incredible, very successful, a lot of you there, we've also got multi-buyers, that are getting these huge carrot weights of this spinach green jade from the Cotan deposit. But because of that message, I'm gonna take this as low as I absolutely can. Thank you so much. Um, right, Chantal, for you too. Oh bless. Yeah, for you too. We're gonna to try and sort this. Oh my God, we're gonna do something crazy. In fact, let's do it 30 second clock. For, for Chantal, for Sue, no and for Chantal anyone else in the sad. same position, you're looking at this, you absolutely love it, the yeah. strand looks gorgeous, we know that you want it, let's deliver the most insane deal. I don't care anymore. Yeah, let's do something absolutely wild. Absolutely amazing. And this is why you do what you do, yeah. Dave, Sue's got it. it. Sue, trust us. Sue in Edinburgh's there. Yes, Sue. Okay. This um, is why Chantal, you do what you do. Chantal, I want to see you too because we are, if you can, I'm not asking you to do that. I'm going to do everything I can to make this the craziest deal. And you've got your 0% interest split payment. Listen, you're not alone. You know, if I'd have looked at Cotan year, years ago, there's no way on earth I'd afforded it. This is a, this is potential. Yeah. Ross, I actually want a half the price, mate. I want a half it. Cut it in half. Give you the craziest deal. We don't have 150 anymore. We've got double figure stock. Half of it is gone. I've seen so many collectors messaging saying, this, this necklace, Dave, that you've been working on for over a year, that you wasn't sure we'd be able to deliver, you wasn't sure we'd be able to do it, we didn't want to get anyone too excited. You know, I, I've fallen in love with it. I love Jade, I can't believe it's the end of the line for the original Jade. We've never had colors and quality like that before, but unfortunately, I can't afford to get it at 499. Mm. I cannot do it. Well, you know what, today, all the rules go out the window, I don't care. Because it's the last time, because it's the final time, and I can't make something a little bit more affordable in the future because I can't get it, I'm going to take a hit on it. But you can I'm prepared to say, you know what, this is the finale. If, if, you know, Sue in Edinburgh, if Chantal can't get it today, they can never get it. So let's just go and make this the craziest, most ludicrous deal we've done. 150 characters, or 145 characters minimum in the Cotan. That's incredible. Gradients babe. of green, 100% natural necklace. Absolutely incredible. Sue's got two. Lanarkshire's got two. Cumbria's got two. Essex, you've got two. All to. around the world. Um, there's about, sorry, a 45 second queue on the phone lines, but that's nothing in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. 
The phone lines lit up. I don't think any of us, Dave, were expecting you to go to 249. No. Um, I didn't. I, I genuinely Sue didn't. and Chantal played their Do you part know, I in was, that, I was they? tempted to take this to 399, take 100 pounds off, which would have been crazy. Yeah, amazing. But then when uh, you showed me that message, I don't feel... I don't feel good about the collectors that love it as well. Yeah, and don't and, and miss out. And I'm never going to miss out. Yeah, like, I agree. It's one thing if it's not for you, but if a collector messages me and says, I'm in love with it, and I know that I can't get you any more, this is your only chance, and you're saying, but unfortunately I can't afford that, then we're going to do whatever we can, whatever it takes. Alison in the city of Bristol, Sue's got to, Maker's got to, Cumbria's got to, Shrewsbury wow. there, Fife there, West Midlands, Lincolnshire, Lanarkshire, County Durham, Lincolnshire, uh, Surrey, Edinburgh, Monmouthshire, Norfolk, Manchester, Merseyside, West Yorkshire, Northamptonshire, Dorset, Cornwall, Hertfordshire, someone's trying to get eight. Olwyn, you're there in Manchester, Hilmer in London, you're there, Maker in Devon. Everyone seems to be multi-buying. Um, and I don't blame you. Lorna, you've got two. Well, those of you that I am seeing with, uh, with multi-buys, multi you know, in my head, Dave, yeah. 499 is, is, is unbelievable. Yeah. And don't forget, uh, you said it, didn't you? If yeah. we had 50, that would have been your price. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. But we had 150. Oh. And we want to make this one of the, the most spectacular deals and we've done it. Yeah. The finale, effectively, yeah. which is, I'm sad to say Yeah, that. the farewell, the finale, the final uh, event of this material, the only time we've done anything like this. Uh, no problem, Sue. I'm so glad. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that you've managed to get it. You know, yeah. Sue, if there was a moment when you thought you might have to miss out. You might have to switch off the TV. You might have to, as you said, never forget this show. And unfortunately, yeah. you, got, you missed out. Well, we, we do whatever we can. And those, those kind of memories do stick with you, yeah. don't they, as well? Especially 100%. the ones you miss out on. Yeah. They do stick with you, especially with a gemstone that with such high yeah. regard globally, internationally. And, and it's breathtaking. You know, even without the knowledge that obviously you give us, uh, you, you bring us, Dave, and you've mm -hmm. brought to us today, I was looking at that going, wow, that's the best I've seen. Yeah, exactly. That's the and best I've seen. That's what I said. Seen. We could have just put this live and it sells out anywhere, but I wanted you to understand you know Where and be educated are. what's going on janice has just got three makers got two yeah uh, somerset you're there dorset's got two lorna's got two bristol's got two somerset's got two uh, look we had 150 we don't have that quantity anymore unbelievable Do you all know around what? the world my final deal with you today and i always like to go out with a bang i agree that i think we've done that over 100 of these have sold, which means I've got less than 50 chances remaining. Everyone's going to get one hell of a price pledge. And anyone who's even in two minds, like Chantal, I'm going to make this an unmissable deal. I'm going to give you a minute clock. And there's one final price coming your way for everybody. One final price on this necklace. Less than 50 chances now. And if we'd have just started with this amount, would it be twice the price on your screen? We said that. It's 60 centimetres. Yeah. Of your beautiful ombre. 100%. Spinach green. Yeah, the gradients of that spinach green, mutton fat, all the colours transitioning wait, wait. perfectly. See these two? Yeah. Surely 249. Yeah. These two, 249. Any, any two, yeah, just yeah, like a yeah. pair of earrings. Yeah, absolutely. 30 That's seconds. Uh, we're going to do something crazy. Maker and Avon's gone to. Denise has got to. Uh, another Denise has got to. Jenny and Dorset's now gone for three. We're going lower. We are going lower on this epic deal. 20 seconds. Okay, now the Less moment. than 50 chances. Yeah, if you haven't already done so, good luck. Make sure you check out. Uh, I <laughs> no problem, Margaret or Margot. Uh, she says, I've got loads of jade. I had to get this. Uh, Tar, muckle, Mr. Wonderful. Thank you, I'll take oh, that. that's uh, nice. Congratulations. I'm so, so thrilled, Margot, that you've managed to get this. Do you know what, Ross? Straight down, 199. 199. So that so Jenny and Dorset will just give you 150 pound back in your account. Uh, Tracy and Northumberland 100 pounds back. Maker and Avon 100 pounds back. Denise and Surrey 100 pound back. Janice 150 pound back in your account. Maker 100 pound back in your account. Uh, Maker and Cumbria 100 pound back. Lorna 100 pound back. How amazing is this yeah. though? Four interest free split payments. How utterly amazing. So many thank yous for you, Dave. And of course. Look, it's a whole team effort. I really appreciate that, Caroline. I know how invested you are in the world of Jade. have been for over 50 years. Thanks, Dave, for all your efforts on mm. Jade Eye and Gems. My collection is 40 times better, uh, plus uh, I can buy more for my money. Well, that's yeah. what we always aim to do. And Caroline's obviously been buying uh, Jade for, for many 50 years. years yeah. 50 years. So you know a thing or two about Jade then, Caroline. You know, seriously, 199, were we ever imagining that? Yeah, 100%.
we shouldn't have been imagining nope. that, should we? The reality is we shouldn't have been imagining two thousand pounds, one thousand nine hundred pounds. Absolutely, um, and, you know? and most other uh, places where I've ever seen a strand like this, and I have seen them uh, in Hong Kong, they've just got one in the window. Yeah. They don't even have twenty or ten or five. Yeah. Let alone one hundred and fifty, and you've just got like a year's supply, maybe ten years' supply of any other jeweler in Hong Kong in one foul swoop. And look at the deal that we've made happen. At two hundred pounds. Yeah, and interest-free, fifty split pounds payments. On split payments. Yeah, which is basically what you what we do, isn't it? Yeah. You were saying earlier on. Yeah, exactly. Plans. Yeah, it's basically a payment plan for our wonderful audience. One hundred percent. You know, we we have those payment terms to make it more manageable for us with our cash flow. Of course. Which is exactly how you know we want to make it easier for you guys as well. Wow! Well done, everybody. L the call screens are completely full yeah we had 150 was never a quantity i was expecting dave to say um well over half the stock has gone in fact are we, are we into the final third we'll show you the quantity says ross okay amazing uh, okay 33 yeah. chances that's yeah. all we have remaining remember ever yeah ever if if you know half a, if if all of you multi buy it's like 15 chances really man that's not a big ask there's more than 15 of you that have bought more than one yeah. on the phone lines right now that I can see. Sue's got two, Maker in Lanarkshire's got two, Cumbria's got two, Avon's got two, Dorset's got three, uh, Derbyshire's got two, Surrey's got two, Northumberland's got two, Lorna's gone for three. Um, there, there's so many collectors. We're down to our final 30 chances. That's that means amazing. 120 people have Dave, already you, checked out and confirmed. You, sh you showed uh, Taylor Swift there with not so much, I'm not necessarily focusing on the Opal here, but the London Blue Topaz. Mm -hmm. And it's just one of your Davisms that I uh, that sticks with me. You know, London Blue Topaz yeah. is not going to be mined out. No, no, is we can get you shed loads years? of it. That's and, the truth. And it's normally about, what do you reckon, 199? Oh yeah, god, yeah. More, yeah, more, more sometimes, okay. depending on the size. You've just got the world's most valuable and regarded gemstone for yeah, one night. Exactly, with 10,000 years of history. Yeah. Jenny in Dorset, who's multi bought, I believe, says, Amazing, thanks so much, Dave. M my daughter and granddaughter are skipping now. So ah. maybe you've, you've bought two or three of these. Congratulations. But so sad that it's the end of an era. Absolutely. You know, but all great things come to an end. And then it's about celebrating them. Yeah. You know, that, that's the beauty of it. They take on this almost mythical, fabled status then. Yeah. That's what takes it into that round, the next round, like the Kashmir Sapphires, like the Golconda Diamonds, like the Ural Alexandrites. You know, these gems that almost become mythical is yeah. because they had such an impact and then disappeared. And that's when you appreciate, you yeah. know, or you look back and you think, hang on, 199. Yeah. But forget that price tag. That's not, it's no reflection of the true value. Mm -hmm. Even now. Yeah. Never mind in the future. Yeah, you miss something far more um, after it's gone. Yeah. You know, exactly. and, and you also, you know, place more reverence on it. I think there's a story, I might be wrong. There's a famous story about when um, the Mona Lisa was stolen. It was stolen for a time, it went missing. And before that point in history, it wasn't regarded uh, as highly as it is today. And people weren't queuing up to see it. They didn't have millions of visitors every year. And it's only when it, it, they, they'd got it back yeah. that it became this almost pop culture, yeah. you know, zenith, this thing that everyone talks about. Everyone knows the Mona Lisa yeah. for that reason. Once it was gone, That's when you everyone realised. true. And uh, this it's is the same with me. Yeah, it, it, same with so many things in life. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Well, you're seizing that opportunity for sure. The final 20 ever. Yeah, tw oh. uh, 19 chances. A lot of you on the phone lines all over the world. I'm going to do a one minute clock to close this one out. I don't want to oversell it. I know how busy it is. I want to give you these incredible deals, but we can't give them to you indefinitely. Otherwise, we're, we're going to oversell it and we don't have the stock to fulfill no, all those absolutely. orders. Whilst the clock's on screen, you have a chance. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out those baskets. What what a historical yeah, moment. Unbelievable. And I'm always very proud, Dave, to work for Jewelry Maker. But, Me too. you know, with opportunities like this as well, mm -hmm. you know, it takes, it, they're milestones in our career oh, as sure, well, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, pinnacle moments. Yeah. You know, that we can look back on, like chapters. Yeah. Um, and this is one that will, very memorable, one that yeah. we'll never forget. And there is 15 chances remaining for you to. That's it. Yeah. Well, perhaps now's a good time then while that clock is sticking for me to say good luck, Karen in Lincolnshire, Maker, Keith, Catherine, Jay, Angela, Anne, Devon, Deborah, Anne, Cumbria, Lynn, Kathleen, Chris, Hertfordshire, Maker, Jane, Caroline. If you haven't yet checked out your basket, you can see that quantity is dropping 
quickly. Yeah. Quickly. And there's multi buyers as well. Yeah. The last three collectors have multi bought. Yes, exactly. That's a, that's a great point. And look, we've got maybe 10 chances remaining. Make sure you are successful on this acquisition while stocks remain. Wow. Wow, Dave. Yeah. I know. Incredible. I know Thank you've still you. got the most unbelievable show and masterclass coming up. Yeah, we um, I'll be back with you tomorrow, which I'm very excited for, at 10 a.m. Um, Fabulous. Which I'm very excited for. It's going to be incredible. Talking all things pearls. <gasps> But until then, I'm going to leave you uh, with the team and uh, see you very, very soon. Oh, thank you, Dave. Just wow. That was amazing, wasn't it? Absolutely incredible. Give yourselves a huge, giant pat on the back. Because what you have just achieved is mind-blowing. Now, on the back of that amazing piece of information that I had no knowledge of either. I had no, in fact, earlier on in the show, I was, you heard me sort of speculating, saying 10,000 years, you know, they rec they, I think I even said two. And then Dave was like, oh, no, six. Actually, no, it's banned. So that's, that's groundbreaking news, isn't it? Yeah, that really is. I mean, and to be able to get hold of it for that price. Yeah. Um, when you can't get any more, that's really special. That's, a, that's the power of, gems and jewelry maker isn't it it's yeah. the buying power thank goodness they were shipped before that happened. yeah i know and i love i love dave's honesty with things like that look mm. look we very nearly didn't have this opportunity mm. and i love the fact you know most businesses would go okay well this has happened righto okay so how much is it now righto we'll push that price up yeah no disrespect to this individual but the, our own financial director who is new, to, is, well, not new, she's been here a while now, but she's, she's joined us. Mm -hmm. Dave has had to educate her of, of saying, and she's like, okay, hang on a minute. And it was actually Jade of some sort. So she was saying, hang on a minute, you can't replace this. No. Okay, so why are you selling it that low then? <laughs> she, we, and, and Dave, it was Dave that actually said, because that's our ethos and there's always been the ethos of the company. It's yeah. not about, okay, what's the market doing? How much can I get? It's how, what's the market doing? Oh, great, I'll tell our customers this, but this is what we bought it for. And that's what you buy it for. I don't know many companies out there that would do that. No, no, no. And that's why I'm so, so, so proud to be part of pieces, opportunities like that. Yeah, absolutely. That it's was a privilege. Uh, historic, really. Now, that was the finale piece, the final purchase. But we did have some Cotan Jade that we bought previously. These will be limited, though not 150 quantity in fact this is the perfect strand to go with that last strand i've got an itchy nose check out this for translucency it is that same quality and it's all totally natural first price crash again is that the same length 55 i beg your pardon First price crash, jewelry makers. I'm gonna borrow this bust if I can. If you have the budget and you wanted to have like the contrast, the combination of sizes, then this would be absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful together alongside, in fact, I'll show it alongside this Cotan strand that Dave's just bought to wear. How many do we have? 30, okay, so that's more than I was expecting. But remember, we cannot replace any Cotan Jade. I'm making a right hash of this. Here we go. Imagine those together. Oh, yeah. Or would you go for the graduation? Yeah, I like layered. Look at how beautiful that is. And you probably position it better than I have done. 149 jewelry makers for the four mil. Which we rarely see four mil no, we in any variety of jade, particularly Cotan, obviously, because it's wasteful. It is a very wasteful size. I have far less than what Dave brought you in this first opportunity. But again, you can see this is our finale Cotan. Obviously, we bought some in the run up to today, mm. and that's what we're bringing you the final remainder opportunities of those. Jenny and Dorset snapped up too. Well done, Jenny. That's you've just got 110 centimeters of natural. Cotan Jade. 
How amazing is that? That is amazing. With spinach green colours. Karen in Fife, Patton, Patton Sussex, Devon, Newport. 149, plus you've got your split payments there as well. The finest, most beautiful, translucent quality. Good luck. Make sure you're checking out. It's it's one of those it's one of those occasions where you know we've been talking about it. We knew it was on the horizon. However, you almost you almost don't think it's going to happen, do you? It's it. You almost hope it's not going to happen. Oh, this strand's amazing. You know that photograph that Dave showed earlier on, where um, you know you can see a Cotan trader and they have the loose stones on the floor. That's it. Do you notice how they've got some of the yellows and Dave mentioned it, it's actually the skin of the boulder. Falls, when I say boulder, they're kind of uh, palm sizes. So these will be free forms. Um, can you see the lemony colors? I've got a full match strand in one of my favorite cuts. Light lemon, natural cotan jade. Look at that. That's so beautiful, isn't it? perfectly color matched as well so if you are looking for that consistent color then this is the one for you irreplaceable the same applies with any cotan whether it's four mil drums whether it's a, i don't know a cabochon whatever the strand they are all completely irreplaceable how many do we have 30 available opportunities £499. This, if you want solid colour and you particularly love that lemony hue, then this is the only one that I have for you. It's a natural colour saturation as well. Are you ready? The finale groundbreaking news has been unveiled to the jewellery makers uh, world. I had no knowledge of that. I, in fact, I was speculating about it earlier on, wasn't I? I was saying, what? Well, oh, they know 10,000 years approximately that we've got just a few years left of mining. The reality is it stopped. It has done. It is now illegal um, to actually mine this gemstone. So thank goodness that we had that window of opportunity. The window of opportunity that you have right now um, to source still to this day, the world's most prestigious gemstone. You know, not just in China, not just in the East, in the whole entire world now. Um, and we're bringing it to you in its natural great, natural quality at 199. Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Um, I'm going to leave those final few. I can see you on the call screens coming your way, though. We've still got lots to squeeze in. We've got the most amazing masterclass with our gorgeous <laughs> Deb. Ooh, there she is. <laughs> Who didn't go anywhere? She's been enjoying the show. I have, actually. Um, enjoying it, listening to Dave. So we are launching this unbelievable project. Lots and lots and lots of love for Deb's project that's coming your way and additional earrings um, so don't go anywhere jewelry makers we'll see you in two join me uh, this weekend for two incredible showcases the first is where we explore the colors of Kotan, that legendary mine that's been you know, producing the world's most famous jade for 10,000 years. And unfortunately, we've seen the, the new news for 2024. So it's crucial uh, that if as collectors, we wanna own that material, we get it sooner rather than later. And then we delve into one of the gemstones that's had the highest price rise that I've ever witnessed. Obviously the South Sea Pearls ever since uh, COVID, we've seen a shortage of supply of fine goods. And um, with the, the influence of the Chinese superstars, we've seen a demand far outweigh supply, which has kind of put us in this precarious situation of having to compete with China for the finest pearls. Prices have gone through the roof, but you're not gonna believe the collection that we've got for you.
Hey jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on Sunday the 9th of June and we've got some beautiful gemstone projects to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour, we have got these gorgeous gem set sterling silver hook clasps. And they come in a project with your gemstones and also with your spacer beads. So I've made a necklace with this amethyst one and also a little charm ring to go with. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we have got the beautiful clover charms again. But these ones come with a diamond set peg that you can pop in and they also have two jump rings so you can make different things with them. So I did a necklace and I also did a charm ring with a peg on either side. So it's going to be great fun, we've got lots of beautiful things to show you and I will see you on Sunday. Take care! Good morning everyone, Mark here. I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is going to be this Monday, the 10th of June. I'm gonna be joining Carol, Tom and the crew. Nine o'clock, I have got my favorite gemstone of 2024 so far, Avocado Alashan Agate, the most beautiful, beautiful gemstone I think I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And at 12 o'clock, the long awaited return of the Bugle Bead. So tune in this Monday to see what I'm going to make with these little beauties. So that's Monday, the 10th of June. Join myself, Carol and the team. You will not want to miss this show. Hi, Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you on Tuesday the 11th and we've got some fantastic projects in store for you. So at nine o'clock, we have the most beautiful multi-wrap bracelets. They come with meter long gemstones and our, uh, sterling silver buttons. They're really cute, you're gonna love them. And then at 12 o'clock, we have one of my best selling items. We have inlays. We have inlay charms, we have inlay rings. You're going to absolutely love it. I can't wait to share that with you. Some nifty little tips and tricks in there that anyone can do. Uh, so I hope you can join me. I'd love to see you there. Can't wait to be back. See ya. Welcome back, jewelry makers. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, summer blew out. Big summer blew out. And you go from something very serious like <laughs> Cotan Jade and the rarity of Cotan Jade to <laughs> Well, I was really concentrating there because it's so interesting. That was groundbreaking, wasn't, wasn't it? it? Yeah, so I didn't know that, and you know, that just shows how we do things here and, and how respected dave is yeah absolutely i mean financial times writing about them mm. in fact when he said i i had to i had to cover my mouth when he said because i've been invited to california and i really wanted to say did you tell them that i'm going with you and i thought don't don't say, don't say <laughs> i'm not going with him but you know i bet you would yes course because you know they might need a designer's perspective absolutely they might do and, and he really, I really enjoyed that because he, what he was saying was so true. You know, shopping TV, you know, it made me think, and again, I held my, I, I bit my tongue because I was like, shopping TV, there is a bit of a stigma, yeah. if you like. Um, do you know, have you ever watched Bridget Jones? Yeah. You know, when the, when, when the mum goes on Bridget Jones and she's like that in the, <laughs> oh, yeah. in the background yeah. and she, she runs off with the, with the orange, yeah, yeah. orange presenter. Yeah. Yeah. So on. it's got it has got a little bit of a stigma, but I do th I, and I was like, "Do you know what, Dave? It's so true. He has broken that stigma I with the so. fact you've got Foolie, Financial Times, yeah. Joanna Hardy." I oh, know. I mean, coming in. Yeah, I think the proof's in the pudding. Yeah, it really is. Stanley Chu. Yeah, exactly. 
You know, these are the, some of the most respected gemstone. Do you think that's maybe American shopping television? Because they have a lot more channels than we do, maybe. don't they? Maybe it's that. Because we don't have many here. Really, no, we don't. Do we? No, that's true. In comparison. Yeah, no. in comparison. Although I would, I do feel like I would, one, uh, one show I would like to do, channel my inner Bridget Jones. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm digressing. You know, the inner Bridget Jones where her mum does the, does the shopping channels. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Ooh. Yeah, wow. Do you want to start us? Oh, yes. Start us off. Um, this is coming up. Oh, I'm going to creep it in a little bit. There you go. There you go. Um, Deb's amazing project, which I shall be buying with you. I shall be buying with you. Um, okay. Jewelry makers. It's your wall of fame. Take away. Oh, we didn't do the thingy. No. Okay, we're not doing the thingy. No. This one's from Annika Rice. No, it isn't really, but it reminded me. It's Anita Rice. Ah. 728. <laughs> Hello, everyone at Jewelry Maker. I recently made this Marla Star necklace using some of my fancy Jasper and gold seed beads from my JM stash. I love the way the tassel evolved as I was making it. There is a central drop down the middle with a layer of five draped around it and another layer of five draped around over that, connected with a little help by the gold seed beads. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, Anita. That's absolutely beautiful. beautiful That's a Anita. bit of me, that, that yeah, isn't yeah. it? I'd wear that too. I love that. Um, I've got some lovely earrings here from Joanne McCarthy. Hello to you, Joanne. Uh, look, you're number 729. Hi, lovely Team JM. My WAF entry this week is a simple pair of earrings made with paperclip chain and sunset Botswana agate. Ooh. Wishing all fellow waffers a good luck in the draw. Good luck to you, Joanna. You're number 729. They're beautiful. They're lovely, like aren't a they? Love a trapeze. Love it. Trapeze. Ooh. And this is 730 Neil Jenkinson. This week's make is a bracelet thanks to Monica. It's her sparkle bracelet, made as usual with everything from JM. Good luck, everyone. That's gorgeous. Loving that. Loving your jewellery. I've got another amazing piece from Sharon Saunders. Hello, Sharon. It's a bit of me, this is. Oh, very nice. You're number 731, Sharon. Uh, and she says, hello, jewelry maker. My entry this week is a jadeite and pearl necklace and earrings with silver findings, all from jewelry maker and knotted with silk. A gift for my sister. Aww. Good luck to everybody. I'm still hoping for a win. Oh, I'll keep everything crossed for you, my lovely. You're number 731. Amazing. How, how amazing is that? There you go, you're gifting jadeite and pearls. I know. What a gorgeous gift to receive. I would have done that one. <laughs> What if I wanted to do it again, Adam? What if I'd... You do it again if you want to I'm do it. it. I'm I've been up since four o'clock. I know. Do a long trip, don't you? I keep saying you can stop Will with me. Will you forgive me? me, please? Yeah, you can okay, stop with one. me. I keep saying it. Right then, Debs. You know, for the moment that our, <laughs> our designers send a photograph, put a photograph on their social media, you know, in preparation for a show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's always, there's always like, you're always like, oh, that's nice, that's nice. But there's one that sticks in your memory. Mm. This is that. Oh, really? Oh, it's incredible, Debs. Oh, really? It's absolutely <laughs> it. incredible. It. And I've been wanting to do this. Oh, yeah. Since I saw that photograph. That, you know, if you're going to do a tassel, do it right. Well, and also you need to get the drape right. If you use um, wildfire or fire line that's too high, um, too thick, it, it will kind of, it won't Jut. drape. Yeah, yeah, it will just kind of stick out like, I don't know, a sore yeah. thumb. It won't be a lovely drape that you want to kind of touch. And That's the thing, I do want to touch it. Mm. Good. That's the thing. Um, this project is stunning, Debs, and it's absolutely oh, amazing that you get all of these components. So I know. Another question I need to ask um, producer Roscoe. Ross, tell me this quantity. 50. Oh, okay. But that's more than I thought, actually, because. Really? Yeah. I was kind of hoping, you know, like, on the back that of that peacock. coat and that maybe. Oh, true. We might know. Look at him. 50. Let's start with the peacock, because he's beautiful, isn't he? He's absolutely. Um, so, a huge amount of your pressure, uh, of your metal, look. And this is encrusted with amethyst. And I'm going to 
to say appetite. Yeah, looks it, doesn't it? Um, is that a tanzanite? That's what I thought. Seriously? That's what I thought. And look at the size of that tassel cap. It's huge. It's a really good size. So, tanzanite, you were right. amethyst, neon appetite, yeah. Sky blue topaz, oh yes, by the, by the appetite. And where's that then, the sapphire? And then you've got sapphire too. Do you think that's colourless sapphire? Yeah, I think so. Do you see, just, just uh, you know, almost as it, by the body of the peacock. I think that's colourless sapphire. Can you see there's four stones, not three? So you've got amethyst, neon apatite, sky blue topaz, and sapphire. Tanzanite. Oh, hang on, no, the eye. Oh, the eye, of course. The eye is the sapphire. Oh, my goodness me. Look at the amount of silver I know. that is invested into this. Solid 925. He's got a beautiful, I'm throwing it all the way around, because look at that, look at that, the breast. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's, and do you know what I, why I absolutely love this? Because it has gemstones set in it. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, rhinestones are fine or cubic zirconias are fine, but I love my gemstones. And to think that you could get the gemstones set into this peacock is just amazing. There's almost eight grams, Debs. That is, that is a lot a of A whisper. Silver. Now you don't just get this. You also get the most incredible peacock pearls, which when was the last time that you saw peacock pearls? I haven't had them in a kit in absolutely yet. Well, sorry, Yonks, project. it's been Yonks, isn't it? <laughs> absolutely ages, ages and ages. Yeah, they're just, oh, look at the colors are so beautiful. Oh my goodness, but I'm just gonna put the pendant down for a second because Debs, what, another thing that's just hit me about this project that is mm -hmm. absolutely crazy, Oh no, look at the size of them. Look at the size of them. What's this project going to, Ross? Oh. Because what do we think? How much do you think this would be on its own? They are spherical. Peacock pearls. 199? Yeah, I was going to say about 200. Do you reckon? Yeah. They're round. I mean, this is as close to Tahitian without them being Tahitian, aren't they? Yeah. But, but when do you see peacock pearls where they're spherical? Normally they are the, the potatoes yeah, or something yeah. like that, aren't they? Oh no, these are round and juicy and gorgeous. And they've got to be nine, 10 millimeters, these. Eight to nine mil, okay. Yeah, near rounds to me as well. I know our listing says uh, potato pearls, they're not. I don't think so. No, I don't think they are either. I, I would definitely, at the very least, call them near rounds. So that you get those. You get the beautiful, magnificent peacock itself that's just a whisper under nine grams. You get... <gasps> oh, the matching tassel. Oh, my goodness. And this is what has, has made the bulk of your tassel, hasn't yeah. it? You get the most amazing strand of peacock cultured pearl nuggets. But not just one steps. Two. You get two. No. I want this project. You need it. The star of the show, here he is in all his glory. No, oh, that's only 50. I, I wish we had more, I do. Bear with, I'm just picking it up because this is nine grams of silver and all those beautiful gemstones. Sapphire, amethyst, neon appetite, all in one amazing piece. Hang on, hang on, oh no, I've got the tweezers stuck. Sorry, Adam, here we go. And Tanzanite in the centre. He's absolutely magnificent. Debs, your jewellery is absolutely magnificent. We've even got earrings that we can bring you on the back of this. But right now, I've got 50. That's it. When was the last time you saw peacock pearls? And peacock pearls with such a beautiful peacock to tie in. Yeah. Tell the story. I want it. It's gorgeous. Are you going to show us how to do the tassel as well? Yeah. Because so I'll talk you through... Um, 
because I've done the instructions for mm -hmm. this necklace. Yes. I'll talk you through the rosary linking, but then I think we need to really talk about the tassel. I agree, because that tassel is something. Thank you. It's absolutely beautiful. I, I think, yeah, like I said, if you, I know it sounds daft, but if you are going to do a tassel, do it. Do a nice full tassel. Go big or go home. Exactly. <laughs> I think this project's going to sell out in a heartbeat. I'm okay with the fact that I most likely will have to wish list it. Oh, yeah. It's so beautiful. 50 available. If there's any of them available during Deb's demo, I shall get it. Just so you know. It's gorgeous. I mean, that is a head-turning piece of jewellery. Yeah, I, I think, you know... I've had the last one that I had was a hummingbird mm. and that was incredible and I thought I don't I'm not sure that anything could top that but this because I love a tassel and I really love the tassel caps but this one is sterling am I right it's sterling yeah. silver isn't nine it nine grams just like under. the whole lot is eight, sterling is silver eight, nine or eight eight or oh, eight, eight grams it's set with gemstones yeah genuine gemstones which I think the hummingbird wasn't I'm not 100% sure don't quote me on that and then you've got, you know why you make a thinner tassel? Because you don't have enough gemstones to go around. That's true. That's but true. But that's not the case with this. Oh gosh, your hands aren't tied or restricted in any no. way, shape or no, form. No. Um, look, look at that. How many are there? Do you know? How many strands on your tassel? Lots. Just uh, say lots. 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 I can count them for you in a minute. I'll count them in a sec. £499. I mean, if you saw that in any boutique, genuine peacock pearls. Oof. Genuine peacock pearls with with eight grams just shy of sterling silver, tanzanite, amethyst, sky blue topaz, and neon apatite and sapphire. It's crazy. All in one piece of jewellery. If any of us saw it at three hundred and ninety nine pounds, we would. Let's be honest, that's not unrealistic. I think that would be reasonable for three hundred and ninety nine pounds as a finished piece. I mean, that is a long line necklace. I've wrapped it round so you can see it up high. But that is a long line yeah. necklace. So that is going to be, you know, this sort of thing that Chanel do, um, you know, the, the long line. And a lot of Chanel's, if I'm right, um, jewellery is costume jewellery. It's not mm, actually it's pearls, not genuine is it? Pearls. So, you know, when you think how much you've got this length of pearls. And of course, if you don't like rosary linking, you can knot these. Of course you can. Yeah, I'll have to knot. I'll have to, um, or just use spacers. Yeah, spacers. That's probably yeah, what exactly. I would do. Exactly, spacers and a clasp. Yeah. Or if it goes over your head, you don't even need the clasp. No. Debs, that's currently a hundred pound per pearl strand, which current pearl situation, yep. that's not bad. No, nope. you only have to say, oh, actually, yeah, I haven't seen peacock pearls in ages. Exactly. Um, and that's that's a hundred pounds then for the eight gram genuine gemstone encrusted peacock <laughs> pendant stroke tassel. Now you think of eight grams when you if, if you watched the casting show with me, how yeah. much eight grams of silver was to pop in that pot? Yeah, that's a lot of silver. It is a lot. You know, when you you tend to weigh silver more when you're doing things like that, so you have more of an idea. To get eight grams mm. in a component. Yeah, in one component. Which is tanzanite, sapphire, amethyst, neon apatite, and sky blue topaz encrusted as which, well. That just makes it for me. Yeah, amazing. We are not stopping here, jewelry makers. We are going even lower. I mean, I pay three nine nine for any one of those pearl strands. Oh, yeah. You know, it, yeah, especially the rounds. Especially. Half the stock has gone. Ooh. Karen, Claire's got two. Ayrshire, Janice has got two. Wilma, Elaine, Mags, Kerry, Catherine, Susan. Well done. But I've got Victoria, Susan, Catherine, Sheila, Jean, Trudy, Deb, Hilda, Susan, new customer, Kent, Oxfordshire, Joanne. Uh, Susan Moore, actually, you've just got yours. These will sell out. I've got no doubt about that. No doubt about it at all. Stunning. The jewellery is stunning. Plus, don't forget you get Deb's amazing instructions. Never mind £100 per component. We've half the price. That's £50 per component. £50 per pearl strand and £50 for that peacock. If I saw that peacock component somewhere, say probably the only place I may see it is like an artisan, yeah. um, you know, gems fair or something, which they don't really do much of anymore. I would bite your hand off at £50 for that. 100%. I would snap your hand off. Absolutely. I'd probably buy two. Because you couldn't make it for that price, And where am I going to get it again for yeah, that? that's true. Well, we were only ever to actually able to commission 50. Yeah, exactly. You know? And that's us. Yeah. 
Exactly. And we have our own, you know, cutting house. We've got our own sort of jewellery design house as well over in Jaipur. Exactly. You know, so we could. I couldn't make it with the time involved for £50. No, that's true. Unbelievable. Plus, you've got your split payment there as well. Carol in Lincolnshire, uh, Susan in Warwickshire, Catherine, Sheila, Kerry and Devon, Mags, Elaine, Lorraine, Wilma, uh, Janice has got two well done, Ayrshire, Claire, Karen, Catriona, Alison, June, Pavinda, Pauline. We're over allocated, but there is one more price crash. Oh, 50. This is uber exclusive, as we should have all absolutely assumed would be the case on something like this. Uh, yeah. You know, they're pearls. They're genuine culture pearls. Not shell pearl. 60 seconds, we're going to get to that price tag. And just think about your finished piece of jewellery. I know? love it, Deb. One of the reasons I got into, into this was because I didn't want to wear the jewellery that everyone else was wearing. And the jewellery that I maybe wanted to wear, I couldn't afford to buy. Mm -hmm. You're I wouldn't, so I wouldn't be able comments. to afford to buy that. No. If that was in a boutique... It's going to have a four-figure price tag on it. I would have Because so. they're natural peacock, because they're peacock pearls. Yeah, of course. Genuine peacock pearls. And there's a huge amount of precious metal. And sapphire. And amethyst. And neon appetite. And sky blue topaz. And tanzanite. I mean, you just list those gemstones and it doesn't say 199, does it? No. <laughs> Definitely not. Good luck. The reality is we could have probably sold this project three, four times over. I'm so, I don't want you to miss out, so please do check out. If you don't, I definitely will. 100% <laughs> will. I don't know, genuinely don't know what this is going to. I thought I might. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Just buy it. <laughs> Just, it's on Split Bay as well. Is that £30 <gasps> each? Oh, that makes it so much easier as well. Thirty pounds for a, for the for the beautiful peacock. Oh how! Oh, that's amazing. That's, that's so unbelievable. Your split pay jewelry makers. Um, you get four way split payment, zero percent interest. Good luck, everyone. Kathleen in Monmouthshire. Thank you very much. I'll have two. Carol, Florence, Alison, Denise, June. I've got Michelle there on the phone line. Uh, who is that? Jean. You've just got yours. Um, Michelle, Maker, Warwickshire, Sally, Sheila, Warwickshire, you've just done it, well done. Catriona, Pavinda, Susan, Jean, Deb, Hilda, Susan, Patricia. It will sell out. I only had 50. Would you, you know what? 50 is amazing. Look at the piece of jewellery that you can create with Dave's inspiration. I had a few um, left and I made the earrings, so I didn't use all of them. Though you see the little, not the ones that are encrusted with the those. gemstones, but the little um, the drops. drops. Yeah. And again, I've got to say, I'm not saying these are Tahitian pearls, but they're as close to Tahitian pearls without them being uh, Tahitian pearls. And is anybody going to know? No, because I mean, you know. they're still pearls. They're still genuine culture pearls. Amazing, amazing. I'll keep you updated on the quantity of those jewellery makers. And you do get the written instructions with your project purchase as well, which is available upon dispatch of your order. Um, oh, here we go. Debs can show you that as well. So this comes, uh, it'll be on your order, history jewellery maker, so that you can uh, literally create this same piece if you want to, step by step. You I can. definitely do. <laughs> Take it away, Deb. Take it away. I'll do my best to make sense. You always make sense. Are we doing the Wall of Fame now? I'm only joking. Right, so... <laughs> Final warning, I'm sorry, Adam. <laughs> so what I did for the, the main part of, of the necklace was obviously rosary linked. And all it is, is um, two patterns. So the rosary links are made up of the pearl link twice. Mm. And then at the end, I've added another link. And this is a great example of showing you how adding different spacer beads and bead caps can really add things to your design. So yeah. this one, uh, I have got a spacer bead, a bead cap, this, I think this is a lavender amethyst that I had left over from my Marla kit, another bead cap, spacer bead, and then one of these um, rondelles, so just one, and another spacer bead. So I have put the I exact things that I've used and extra things in the instructions. So you can see how different that looks than if I had just popped on that plain gemstone to go yeah. in between okay so these are just now I say in the instructions quite often when I'm rosary linking if I don't want to use wire and be there for the rest of my life <laughs> I will 
I call it cheating, but it's not really, it's just a different way of designing. I keep the loop on one end of an eye pin and I rosary link the other end. So one end of each link is wrap looped and one end of each link has just got a basic loop and that is so much quicker. Mm. So the pattern all the way to the back of the neck is just two of these pearls with some smaller beads next to them in that's the color way that I chose but you, you can do whatever speaks to you followed by one of these so I'll just show you quickly how to link I link these together as opposed to um, actually rosary linking so I've popped on my combination of beads and I do tell you in the instructions exactly what that combination is I've got a basic loop on one end and I'm just going to wrap loop on the other end now, when I was teaching, um, and I've been doing a bit of that lately, I realized that a lot of people find wrap loops a lot easier than plain loops because um, they get a little bit intimidated by plain loops. So if you're thinking, oh, crumbs, you know, I don't wrap loop, have a go because I personally as well think that a wrap loop is a lot easier than just doing a plain loop just for the, uh, you know, you tend to, yeah, it's muscle memory at the end of the day. So there we, that's my first link. Now what I would do is I would rosary link to the part that's a basic loop on each one. So I've got two of those. So I'm gonna rosary link, or wrap loop I should say, my second one. And that's gonna go into not the other wrap loop, but the plain loop. So that's two, and you can see how much quicker this yeah. is to do than a rosary link so I have two of those and then make sure that you trim your pin um, I usually go back over my jewelry afterwards and just squeeze in any sort of pins that are sticking out anywhere so two of those and then that decorative link was the third component so I'm doing the same again I'm just going to rosary link and attach it to the plain loop now I continued that all up for the length of my necklace, apart from the part that went behind my neck, basically because I ran out of um, the same bead cap and I wanted it to be consistent. But you don't see behind your neck, do you? So if you wanted to, you could just even do some single pearl rosary links. So that was the rosary link. And then I got the peacock and I literally just took a jump ring and put the jump ring through the last link and into the peacock. Now, I haven't got another peacock because obviously this is, um, we wanted to get as many out to you guys as we could. So I just had the one. So I'm just gonna show you this. Um, this is just one from my stash. Uh, it's exactly the same setup. You have your loops and obviously yours has got a big peacock at the top, but mm -hmm. it's the same setup. Also it's bigger. So you're probably gonna be able to see what I'm doing. Now this is the way I do it. Now, rather than using some wildfire or fire line six eight pounds whatever you can use that but it will give you a different look it will give you more of a structured tassel so this one i've put onto wire just as a reference for myself when i'm doing to the pattern that i used for my tassel so mm. the pattern that i used for my tassel were five of the peacock smaller ones at the top separated by spaces one of the lavender amethysts followed by three of the peacocks with a little turquoise faceted bead on the end. Now, if you use fireline or um, a sort of more rigid thread, you're going to get the tassel that you sort of would get if you put on a wire. So there's not as much movement, still pretty. It depends on the look that you want. And you could add them to wire and then just loop them onto your findings yeah. so you, you could do that but as I say they would be more like um, little legs they don't really have a lot of movement now when I do a tassel I like to have that movement that makes you want to touch it so that they're tactile yes. and flowing is I the agree. word that I use so what I've used here you can use something called Jura thread which is like a really soft you can use a um, Ceylon thread, a KO thread, a Miyuki thread, you know, any of those really soft threads will give you that beautiful drape like you can see there. That's a completely different drape than I just showed you that you got with the wire. So if you want that kind of drape, go for a softer, more cotton thread. Okay, so what I did with this is I just took my thread through one of the loops and just double knotted onto here. So just um, nothing special, just an overhand knot 
one. And the black thread tends to just get lost. You don't tend to see it. Two. Hmm. Like that. Now, what then what I would do, I'm not going to do it now, is bob on just little bits of glue, just so that you know that that's anchored into place. And then I take my needle up through the next one. Okay. So then we're going to make our first tassel. And they're actually all the same, these tassels. And I found it easier to actually place my tassel cap. You'll have the peacock attached, but you can do it flat so that you can then see. So if I put that next to me, not that one, that one. No, not that one. <laughs> that one! <laughs> we'll get there in a minute. Um, and that is the bead combination. So I'm going to tip these out just so that I can see what I'm doing. Right, so we're going to put on five of these peacock pearls separated by spacer beads. So that's one, two, and these are the small peacock pearls, three, four and five okay so this is what I have I've got five peacock pearls separated by our spacer beads and then I'm going to pop on one of my well you can use any gemstone that you, th you want your color scheme or if you're using mine that's a lavender amethyst and then another spacer bead and then I just did the same combination again, but with three of my peacock pearls. So one, two, come here. And three. That's another component we should do more of, you know. What's that? Tassel tops. I love them. Me too. I can't ever get enough tassel tops. And then I put a little... Um, one of the spaces that I used in the rosary link just to tie it all in in my tassel as well so if you I have a general rule that I have a rule when, when I do art that a color that I use in my art has to go in three different places it has to go somewhere else three times or else it just does not cohesive and I'm a bit the same in my jewelry so if I use something up here I want it to appear somewhere down here even if it's yeah, only one that. color balance. just balance so it's it's like mm. um, a balanced design so I'm going to drop these down to my tassel cap and then I'm going to go back through all of them apart from the very last bead that you've put on because that is going to act as your stopper bead it's mm -hmm. going to stop all your beads falling off now you can go up as many as you can or you can go up one at a time it's completely up to you I'm at an awkward position but let's see when you've got up as many as you're you're going up just have a look round. just check all the way around the beads that you haven't missed one out and you haven't got a line of thread so I've done a few there you don't have to do them all at once and then I'm going to go up the rest the way that I find the easiest way to do it is if you hold um, your fingers down and then just take that needle back up and I'm sort of wiggling it a little bit as it goes up just so that it's finding the holes in the beads, so I'm nearly there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna look all the way around, make sure that all those beads are on the needle and I haven't missed one. Drop those down. Hold on, I've got that in a little, that's it. And then I've just got another couple to go up. So I'm gonna go up my last two here. So I'm gonna keep this down from the bead cap just to show you what happens when you pull it and it's not quite where you want it to be. So finger on there and then you give it a pull so that everybody pulls up nicely together. Now if you think, oh, I've got a big gap, I don't know what to do, take your stopper bead, push mm. everybody else up. Okay, there's my stopper bead. Put your fingers on there and then give it a pull so that then that it should all be sitting where they should be. And then I'm gonna go back through the hole that I came out of in the first place. Now, as you're doing this, if you think, oh, my tassels are getting a bit heavy and I'm getting a little bit of space between my tassel cap and my first bead, you can just keep doing a few knots as you go so that it's not all reliant on one knot. So if you hold the tension there and then just go through the next one with your needle, and then before you do your tassel, if you just go through the loop, and give it a pull, that's going to knot that tassel into place 
um, ready for you to do the next one. So you could do that on every single one if you wanted to. I didn't. I did it about four times. So if you think of this as a clock, I probably did 12 o'clock, three, six, and nine, just to give it that little bit extra. Um, and I just literally did that all the way around. Now, if you don't want such a full tassel as the one that I've got, you can do every other hole in your connector that's fine and then you'll get half as many that's completely up to you um, I wanted a nice full tassel so I did every single one when you come back round, so just exactly the same technique as I just showed you all the way round. and if you do run out of thread because I would recommend that you only use as much thread as you can handle if you try and get loads and loads of thread you're going to get in a pickle and end up giving up thread like this is great and I would recommend that you pull it through wax first so um, you wax that thread so it's less likely to tangle. If you do run out of thread, then you can just knot your thread and start again as I did in the beginning by knotting on another piece of thread and adding a little bit of glue. When you get to the end of your tassel, you're just going to do exactly the same again. You're going to just take your needle through your very last hole and you'll already have a tassel there and you can do a double knot. And also what I did, which I thought was helpful because you know you've got quite a lot of tassels here when you go round if you leave your tail from where you started you can actually knot your working thread and your tail together as well so you know you're not going to see those knots they're pretty much hidden underneath your loops don't cut any threads off until you have added your glue to these knots just to be super super um, sure that they're going to hold because you know you've got quite a few beads on there but can you see like the drape is really mm, lovely yeah. like it's really floaty as opposed to if you put it on a piece of wire or on a piece of wildfire fire line it's going to sit more like that which is fine I've done that before and it looks pretty but it depends on you know the look that you're going for so really that's the two techniques that I used to make this necklace it was just rosary linking and adding my tassel by sewing in my beads but as I say if you don't want to sew in your beads you can pop all of your beads onto your piece of wire and you can just wrap loop your wire to the top you know that will work it will look pretty it just won't have that kind of tactile it's beautiful relaxing kind of lovely drape material and you have got drape. literally the colors of the peacock haven't you I, I spent quite a while having a look at the um pearls and deciding i took i bought colors in i took them away I bought yeah. colors and i took them away um to what i wanted it to look like yeah but you have got a lot of design opportunities at first i got amethyst a darker amethyst that mm. looked nice um laramar looked nice nice um so you can add anything you want if you've got yeah. some glass beads some lovely vibrant preciosa yeah. nice. or fire polished beads Jiling. yeah oh well, yeah the Jiling <laughs> would look amazing with it, it would look it? amazing so if you yeah. were lucky enough to get that peridot i think wow it would look super amazing um i did want to show the reaming with the earrings yes please so do we, yeah we've got time to yeah yeah it. Yeah. Well, do you want to bring the uh, yeah. we'll bring the graphics to wear then, and then um, and then uh, Debs will show you how to because these are uber exclusive. Oh, they are gorgeous. so high end. Do you know what they scream boodles to me? Yeah. That, don't they? Yeah. Would when you... I was making them, I was like, what? Yeah. Oh my goodness yeah. me. So can you see? You've got the most beautiful drop peacock pearls, but then you have this wonderful fan of complementary gemstones that goes with the actual peacock pendant. They so look so expensive. Within these. You have tanzanite, neon apatite, and amethyst. Wow. So they match, they kind of match your... Blue topaz, sorry. So tanzanite, blue topaz, amethyst. Yeah, so they match your peacock. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, look at that. So Debs was saying these might need a little bit of reaming, which she's going to show you how to do that. The quality of the pearls, they often, we often say pearls take on the colour of their surroundings, but I mean these are colourful anyway, but add to that some, some beautiful vibrancy and saturation like, like yes. tanzanite, blue topaz and amethyst, and it's just going to have, it's going to be an explosion of colour. There are 30 of these available. 129. 129. They're so, I mean I had a good look at these pearls and they are so beautiful and together with how that design has been made and how those gemstones have been set 
They look so yeah, expensive, gorgeous. don't yeah, they? Yeah, well, they would be elsewhere. I mean, look at the top there. That's so, again, just the top of the silver. Uh, the fact they're mirror image they're, they're just as well. Yeah, they are. They're just, and because they're not like really long, you can no. definitely wear them with your necklace as a sleeve 100%, of jewelry. 100%, 100%, I'm going to rejoin you with this. Um, stop permitting, there's only 30 available. So if you've never set anything, great if you want to know how you do things like your peg bales as well. Yeah. Because it's the same technique, isn't it, yes. basically? Yes, um, In 20 seconds, we're taking it even lower, but 30 in the world, that's it. You've got Marquise cut stones there, which are absolutely stunning. Oh, the, the whole thing is just high quality. I was so impressed with these. They're just so beautiful. Have you got the occasion to wear all these, Debs? Yeah, they're just, I, I wear my jewellery all the time. Good. I will just go out for a walk wearing these. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> jewellery is for wearing. Absolutely. Are you ready? Okay, That's now I was expecting 99. And they look Tahitian. Yeah. I know they're not. I'm not saying they're Tahitian, but, but they're they, still culture they, pearls. They look. They are still culture pearls. I've got some Tahitian pearls that my mum left me, and they don't look much different to this, I have to say. No, absolutely not. What on earth is that price tag? $49.99. There is only 30, says Ross. Janice oh. has got two, Claire's got two, Karen's got three. What incredible presents. Um, yeah. So wait a minute. So for the project and the earrings, what did we bring the project to wear for again? £200, I can get the whole look. That's amazing. When you put it into context, and I know I keep going on about this as well, if you've seen me lately, just ignore me, but I was so blown away by the fact that it was advertised to me over email, a glass and plastic necklace for £40 um, on the high street, and it had sold out. That's £40, glass and plastic. Fine, I'm not saying, don't, you know, if you like that, great, buy it. But when Where you put it into context, yeah. it was a high street clothes store. Okay. When you put it into context of what we charge for the real for the thing. real deal exactly tanzanite blue topaz amethyst in sterling silver and genuine cultured pearls it's crazy sapphire within the peacock pendant they do look like something you'd get in a in a high-end jewel absolutely they, really they would be yeah absolutely do you want to see how many we've got left jewelry makers oh, 10. No. um deb's taken away because you want to show us right, how to I, I need that and i have asked katie if i can use those to demo with and she Yay. said yes <laughs> Good I'm not stealing them. Right, so I found that one of the um, little uh, pins went in fine and one didn't. So th I think as jewellery makers who, who work with pearls often, we tend to um, ream them and not really talk about it. And I thought it's something that we need to talk about. So if you get this home and you think, oh, okay, like sometimes like with that one, that goes in about as far as yeah. I would be happy with. So what I would do is just trim off my peg. I'm just going to put that, don't throw that away because that can go in the scrap pot. And then add your glue and pop that in. Now, what I did was I held it, held the pearl and then just gently twisted it until it went in. So you want to pop your glue actually on the post itself rather than the pearl and just underneath the little cup. Now, if it still won't go in, which one of mine wouldn't, you need to ream. And we tend to talk about that like everyone knows what that is. Now, That's if true. you've got any of our tool kits, they usually come with a reamer. I've got a couple of reamers in, in different sizes. Now, just be gentle with your reamers. Pearls actually take very well to reaming, which is why um, we can do it. So a bead reamer is just basically, it's like a bit of like a pokey tool or um, an awl, but it's got a diamond coating on so that it can make your holes a little bit bigger in your beads. So what I do is to support the bead I hold it in my fingers rather than underneath and then I just start small and I pop my reamer in and then I just start turning gently and then I'll take that out have a look see how the bead is dealing with it that's dealing with it absolutely fine um, so then I might put a little bit more pressure on there I'm still holding it pinching it in my hand so I'm supporting the rest is it of the essentially gemstone. sanding it kind of is I mean you can get Rima tools that you can plug in you yeah. know you can do it with your with your rotary tool um, and then what you do is you just keep checking how much more that needs reaming and what I'm doing is I'm kind of screwing that on and seeing how much more that needs reaming now 
The other point is if you've reamed down enough and you think, you know, I don't, don't really want to do that anymore, you can take a file and file that peg yeah. to a point. So you could file that to a point and file some of the bulk off. I'd much rather have a wide peg Mm. that's going to sit in the hole and really hold that pearl then have a per have a peg that is just moving around inside your drill hole because there's only maybe one place that you can get that anchor point with the glue yeah if it's sitting snugly inside your pearl then every single side is going to be touching is going to be glued and that is going to sit really nicely in there so I, gradually do it just gradually. gradually i don't i would never want to put that much peg in that's just me I, I don't think I need that much peg in my pearl so I would always like trim a bit of that a couple of millimeters off of that anyway but just do it gradually if you've got two sizes of um, bee dreamer start with a smaller size and then continue with the bigger size it's not something that you do quickly you keep doing it in increments you take it out and then you pop that back in so that's already gone in more already and then I probably took about 10 minutes I just kept nice and gently twisting it adding a little bit more pressure just making sure the pearl was happy <laughs> are you happy yes I'm happy he's happy and then just popping in your until you're happy and then as I say gently, once you gently. think that's gone in enough just trim off your peg add your glue jobs are good and jobs are good <laughs> steps because you raise a really good point there we talk about reaming like everyone knows what it is you were like oh just ream it so you might find that one goes in I mean I don't think I've ever had a peg that I don't trim down a bit because I think I don't need all that in my pearl so I just yeah. I've always trim it down a little bit yeah um anyway and 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 it once it is important to get it to sit right don't you Cause exactly because if you didn't you wouldn't have that nice you know wouldn't have the actual sort of cap if you like no you wouldn't sitting on top of the actual pearl which is so just kind of just twirl it until it sits right inside the bead cap there and then once you've done that and you're happy then take it out and add your glue don't be adding your glue and then trying to ream or you know estimating because you're going to make a mess please don't mm. use super glue or anything with pearls just use um hyper cement because it doesn't discolour your pearls yeah they don't like it do they no, super glue they don't like the it's, super glue it's very harsh it goes harsh it goes kind of frosty Whereas, and brittle as well yeah so the, the hyper cement definitely on on something of as beautiful as this wow what amazing i i i mean i've been talking about this master class debs all morning it's beautiful oh, well you know not difficult techniques but you know it doesn't have to be no just beautiful jewelry stunning jewelry <laughs> whatever you make is going to be jewelry. gorgeous oh fabulous now we've got about five minutes oh okay shall we try and squeeze in a few more deals for you yeah. jewelry makers shall we I reckon we can between now can. and then between now and then if you've got any questions for Debs as well do text in because we are still live if you're watching it if you're watching it two minutes to one do we, we have time live. Roscoe yeah yeah uh, yeah <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what we yeah, say. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So what are we doing? Jump rings, all of them. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I know, but I'm just waiting. I'm queuing. I'm queuing. Okay, we're gonna do a mental price tag. <laughs> We literally are. Are we get? Are they sterling? Oh, yeah. okay. So good. sterling silver. You've got um, a little collection. Four, five, six, <coughs> seven, eight Excuse millimeter me. internal diameters, jewelry makers uh, of your jump rings. Would you like me to pick some up if I've got time? Yeah. If I've got time, mm, come on now. Behave. One, two, three, four, five. I should have done it in the other order, shouldn't I? There you go. I can turn it that way. Ready? There they all are. And these are your open jump rings. Are you ready? As yeah. our finale deal of the day. It's been a suit. I told you it'd be a super Saturday. Crazy talk, says Ross. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> He's not wrong, though. Crazy Must... talk. What? That's very good, Ross. I like that deal. <laughs> mm. We've brought some pretty, pretty spectacular essential deals today. Today's been pretty amazing, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah, I've, like, I've just it. done that one, so it's fitted in. So that took me two minutes. That's gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Guess what I've got on Thursday, everyone? Uh, it's you and me and me. 
and it's lucite flowers. <gasps> Different lucite flowers. You know me, I love a lucite flower. They are lovely. They're I've so got, beautiful, especially this time of year. I've got really lovely lucite flowers. Are they new lucites? Yeah. Are they different colours? Yeah, different colours, different shapes, more small, like bud shapes, more usable, ah. I think. You know, for every day <coughs> jewellery. So that's coming on Thursday. Oh, relaunch of lucite flowers. That's going to be amazing. Make sure you're tuning in because it's Debs and I on Thursday as well. Yay! Yay! £7.99 for your sterling silver. Um, open jump rings. You get all of them. It's on your screens right now. That's crazy. As our finale deal, typically, I think I've lost the gallery in the last few seconds. Yeah, they've gone. They've gone oh, no, no, oh, no, they're, they're there, here, they're, they're there, they're there. It's all right. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> when it goes quiet, it goes, it, it, it's, it's quite unnerving. Um, Dave's joining me again tomorrow as well. And Carol is joining me as well. Um, so it's going to be an absolutely amazing oh, Sunday. Yeah. Again, you've got... Tassel caps? What did I just say? Tassel caps. Have you? We've actually got tassel caps tomorrow. Oh, that's good. Uh, we've got South Sea drops with Dave. That's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, we've got diamond drill clovers. Very exciting. So it's going to be a super Sunday. Um, they're beautiful, says Ross, by the way, the diamond drill clovers. So very excited about that. We love you, Deb. I love you. When, I, I was about to say when you're back, but I know. Thursday, there's no getting rid of me this week. We don't want to get rid of you. <laughs> Um, are you doing, have you got any plans for you now and then? Tomorrow I'm going for a w nice walk with the dogs, so it better not rain. No rain in, yeah. Rain. Just chill. I'll still go on wellies. Yeah, it's only rain, isn't it, yeah. at the end of the okay. day? I'll see you bright and early in the morning, jewelry makers. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on Sunday morning. <laughs>